colourful this morning. Oh, we yeah. Let's be honest, we're both the least colourful yes. people ever. <laughs> like, I don't do colour generally. No, I, Not on my clothing. I only anyway. ever do it on here. I don't do it at home. It's all black. Yeah, same. <laughs> same exactly the same as me. Good morning. Like. Good morning, everybody. Oh, have we got a Tuesday morning show planned for you. One of the best. Oh, it's fabulous. It's I've up there, isn't it? I've so enjoyed working with Alison, you. And a bit of chain mail. The chain mail too. Ch yeah, well, we're ticking all your boxes yeah. here, aren't we? We've, you, you know, we, we, we know Alison does amazing sea beading. But going back to your roots. Back to my roots. Yeah. Um, so they're in the master class. You've got your gorgeous wire work with these incredible master carvings. Aren't the carvings incredible? I know. I know. Wow. Um, I love the Buddha. Yeah. Framed with turquoise. Oh my goodness me. We went a bit Indian with him. They're absolutely stunning. So these are coming up at 12 o'clock with Alison as your masterclass. So you're going to be doing a, a bit of wire work demonstration. Yeah, which is with a jig. Fun. With a jig. Yeah, I haven't seen the jigs Where for ages. When was the last time we actually had a jig? <laughs> Apart from that type of jig. Yeah. We do that every day. Uh, often, often jigging around the place. Um, look at it. Oh, my goodness. Isn't he gorgeous? Well, he is, yes, but so is your amazing wire work. It's square wire and textured and is twisted it? wire. Yeah, that's why you're getting that sheen on it. So, literally, square wire is a square shape. and you. Yeah, yeah, it's a square profile. So lovely. I, I actually I have it. a preference to square wire. I love it. Because it, do, it does really add to the uh, overall design mm. and the texture of mm. it all. Unbelievable. So, they're all coming up at 12 o'clock. So, as you can see, you've got beautiful tiger's eye um, in your master carvings. At 9 o'clock, equally, how about the fusion of two very luxurious components? So, you have argentium. Yeah, some are sterling, some are argentium. Yeah, like, argentium sorry. sterling, and you also have your type A jadeite, I brand know. new shapes, carvings. Oh, so, I mean, these, I'm going to hold, sh literally tilt one forward. Look, you have flowers. But they're connectors, so they're drilled either side. Oh, I see. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful? So connectors in your jadeite, yeah. it's a solid piece. Then you've got you've got your lotus flower. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love that. I love that. So how is this a connector? No, that's not. That's a pendant. But but those you had to, they're not those all connectors. Are. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and then this. Oh, I mean that is some that of the amazing. most gemmy type A. Oops. I know. Type A jade I ever. Look at that translucency. Just hold it out. Stunning, Elf. isn't it? That's so beautiful. So beautiful. Might I just suggest as well, if you put it that way, it could almost look like a bud as yes. well as a leaf. Yes, it could. Um, aren't they amazing? Yeah. So these are coming up at nine o'clock and actually some of the most affordable type A jadeite uh, carvings that oh, certainly that I've ever seen. What else do we have included in the show? Pearls, beautiful, beautiful Stunning. pearls. We've got a double trouble opportunity coming up as your early bird today. Not shell pearl, cultured pearls, pure white. What, 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 what's in the big one? What's this? What, yeah. How light? Oh, oh, How fab. light donuts, I can see them from the angle. They're gorgeous. Yeah, aren't they? Coming oh, up within nice. this hour, and as we're just there, I'm going to tilt those forward too. Some beautiful Larimar cabochons. What's Larimar. Larimar. I know, I know, literally <gasps> that perfect pairing, all in the eight o'clock hour. Um, and you can see some more beauties oh. across across the t-bar um you've also got wow. this coming up in this hour it's a double trouble opportunity of your hammond sterling silver these are 20 inch very gucci inspired chains Stunning. they are complete as well so um you know you don't actually need to do anything to them but of course being jewelry makers and the talents that you are of course you can customize but it. perfect with something like the leaf well Could the you imagine the leaf hits. hanging down from one of those yeah exactly Looks amazing so these are coming up within this hour um just to give you a heads up there are 74 opportunities oh, not so that's enough. not no it's not that uh, it's not going to be enough to go around um and then at nine uh, sorry 10 o'clock i'm going to be joined by the fantastic dave troth and i saw him yesterday after the after the show and he's so excited about this uh, gemstone that he's bringing you today and it is marambaya marambaya garnet arguably some Ooh. of the most beautiful garnet uh, sorry, Malaya garnet. Sorry, I beg your pardon. That's me mm. pronouncing it wrong. Malaya garnet. So the most beautiful, beautiful natural garnet that you have ever, mm. ever, ever seen. 
I have to say, my first reaction when I saw this was on our sister channel, actually, when um, they actually had it in some finished, beautiful jewellery. And it was a love affair instantaneously. Because mm. look, there's, it's, it, it, it's, the, it's the fusion of colours. You've yeah. almost got um, a dusky pink, and then you've got a wonderful sort of champagne-like presence to it as well. All natural and astonishingly wow. rare. Dave, who's uh, producing on Gems this morning, he actually said, you've got Malaya Garnet. Oh, my goodness, that's so rare. I was like, I know. So we're really lucky to be able to bring this to you today, um, especially in strands, mm -hmm. you know, because that's a parcel, effectively. Each of those rondelles could have been um, in, a, in a 14, 18 karat gold uh, piece of jewellery. So really exciting. That's happening at 10 o'clock today as part of your deal of the day. You're going to make some absolutely exquisite jewellery out of this collection. Oh, have you seen... Yeah. Malaya garlic before? No, not until I saw it earlier. It's incredible, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I know you're not a pink person, but this is uh, that. That's not pink. It's not pink, pink, is not, it? Yeah. No, I, I, you look gorgeous I'm, I'm in pink. pink. I, I, no. No. But I can appreciate pink, and that is beautiful. And I will use pink in jewellery. But this is more of a. It's a bit it's like a dusky, It's like a dusky pink, rose, isn't it? Yeah. isn't it? Yes, yeah, perfect description. Um, so that's a massive show. Please make sure that you're with us um, uh, with us for that because it is going to be amazing. And what's really exciting as well is that you are getting shapes like rondelles. Mm. Um, you've got some of your calibrated stones as well. Um, mm. So if you wanted to, I don't know, just a gemstone off the top of my head, pearls, for example, if you want to put some of those that. Malayas in between, how amazing would amazing. that be? They're going to look stunning. Oh. Oh, okay. unbelievable. Unbelievable. So it is really a show, just a beautiful show today. An absolutely beautiful mm. show. And we're going to have a lot of fun as well. Um, come and say hello to Azza Tazza and I, <laughs> because you're always going to be Azza Tazza know, to me. I know, it's stuck. <laughs> uh, because we've got a, a cracker planned for you. We have. Um, and your nine o'clock kits, I mean, looking at that piece of jewellery, you said a bit of chain mail with the jump rings. Yeah. So if, if I've never done chain mail before... Do you reckon I can have a, give it a give it yeah, a Yeah, give it a go. Give Definitely. it a whirl at nine o'clock hour. Yeah. Those are so affordable, these kits, by the way. Oh, oh are they? Yeah. I was expecting them to be quite no, considered. No, quite, quite affordable, actually. Quite the opposite. Oh. So I'll tell you what, we're going to start this morning. Look how beautiful that is. Oh. Alison. But you see, these kits will go so well with those two chains as well. Yeah, they would. I would say, if, you, if, you, if you're interested in these kits, you definitely need to get those chains. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we that said that earlier, Laura. The leaf pendant on the chain. Yeah, literally just suspending one with the with the, with, with the Love you. jump rings. That, that yeah, that's all you need to do. Should we get this show Great in the minds. way with your uh, with your wall of fame? Not early bird, sorry. Um, yeah, so showcasing your wonderful oh. creations and in with a chance of winning one hundred pounds uh, credited to your jewelry maker account or fifty or fifty as the runner up. It's the wall of fame. News readers, Alison. <laughs> Number four hundred and thirteen. Yeah, we're not going to give you bad news. No, we're this show is wonderful not good. pieces. Is Trisha? Good morning to you, Trisha, dear That's JM. Lovely. Uh, please find my entry for this week's Wall of Fame: a chainmail bracelet with multicolored moonstone charms. I hope you like it. Kind regards. That's from Trisha Bell in Allendale. It's stunning. It looks fab, doesn't it? Stunning. Love the uh, the use of the, the you know the three colours in yeah. there as well. Yeah, but they go with the three colours in the in the gemstones. They do. Oh, yeah. Very yes. nice. See what you did there, Trisha. Uh, number 414 is from Joyce Berry. Ooh. Good morning to you, Joyce. Lovely. Uh, hello all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry for this week. It's a 16-inch choker necklace uh, made from black agate puffy coins <laughs> interspaced with gold-plated spacer beads. It's connected with the gold-plated uh, findings and gold-plated magnetic clasp. It's a commission Lovely. make uh, for a lady who has difficulty fastening her jewellery. All items are from JM. Best wishes to all. And that's from Joyce. Um, Adam says he can see me wearing this. I would too. I'd wear that. Yeah, definitely a bit of me. But you see, black and pink to me, that's where... You give Marilyn a run for her money, missus. Thanks. <laughs> You've got I that mean... pink, the black on. You just need a perfect necklace like a that. big booty. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she, she hasn't, and neither of you. Uh, 
Is it too early for that? Sorry. Um, okay, <laughs> moving on. Number 415. Good morning, Michael. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Hi, here is my latest entry for the Wall of Fame. It's my take on Mark Smith's sp simple spiral, uh, fitted with a magnetic clasp. It's made entirely from jewellery maker materials. Blessings to all at Jewellery Maker, and that's Michael. Michael, it is stunning. Absolutely nice. stunning. I love doing a spiral. Yeah, I mean, it's love so, so it. classy, isn't mm. it? Um, number 416 is from Angela Aronson. Oh. Hello to you, Angela. Again, classy, so beautiful. Dear JM Crew, please find attached to my entry to, for this week's Wall of Fame a bracelet made from flat and round wire as well as tiger's eye beads. All materials are from JM. Since we are approaching May, I'm hoping you'll be having a birthday celebration again this year, even if the performance from Liam in a dress will be hard to beat. Good luck to all <laughs> talented Woffers. Regards, Angela uh, uh, Aronson in Sweden. Yes. Oh, well done. Funny you should say that, Angela. I might have just filmed a little something prior to the show for the birthday, and, and Friday's going to be pretty exciting. I saw Adam looking at dresses. Well, yes, we get Alan to do it. I reckon we could persuade Liam. I reckon <laughs> <we> could... <laughs> Liam, you're wearing a dress. Okay. He would, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. He's game for a laugh. Game for a laugh. Game Over for to a you. Laugh. Oh, to me. D uh, 417. And this is Margaret Gibson. And this is my entry. That's gorgeous. That's amazing. My entry for this week is a two into one chain uh, link chain necklace with a cabochon wrapped with base metal gold plated gallery wire. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? The gallery wire can really set so your cabochons off. Yeah. So professional. Good luck to my fellow offers and. Keep on keeping safe, everyone, Margaret. That, that's brilliant, Margaret. I love it. Amazing. Love that cabochon. Yeah, amazing. Very nice. Then we've got 418, and this is Gillian Thompson. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, good morning, all. Here is my entry for this week's WAF. A couple of wrap bracelets, one with Jasper and the other with Neon Appetite Cubes. Love. Nice. Works lovely with the cubes. Mm. Um, all components are from JM, of course, except for the large button. Um, and that's from uh, love and good luck to all from Gillian in Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Then we've got uh, 419. This is Janine uh, Taylor. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, I love the, love the dragon dogs. Can't remember what they're called. Um, good morning, all. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're all well. Here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a Zen Marla using amazing Amazonite and uh, pink tourmaline. Everything is from JM. Good luck, all entries, and kind regards, Janine. Yeah, the little at the bottom. The necklace is stunning, though, isn't it? I love the choice of Amazonite and pink, yeah. uh, um, um, pink tourmaline. Goes beautifully together. Yeah, it really does. They're lovely. Right, and 220. 420. That's what I said. 420. <laughs> <laughs> it just came out too. And this is from Michelle Mason. Uh, good morning, all at JM. Thought I'd share with you my simple but beautiful slider bracelets made over the weekend using amethyst, black onyx and fire opals. All components from yourselves at JM. Good luck uh, to all in the draw. Fingers crossed from a win. That's lovely, Michelle. Yeah. Uh, did the divas help you with this? The divas are her dogs. Oh, she calls her colleagues the I, I did wonder. They're, they're amazing. Right. They are amazing. Okay. Right, that makes sense now then. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, uh, we've got 421 and it's Melanie Kears. Um, hi everyone at JM. Here's a simple bre stretchy bracelet made with tanzanite sterling silver spacer beads wow. with all components from JM. Simple and elegant. Hope you like it. Uh, regards, Melanie. It's lovely. Beautiful. You know, Jewelry, I, don't get me wrong, I love doing my, my, my wire work, but elegant s s simplicity, pair it back, looks beautiful. Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. That's, I mean, that, that's literally something you could imagine on Bond Street, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, do you guess what Laura's just <gasps> said in my ear? Yes. Fast and pacey, Al, fast and pacey. <laughs> All right, Wayne. <laughs> All right, Wayne. Radio. Fast and pacey, because I want to bring you lots and lots and lots of goodies. <gasps> Shall we start with some gorgeous aventurine? These are amazing. These are beautiful. Um, aventurine, carnelian, always comes out in the summer. Yeah. I always start wearing those kind of gemstones in the summer months. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can see why, says Adam. 
That's amazing. And it's completely and utterly natural. We've described them as nuggets, which I think we're doing just slightly a disservice. Yeah. These are much more, they're statement Tumbles. stones, aren't they? Yeah. Tumbles, yeah. They're individuals, really, you're right. Look at that dark one in the front. I know. Well, I mean, so similar. You can actually see why over in China, many uh, it, it can um, be described under the jade umbrella. It, technically speaking, it isn't a jade, it is another gemstone. But you can see why, because of its visual similarities. Oh, oh, Alison, yes. this <laughs> alongside the pearls. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Most definitely. Three pounds 99. What? Should we be a bit frantic this morning? Yeah. I've got a spring Go step today. Yeah. I know, booties and everything we're talking Ooh. about, and it's barely 16 minutes past eight. Absolutely. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah but what, specifically mine, Laura says. I mean, yeah, that's okay. That's fine. But what we, we, not as a topic of conversation. <laughs> be a fairly boring topic of conversation. Three pounds and 99 pence only. Um, wow. <laughs> they're all awake um, this morning with you loving that loving that use them as like marlers they'd also look really beautiful with some black agate they would look beautifully with like that. this yeah i mean should we look do it now there's a gorgeous kit if ever i saw i one. love that one yeah i love that kit do you remember the days when i used to make kits i do remember the days when you used to make Quite kits. Miss it actually Aww. me and paula bennett or pb as i used to call her um <laughs> um, every Friday we used to gather like, all the kits used to be ordered to our office and we'd allocate them to the different designers and they'd get mm. sent out and I see there's lots of, lots of planning that goes into kit making oh there you know. is it's not not easy no no definitely not um, good luck on the adventure and I think that's quite limited again let me just show you alongside your oh, early classic. bird pearls classic Class. cocoa five pounds and 99 pence Whoa. That's for your agates, obviously, in your 12 mil. These are coming up a little bit later on. Um, but you've got, you got to show them together, haven't you? Because oh, you have. It's your Dior, it's your Coco yeah. Chanel, it's your Mary Quant. Yeah. It's... Your black's everything, isn't it? It's such a classy. Yeah. Such a classy. Every d big design yeah. house works with monochromes, yeah, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 5 99 to get hold of these. Or might have to... I'm shopping today. I fancy a bit of shopping. Yeah, I know, I, I, I know, Laura, I know. Um, it's not payday yet, but you know what? But you see, if you want simple, if you're going on holiday to keep, to keep the, the price, stick one of your, your um, donuts on it, your, your how like oh, donuts yeah, on, on the bottom of that as a pendant. What a beautiful ne necklace for really holidays. Really gorgeous. How many do we have of these then, Laura? Oh, good. Um, we've got quantity, and the reason why I'm asking is because I want to add some to my order. Um, Mm -hmm. they, they would go with my outfit, actually. No, they would just hold it up to the neckline, yeah? Oh, yes, it would. Yeah. Black and pink again. Black Beautiful. and pink. Black and pink. Do you know what? Um, unknowingly, my auntie, who's uh, um, my brother... Uh, my brother. <laughs> my auntie, who's my dad's sister. Um, I remember her going to one of, um, well, her, 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 her daughter's wedding and she wore fuchsia pink and black. And I just remember thinking she looked, she had so dark classy. hair as well. She looked so gorgeous. Um, unknowingly, I'm copying her today. Um, four millimetre rounds in your black agates yes. as well. Are we do oh, I'm sorry. I, already, I thought you'd said move on. I beg your pardon, Laura. <laughs> it makes sense, mind. doesn't it, to go from the 12 mil to the 4 mil? I've got to bring those You've pearls got back. To. You've got to. That like, is like a dream that kit. That is a dream kit, that. That's amazing. Knot it in a long oh. line. Oh, a big, a a big long um, flapper dress. Oh. With the knot in. Oh, yeah. Wow. I love that idea. It's opera length, they call it. Yeah, don't they? yeah, yeah. Needle skimming. Oh. But yes, it is opera length. <laughs> um, £3.99. These are brand new. Never been on your screens previously before. If you want the 12 mil, we have got quantity of them, but they're flying. They're absolutely flying out the door. Good morning, Beverly. Good morning to you, Lincolnshire. Hello to you, Cheryl, Denise. Hello to you, Lisa, Nora. Hello to you, Five, Tracy. Wonderful to have your company this glorious Tuesday morning. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I like, do you know what I like? My alarm goes off at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, a lion. Uh, that is a lion for you, isn't it? Uh. Um, I like it that when you when I go downstairs, make my cup of tea, let the dogs out. It's almost light. Yeah. It's almost light at that time in the morning, and you can hear thorns. the birds. Oh, you can hear the birds. Rustle. Yeah, 
What time do you get up then? To come here? Yeah. Three. Uh. <laughs> three a.m. Oh, I keep saying that, Alison. You should stop with me. Uh -huh. well, there you go. You might not get a full night's sleep, <laughs> but you probably get more sleep actually. <laughs> yeah. um, driving down from three o'clock. Okay, let's bring you up. The how light do Perfect donuts. with those two. Literally, some of your chains that's coming yeah. up. Um, I like the three. Would you wear them together? Kind of arranged like that. You could. No, you see, I'd have them going graduated down. Like that? Yeah. Yes. But I'd also, I'd, I'd think about having the little one as a ring. So you get three. You, oh, you yes, one of your Rambrilli of cut stones. There are only 20 of these available and they're very popular. I love Howlite. Yes. It's so popular as well over in China um, because of the patterns and everything. Mm. And apparently, it's really difficult for us to get hold of. Do, well, you, very, you don't see it in its natural white, no. do you? No. It's normally... Dyed. Yeah, because it takes a dye so well. Mm. But I love it. And you get so few white gemstones. It always reminds me of the Trevi Fountain. Oh, really? Always reminds me of somewhere in, somewhere in Rome, you know? Like, you can imagine there's sort of a um, the, the beautiful, uh, beautiful sculptures Mediterranean. and everything. Yeah, it's got that kind of vibe to it. Yeah. 12 99 for all three. I would literally take do what you suggested, pop, pop a gemstone yeah. in the centre there, round brilliant cup. Are those smaller ones the same size? Yes. OK, so That's you've got a, a pendant and earrings set. So you, you have... Oh, they are approximate. So it says 80 carats, a set of three in all. But the ones I've got here... Um, can we, have you got the measurements there, Laura? Two of the 20 mils and 130? Because that looks bigger than 30 mil. That's what it says. So two of the 20 mil, one of the 30 mil size. Oh, she's got a ruler out. That is 20. That. Yeah, that's 20. That's 20. What's this one then? So that's 30. Yeah. They are right then. They are right. They it's do look bigger, you're right. It's totally me. I love it. Totally them. me. I, <laughs> I love those. They're so easy whether you just put a like said knot with those or, yeah. or whether you want to do any that's fancy wire board. work. Yeah. Beautiful. Should we do the Laramar? Oh, yes, please. Now, this is a perfect pair. So if you're looking for the most exquisite, Larimar earrings, oh, or you want to separate them, that's entirely up to you. Um, we, we mentioned oh, Larimar yesterday, gorgeous. didn't we? Um, as a very rare, one locational gemstone forms only in the Dominican Republic. It's a variety of pectolite that um, sp very specific and unknown geological occurrences um, actually transform pectolite, which is normally a white or a grey, to these beautiful lagoon-like blues. Um, the more blue, the more valuable your Larimar is. Now, you're not looking for like a sapphire blue. No. Um, you're looking for a tropical blue. Yes. Yeah. I haven't seen the price, no. Adam gasped. Larimar yes. is considered, yeah. I don't know what these are going to. What are they? No. No. We... I got a little one. Yeah. <laughs> Cabochon. That was, that was of that sort of affordable price. Not a pair, a matching pair of huge Larimars. Nine Beautiful. carats, that's four and a half carats in each stone. Have we got many of those Laura, left? I don't want oh. to question, I don't want to question you here, but are you sure that's right? And, and, you know, and genuinely, people sometimes say, oh, you know the price. No. I don't, I don't. Firstly, my brain does not... Yeah, I know the price of about 10 items across the course of the show. And that's I know if the, she doesn't change them. <laughs> and, and, and even then they change them, yeah, precisely. And even if Laura did tell me, I wouldn't remember. My brain doesn't retain information. Um, can you imagine, first item, Al, is that I would never remember all the prices. No. But nine ninety nine for Larimar. For, for two... A gemstone that will deplete. Wow, and is that... So that's two nine-carat Larimar pairs. 14 by 10 millimetres in size. That's huge. bonkers. It is bonkers. That, how many do we have of these, Law? 30. Oh. Yeah, they will go, though. Lisa, uh, Northamptonshire, Beverly, Michael, Suzanne, Wendy, Louise, Helen, Susan, Tracy, you're there as well. Completely natural. Can I ask, 
Are these disappearing at eight, at nine? No, Good. not doing viewers' choice. Any left, I'm in there. I, I'll, I'll buy up left. Mm. <gasps> Love this as well. This Good luck though. Next. At, five, at nine uh, ninety nine, they're not on That is today. crazy price. I love this strand. That is that is worth stocking up and holding. I love this. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the colours of tiger's eye that you're getting here. Almost um, almost like a petersite, bluey colour. That's where I was exactly going with A little the, bit stormy. The mixture of them both is, is quite petersite-like, yes. isn't it? Um, so you've got some which have obviously had a, a treatment process, but I, really like, I like that process because it actually brings you that more of a chaotic chatoyancy, mm. a little bit like you see in Peter Sight as a gemstone. Beautiful butterscotch um, yellows and oranges. Look how the light travels across the surface of them. That's mm. why, uh, well, chatoyancy, basically, that phenomena effect makes this gemstone so magical. Beautiful with your 12 o'clock kits. Oh, yes. In fact, let's hold it up against one. You choose one. Here we go. We'll just, just grab her. I'm just going to... Yes. Isn't that beautiful with the, with the carvings? It's going to go lovely. Absolutely. Put six ninety nine, And if you wanted it longer line, then literally just get a couple of them. Mm. Um, not them, so it can actually be, uh, again, almost marla light length. Yes. How beautiful would that be with these wonderful master carvings? This is coming up um, in the 12 o'clock hour today um, alongside more amazing carvings but right now and also with the nine o'clock kits i love yes. jadeite with tiger's eye do you know i do too because they go that well anything goes with browns because of nature yeah but the but the jadeite colors just work so well they really do love it stay where you are on those phone lines i'm just going to add some more tiger's eye to the equation love this oh goes in my outfit goes in my nails Dyed fuchsia tiger's eye. That, you know, that process, oh. that treatment process, a prime example when I was taught, you know, um, well, basically not to turn my nose up at something before I've even seen it because I was, I was kind of reluctant to, mm -hmm. to, to, to accept dyed tiger's eye. And then when I saw it, I was like, actually, it's absolutely stunning, stunning because it enhances the chatoyancy, doesn't it? it? It certainly does. Can you do me a favour with that? Can you put it with the black? I read your mind. You did. There you go. I'm putting it with the pearls as well. The black and pearls are going to go with loads. Look at those. Put some sterling silver spacers. Yeah, triple clasp. Thanks triple very clasp. much. Oh, okay. wowzers. Wow, wow, wow. All coming up within this hour as well. Six ninety nine for your fuchsia pinks. Um, let's bring you now, somewhat sorry, oh, hematite. Oh, wow. Gold hematite, no less. Oh, nice with the tiger's eye. It would. It'd go lovely with the pearls. It'd go lovely with your kits. It would. Both kits. Yeah. Nine o'clock and twelve o'clock. Yeah. It'll go with everything. Go that with, with your pearls. Just the black. Yeah. With the pearls or with the black. There you go. We're back. Those two are going with every every strand we've got today. There are staples. Black and white, your staples. Do you know what? I'm going to mix Look it up. at that with. Oh. Oh, okay. But look at that. How much more classy, yeah. how much more high end could you get than black, gold, and white? But, yeah, that's a meter long length. Wow. A meter long length of faceted four millimeter round hematites. Um, use them as. Uh, you know, use them as an alternative as well to maybe your spacer beads. Use them in your loom. Loom it. Ooh. Could you imagine that as a stretchy, as a stretchy cuff? Oh, yeah. Could what about around your tiger's yeah. eye? Yeah, put it around the tiger's eye would go fabulous. <sighs> this, is like a, this is like so the dream well. strand that's going to go with absolutely everything. How many do we have of these, Law? 30, <gasps> but 5 99 for a metre long length. Pop it with your leaf. Pop it with your jade eye, absolutely. Pop it with your howlite, pop it with your tiger's eye, agate, mm. all of the above. Don't forget, we have uh, Malaya Garnet coming your way. Brand new opportunities. They are simply breathtaking. I have some amazing pink amethyst to bring you right now. Wow. Described as tumbles. They're faceted tumbles, in actual say. fact. Um, um, I love that because you know you know what if you if you unearth a rough stone and you yeah. can imagine then so you're, you know you're a miner you've placed it into the hands of a lapidarist and you said 
okay, um, I want them to be this, 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 and this. You're actually limiting yourself um, by saying, I want a round billion cut, mm. I, want a, I want an oval cut, because you might be cutting away carrot weight, which is of this quality. So with them being that unusual, yeah. quirky, individual shape, all completely unique, you are guaranteeing that that lapidus has cut them for their own individual beauty. Yeah. These are brand new. Beautiful. You have almost, uh, they're born so close to being Rose de France. They are. I love it. See, again, you've got, <laughs> you've got your pearls and your black are gonna get, oh. Mother of the bride. No, oh, no. wait, I've got another idea. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, I love that kit. Oh yeah. Alongside, <laughs> oh, yeah. alongside your Malaya garnet. Stunning. Oh. Could you imagine then having one of those set, set opposite, if you like, to make a ring. So setting it flat, it seems odd to say something flat. And then through the drill hole, yeah. you're going to come up with your wire, pop through one of those garnets and go back down. So you've amazing. got the garnet sitting on top of that amethyst. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Seven ninety nine. These are brand new premiering Crazy. today. Also... How about oh, the yeah. Nice, the smooth and the, and the faceted. Yeah, love that because you've got quite quirky mm. shapes there across the two. Um, make sure you check out though, $7.99 and not hanging around. It is time for the sterling silver hammered paper link chains. Now these are hugely popular at the moment, this style. It's kind of erupted onto the jewellery scene. Mm. Um, I don't think there's a single designer that you could look at and I do mean the design houses here, like your Tiffany's and Co, like your Misoma, like your Gucci, um, that are using this. They call it a paper link chain, where it's quite an exaggerated link. But we've gone one step further and textured it. It's a star by. Be aware, though, we've got less than 100 of these available, and you get two. That is just stunning, isn't it? Can I have a look at that one? Of course. While you're waiting. Think ahead as well. <gasps> Think of all the occasions when you're going to use a chain like this. I love it on its own. Wow. But you could also use it maybe as a charm necklace. You could use it to suspend some of your gorgeous master carvings. You can use it for, say, some of your Baroque pearls. Um, it's, it's a stunning finished piece of jewellery on its own. Here we go, Dan's just passing me another bus because you don't just get the one, you get two. Just a minute. Two of them. I'm just going to turn this round because personally, I would actually wear this asymmetrically with, make a oh, feature, would you? like Tiffany's do, make a feature of the toggle clasp itself. It's precious 925 sterling silver. And as I said, there's not, I, I, I can't think of many big designers that don't actually include the actual hammered link. It's called different things. Um, wow, there we go, perfect. Um, across different design houses. Let me look at that. Here we go. So if you were to look at, here we are. Let's just go High Street initially. Samuels. £119 for a 20 inch paper link chain. And that is stunning by comparison. The, the sparkle you're getting from that, yeah, that is luster. incredible. It's amazing, isn't it? It's incredible, but it's if, so smooth. If you were to look at Monica Veneda, a hundred, do you know what? It's even cheaper than Samuel's, which, wow. is, which is unusual. Unusual. You get the texture though. 18 inches, 100 pounds. But that's still only one, not the four she's wearing. No, that's just one. That's just one. It's shorter than ours, and you yeah. get two with us. You could look at places like Misoma. Misoma do almost exactly the same, um, almost exactly the same as what you're looking at right now. They are three figures. You could look at Gucci. You could look at all those big design brands for a paper link chain, and it'll be almost wow. identical to what you're looking at right now. Now, there you go. Well, I know that's gold plated, but we can show it, it's fine. Any of the above, 
slightly different. They do versions of them, look, £245. That's chunky, though. That is quite a chunky. It's sterling silver, gold-plated sterling silver. But if you were to scroll through Masoma's website, you would find one which is almost exactly the same as this. Now, uh, uh, personally, Alice and I, I know they're finished pieces of jewellery. I would literally just buy it and wear as it is. But I know that jewellery makers will customise it. Well, I've already just added, a, added a, a, a charm to one or a pendant to one. Finished pieces of jewellery, as a jewellery maker, it's a necklace. I make a lot of pendants, so I want necklaces. If you make your own chains, it takes a lot of time. And gets expensive. So it gets expensive. A, you've got wastage, but, but also time-wise, it, it, time is money. Yeah. It does cost you. That, and I could never make that. Well, no. I, not. It might take me a couple of days to make well, something like that. That's a lot like of soldering. That. If you're going to, it's a you lot know, of soldering. A lot of soldering and hammering those and hammering exactly, and then wrist. Perfect. If you're hammering it as well. Now you will not believe how affordable we actually launch these. Um, there's, it shouldn't be of any surprise at all that these absolutely flew out the door. Um, they, they are 20 inches, which is my personal preference. It sits kind of mid decolletage as opposed to sort of just up close mm. to the nape of the neckline. That does depend on your build. If you're particularly petite, it's going to sit a little bit lower, of course. Now, um, 12 grams mm. of precious metal. When the likes of even Samuels are charging over £125, and that's no disrespect to Samuels, but they are, you know, one of their uh, uh, one of their appeals is it's it's more yeah. affordable than than your than your sort of your big Italian jewellers and things like that. It's a high street jeweller store. We are significantly under that price tag, and you're not just getting the one; you're getting two. So right now. That's thirty pounds each. That's bonkers that's already. Not, that's not it. We're not stopping there. I launched these and they absolutely flew. If they're less than that, they would have. <laughs> How did I miss those? Laura's saying I want these. Yeah. Do you know what I would do, Laura? If you got, if you got, if you're lucky enough to get one, one is a necklace, one is an anklet for your holidays, Ooh. or a brace. In fact, you might be able to make. So both. wrap around as a bracelet. Wrap it a couple of times round. Yeah. Wrap around twice as an anklet. Mm. That would be lovely too. Or you could use them as charm bracelets. Yeah. Use them as the carrier to your bubble style. We are not just taking a little cheeky 10% off that price tag. It's going significantly lower. The only downside right now is that there are purely 74, that's it. Mm. And that was at the beginning of the auction. They're already been uh, snapped up by, uh, uh, by our viewers. There's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Do bear with our fabulous call centre. I saw some of them this morning. Um, they earn their bread and butter to our lovely call centre. We're about to bombard them today. Um, so we love you, call centre. Thank you so much. Do you know that's what's been nice about moving back over here? Actually being able to see We've them. We've never seen yeah. them. I agree. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> we just killed your call centre. Look up. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. I know. I know. I know. I know. You know when you look at places like Samuel's, mm -hmm. and they're one hundred and twenty-five pounds. Mm -hmm. One hundred and nineteen. Beg your pardon. Something almost exactly the same. With thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, and that's for two. That's crazy. That's for two of them. Unbelievable, isn't it? Less than twenty pounds each. That is crazy. When you think of the the what do you, do you say? So there's over five grams of silver in each one. Yeah, six. Over six gra six yeah. grams of silver in each. In each one. Crazy. I know. I mean, they're absolutely flying out the door. Well done, Linda, Maria, Pauline, Leonora. Hello to you, Elaine, wow. Cardiff, Susan, Beverly, Essex. Uh, Lynn, Wendy, Teresa, Diane, Amanda, new customer, Anita, Leisha, you've got to check out your baskets. There was only 74. Paula in London wants three. Linda, Julie, Mary, hello to you. Margaret on the phone lines. Good morning, Margaret. Hello to you. Lynette in Worcestershire. Morgan in London. You have to check out. Teresa just snapped up too. Why wouldn't you know? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, even if you were just getting one for 34.99, that's, that's a deal. That's a deal. The quality of them, when, and I'm going to tell you now, when you get those home, you're going to be surprised when you get them because what 
we're under de we're under promising on TV again, under uh, and yeah, over delivering, and delivering because because it's almost like they're coated in tiny diamonds. Yeah, it's true actually. Yeah, really is. You yeah. look at it; they're absolutely incredible. Yeah, and th and that's down to the texture, yeah. which must be really difficult to achieve. I know you can hammer precious metal, but. You but put the polish then, back you? on it. Yeah, true. It's and incredible. all the soldering. Mm. It's just, I mean, like I said, I know we've got some wonderful silversmith viewers. Mm. Um, but is it, is it, is it going to be cost effective for you to actually make these? No, by the time you buy the sterling it's, silver it's wire. It's not, because, be, because you're back to your time again. Yeah. You've got to make all those links, and it's not an easy shot. <laughs> so you could do it on the jig. We could set up the jig to make those links. Mm. Then you've got to cut them, solder them, texture them. Soldering each of those links together. I know, I know. Polishing Pickles. them. So you've got to polish each one. You've got to put them in the pickle. Then you've got to polish each one individually. Mm. Incredible. That is stunning. Unbelievable. Stay where you are. There were, as I said, 74. People have getting twos, threes. I don't blame wow. you. I would as well. I would as well. And these are going to work perfectly ahead of so many of the auctions. Yeah, keep one for yourself and gift one. That's a nice well, idea. Well, at that price, they're, they're, they're like, you're back into, dare I say it, Secret Santa territory, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. One of those. Could you imagine you getting one of those? Christmas? No, I didn't. I didn't mention Christmas. I mentioned Secret Santa, but I didn't mention Christmas. <laughs> Do we have a summer Santa? We should have, shouldn't oh, we? I, I, well, let's I'd, start something. I'd Do you want me to that. take that back off? There? I would go with that. Yes, you need that, don't you? So I'll pass I just want to hold them. To I just want to hold this again. Um, okay, let's bring you another chain. Uh... Oh yes. Could you imagine one of those pearls on that? Oh, Ooh, layer that. Yeah, layer it up. Slightly different link to the one that you just saw. Again, brand new. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Yeah. Um, so this, what's that? Round end link chain. Okay, so they're more curved. They again are definitely what I would describe as a paper link chain, but a bit more rounded. Um, 24 inches, again, layer it up. So you've had the 20, this is 24. So it is, it's gonna sit, well, on me, approximately where I'm actually holding it right now. Uh, solid 925, never ever been on your screens before. It's beautiful, this. Drape it across the back of my hand so you can see. Um, so yeah, because well. we, we, Alison, we do things like your, your curb chains, your snake chains, yeah. your Figaro's, your belchers, and you know things like that. Um, this is a very new design. You're quite new across the entire jewellery sector. So popular. Not oh, just yeah. for ladies either. No. Very it's unisex. Something that, um, I mean, if I was to give this to Tom, I'm sure he would wear it. Because it's a heavier gram yeah. weight. £17.99. Laura, it's 24 inches. <laughs> She just went, oh, she says she's going to get in trouble. Why are you getting in trouble? She's going to get in trouble. Playing stuff you shouldn't play. Just go with it, Laura. Don't worry. We've got you covered. Yeah, but it's overtime, so surely that gives you a bit of leeway, doesn't it? Ross is having a few deserved days off. Gives you a little bit of leeway, doesn't it? Buys you something. She dips in and out. Yeah, 17 oh. I love this. Absolutely beautiful. It's over allocated though. Paula, Kathy, Cheryl, McCambridgeshire. Hello, Gabrielle, my darling. Hello to Jennifer, Jennifer, Kim, Paula, Barbara, Lorraine, Tyne and Wear, Angela, Suzanne. Um, stay where you are on your phone lines, everybody. Some round spacers. Everybody needs a spacer. Yeah. Everybody. They're a necessity, aren't they? They are an essential. Do you know what we ran out of in the house the other, uh, yesterday, last night? Spacers. <laughs> <laughs> Caviar? I don't think I've ever had. I've, I don't think I've ever had caviar in my house. To be honest, I like it, but I've never had it in the house. Literally trying to. Uh, the girls were in bed. Tom had gone to the gym. Uh, right, make pa make pack lunches. No bread. <laughs> ah, so they've gone to. They've both. Well, yeah, Tiggy and Willow have both got a nice seeded bagel today. Nice. Got with a seeded bagel. Nice. No bread in the house. Anyway, they are a necessity. That's my point. You know, when you do your weekly shop, I, you know, round and round about then, so didn't I? You know, you do your <laughs> weekly shop, you don't miss your bread off, do you? Right. You don't miss your spaces. No. On your jewellery maker shop. Um, so you're getting 15 of these. They are 925 sterling silver. Um, so, for example, Alison, we're about to do pearls, isn't it? Yeah, good? brilliant. Perfect. So whether you're going to use them as an accent, I would use them 
a, a few of them between. Yeah. Just to give that accent to the to the focal area of the necklace. Yeah. Um, use them with your earrings, just one above above the pearl, just to just to addition it. You're going to use them with your with your kits. They're going to go so well with the the kits at um, nine. The kits at nine. Oh gosh, it's coming up soon. I know. Going to use those with 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 the with the kits. They're going to look exactly. amazing. You know what? Could you, I'd put one either side of the roses. <sighs> I mean, any of these. I'll have that kit. I can make. I, I, I'll make you that kit. Thank you. I'll have that one. Wouldn't that look beautiful? That would look amazing. Any of the any of the type A J date coming yeah. up in the next hour. Perfect with the pearls for sure. Three ninety nine. What? Three pounds ninety nine. Laura, I know it's only it's fifteen as opposed to the thirty that we normally do, but that's still really low. It's very low. Really, really low. I love it because right now I can I can almost Go sense that Laura's a bit concerned. No, no, it's fine because they're going to sell out. They'll sell out, so she won't have to worry about it. <laughs> and <gasps> perfect with that. You have to have precious metal with oh, your Malaya garnet. You have to, don't you? You wouldn't want to use anything else other than your Malaya garnet. I mean, just oh. Oh, here we go. They're all multi buying. <laughs> uh, why wouldn't you multi buy? How many have we got then, Laura? Thirty-four. They yeah. are going to sell out, yeah, of course. <laughs> Again, Kit, Kit, would you like that, Kit? Uh, yes, yes, I love that one as well, please. <laughs> that's, that's, can, that's Can we put that in with classy. it as well? I mean, okay. As it's you. It's an as it's as a To kit. be fair, Alison. That one was... If I was still making kits, I'd be like, yes, Alison, yes. Yeah, whatever. What you want, yes. Shut her up, get her out of the way. No, I, <laughs> not that. It's just, just you. It's you'd, you'd, you'd have, I, you'd, I can't think of it. You'd have me wrapped around, which way is it? Wrapped, wrapped around, around your, your little, little finger. finger. That way, that's what I was thinking about. Um, anyway. <laughs> not quite with it yet. I need some more caffeine, but it is time for those beautiful pills. I've just homework. handed something to, can you read my writing? I can. You to to Alison and said, can you read, read the first okay. paragraph? I know, apologies if I'm... Uh... What now? Yeah, go. Oh, okay. Uh, have you ever wondered about what it is about pearls that make them so beautiful and desirable? Pearls have been known as the queen of gems and possess a history... And lure. And lure <laughs> <laughs> that dates back to ancient times. Before... Mickey Moto. Mickey Moto patented his technique for cultured pearls way back hundreds and hundreds of years... Pearls were so rare that to have a necklace of matching pearls was considered to be priceless. They were the most expensive jewellery in the world. There you go. Amazing. They are the only gemstone that is offered to each and every single one of us. And as it is obviously not unearthed from the ground, but revealed from the mollusk itself, that is immediately consummately beautiful mm. without a single facet without any polishing a pearl is mm. perfect yeah absolutely from the get-go without any any addition or help from us you're getting an opportunity those timeless yeah. classic opportunities to get two strands of genuine beautiful. cultured pearls there is not a single century that I think any of us could could mention where pearls have not been no. appropriate. As Coco Chanel once said, every woman deserves ropes and ropes of pearls. And I would never, ever argue with Coco no. Chanel. Was she the one who also said you can't have too many pearls? No, precisely. And she's right. Yeah. She is totally, totally right. You're looking at genuine cultured, pure white cultured pearls. Look how smooth the nacre is. Now, you mentioned Mickey Moto in that paragraph. Mickey yeah. Moto was the one, like I said, that patented the technique to be able to 
basically produce pearls, um, instigating that process that would have happened completely naturally with that grain of sand. Um, now, obviously, cultured pearls now all of a sudden are not priceless, which they quite literally were, they, but they're still considered, yeah. still very much considered. I mean, depending on the, you know, the brand or the, or the jewelry house that you go to, for something like this simply knotted onto a, a class, yeah. you can pay hundreds and hundreds oh. of pounds. Yeah, and rightly so. Rightfully so. But I know that with your talents and skills, whether they're established or whether they're developing, that you could make that exquisite, professional, timeless piece mm. of jewelry like Alison actually read out. Now, it, I can, I'm going to say this. Pearls are one of our biggest sellers here at Jewelry Maker. And I'm not surprised by that because it's, it's, it's been the gemstone for almost 10 years yeah. that I have bought the most of from Jewelry Maker. I think, I think how we buy pearls is exceptional. Yes. But um, with the pandemic, sadly, it did have an impact, not just on some of your gemstones of the earth but gemstones of the sea most definitely because we couldn't get the uh, uh the pearl harvesters actually out to the locations to look after those mollusks and they are literally looked after you they know, are just dropped into the ocean and left for a couple of years you know they're you know, to. they are tended to exactly they check the you know the nutrients within the water the temperatures they chip barnacles off the shells themselves little divas as little you said divas. earlier on Absolutely, exquisitely beautiful. How many do we have, Laura? Oh. 51. I launched these pearls not so long ago. Um, during that launch, they were alongside a sterling silver clasp. We're going to bring you the remaining 51 without a sterling silver clasp and bring it to you at a reduced price tag seven millimeters six to seven millimeters in their size whether you choose to create that classic jackie kennedy double row oh, or nice. grace kelly again she was always worn wearing a uh, sort of a single strand of pearls you mentioned uh, marilyn monroe yeah. earlier on there's not many leading hollywood icons that haven't no. at some point been pictured wearing genuine pearls absolutely royalty royalty favorite with royalty but also you, you know, if you go out anywhere to any occasion, you're going to see people in pearls. More often than not, when I go out, I wear pearls. Yeah. My friend, that's all, all the jewellery she has yeah. is pearl jewellery. Yeah. She, she'll pearl wear it. Pearl earrings, pearl necklace, pearl bracelet. Yeah. She'll wear it to go to the pub. Yeah. Same. You know. Same. Absolutely. Always. Laura, Laura wore her pearl necklace uh, to work the other day and some of the GEMS presenters were asking her about it. What was the necklace? A 12 mil oh. Baroque pearl on a, on a silver chain. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. And also all the different techniques that you can mm. use this with. Rosary linking, knotting, simple restranding, yeah. bubble styles. I've actually made two cuffs on the stretches on the loom of pearls. One with black elastic yeah. and one with white. They look totally different, oh. but they look so amazing. So they're like four strands wide. So if you've got, if you imagine having four strand cuff, but mm -hmm. it's so easy to put on and off, so easy to wear. Yeah, because they're it's fabulous. Again, not fiddly clasps or anything nope. like that. Looming it is what, it's on elastics. So yeah, yeah, oh, this was. Now, like I said, we're going to take these exquisite quality pearls. We're going to take these to a super low price tag. You do get the both. But again, there are only 50 opportunities available. Be quick if you can. If you've got your heart set on owning them, be quick checking out. We're already under 50 pounds. That's making them 25 pounds per strand. Um, I know I say this all the time, so forgive me for repeating myself, but I walk past, um, when, when Friday is a bit of a ritual for, in our house, you know, on the days, Fridays that I'm not working, my husband and I will pop into town and have a nice oh, coffee. Right. Coffee coffee, and a slice nice. of cake. That's a bit of a ritual that we've always done. It's a nice ritual. Um, yeah, exactly. Every single time that we go for our, to our favourite coffee shop, I walk past the same jewellers. So press my nose against the window and a strand of cultured pills like this will be about £130 yeah. on a sterling silver clasp. We're at 49.99 and not two. stopping there for two. That's why when I look at the call screen, it is always absolutely chocker block. 
I've said, uh, Alison, I've been saying it for a while again, it's just getting the time with two kids and by the time yeah, they yeah. go to bed, I'm utterly exhausted. But I really want to start knotting pearls. Yeah. Um, and, 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 you know, making some money from it. Why not? If you've not knotted before, uh -huh. when or, and you've not held a knotted necklace, yep. the difference between oh, a yeah. stranded necklace and a knotted necklace is amazing. You, you can do this. It, the, it's it flows so flexible yeah so beautiful it, and and pearls are are where it started absolutely you, you your pearls. and the reason they knotted them is because if anything happened and it broke you'd only lose one well priceless remember yeah absolutely. they were priceless absolutely. you wouldn't want to lose one of those pearls yeah. um in Love four that. seconds three seconds we are <gasps> dropping that price significantly lower um I'm shopping with you today, so that means basically oh, yeah. in the every break, I'm going to be running out to my mobile phone and adding some items to my basket. So make sure you do check out. Wow. 24 pounds and 99 pence. That's for okay. both. Literally, do the, I've got a photograph of Jackie Kennedy actually wearing wearing a double strand like this. It's not twisted though, but you <laughs> get the idea. You get the idea. Literally wearing a double strand just like so. Yeah. It's classic. It is classic. Does it suit the outfit? You see, if you knotted that, so if you if you want to keep it classic, knot it with white. But if you if you keep it, if you want to make it more contemporary, use a different colour uh, cord with it. Knot mm. it with a different colour. Um, you know, you can change pearls up. I I I didn't used to like pearls before I started working at Jewelry Maker. Uh. I, I really didn't. And then I came to, you know, it was it was. They were classic. My gran used to wear a lot of pearls. My mum used to wear a lot of pearls. And then you come here and you see all the different shapes and colours. And now I don't care what shape, colour, no, pearl. No, same. I love them. And I, I, and I think that's what I love about jewellery making, <coughs> is it's given me an education and a greater appreciation. Totally. I'm with you on that as well. I mean, I used to I, I used to have to look after the pearl cabinet yeah. in that old jewellers. And, and I didn't appreciate them then as much as I do now. Yeah. Uh, by any stretch. I love these. Um, beautiful quality. It's working out at £12.50 each. We are down to single figure quantities now, though. Well done, Marilee, Stella, Sylvia, Heather, Cheryl, Anne, Leslie, Olwyn, Beverly, Angela, Nancy, Fife, Angela, West Midlands, Kathleen, Carol, Sylvia, Suzanne, Angela, Cor uh, Cornwall, Olwyn. Um, do we have that bail, by the way? Can we do that? Um, only I, I spoke to one of our lovely viewers, I, I won't mention your name just in case you don't want me to, um, who was asking for a bail and I did say I'd squeeze it in the eight o'clock hour. Now, I don't physically have them here because obviously this discussion was about an hour ago. Yeah. Um, but we can load it actually on a photograph so that you can actually shop. So anybody that has, in fact, I've got some here. Oh. Half drilled pearls like these. Anybody that has half drilled pearls and you want something to secure it, to create, turn it into that beautiful pendant. Um, if I turn it around, there's the half drill. Yeah. You're going to need some of your bales. Like I said, I don't physically have them here in the studio. Um, this is obviously the pearl example of what you, the kind of pearl that you would actually suspend from it. These are gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Super simple. They've got that sort of classic um, sort of fanned. Have we got a photograph off the website? Can we load that or not? Can we do that? Um, here we go. It's just basically, you get eight of them, but it's, yeah, that classic kind of fanned bale. Oh, nice. It's super simple. Yeah. Because I think when you've got Baroque, oh, okay. here we go. When you've yeah. got Baroque pearls, the bale is functional. Yeah. It's, I mean, it can be beautiful as well, but it's, it's all about the Baroque yeah, yeah. pearl, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, so if you're watching right now, then here's your opportunity to get it, because nice. she was actually saying, have you got any? I need to make that beautiful pendant. At $17.99, you're getting eight pieces. So that means that you can treat yourself to some more amazing mm. Baroques as well. And don't think, because these are drilled through, that you can't put them on a bale like that. Yeah, you can, can't you? Absolutely, you can. Yep. Be because nobody's going to lift your pearl up and look at its bottom. No, they don't. I mean, that would you be know? rude. It would be rude. So it's it's okay. Apart from Adam, yeah, Adam, nobody else is going to come up to you and go, "Is that pearl drilled?" They're not. So it will just be a perfect pearl dropped from yeah, from the beautiful. bale. It'll still be beautiful. Absolutely amazing. So I hope you got hold of those. Um, okay, it is time. We're going to cut to a very short break, jewelry makers, but we'll come back with some of the most exquisite kits. Now these are brand new full of beautiful precious silver um luxury and then oh, some yeah. 
But also at the same time, if you're new to jewelry making, these are some of the most simple creations that you could achieve. Now, be careful though, um, they're brand new, they're premieres, it's also gonna absolutely fly out the door because they're super, super affordable for one of the rarest gemstones. So make sure you check out. Join Alison and I after this. Wednesday at nine o'clock with lovely Carol and Mark Smith. You have an hour of Mark Crame, where five exquisite kits include three colours of nylon cord, each of which the total is some 500 metres. And we've also got a spool carrier so you can organise your stash. It's going to be a cracker. That's macrame, macrame, at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Sunday, the 29th of May, we will be holding a workshop like no other. A workshop that caters for knotters, beaders and wire workers. A workshop that brings jewellery maker to you. So Southerners, join me for Macrame Mayhem in Bracknell. Midlanders, join me for Whimsical Wire Work in Solihull. Northerners, join me, Alison Terry, for Scandalous Sea Beading in Liverpool. A day filled with fun and games, an interactive workshop that won't leave you jaded, the chance to look around the JM discount shop and also your stash swap. And to bring the whole country together, we will link each venue by video call. Your kits, tools, lunch and snacks will all be included in an ultra-exclusive ticket price to celebrate the return of in-person workshops. So make sure you tune in Friday the 29th of April to grab your ticket and be part of Joy Makers Nationwide Birthday Bash. That's exciting. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Three of my favourite people <laughs> all joining me on Friday morning. Oh, I don't know. Have we said that? Oh. <laughs> no, sorry. So, no, I got that wrong. 100% got that wrong, haven't I? Oh. No, that surprise we were planning for Friday no, morning. No, I got it wrong. It's not happening. <laughs> anyway, coming up at 10 o'clock today... 
Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> sorry. Adam likes my wink. Do you mean I just basically screw up one side of my face? I can't wink. I can't wink. I can't do that side either. <laughs> Coming up at 10 o'clock today, I'm going to be joined by the amazing Dave Troth <laughs> for the launch of your beautiful... Malaya Garnet. Uh, it, it, honestly, the love Can't affair is that. about to begin. Um, yeah, 10 o'clock for those. It's going to be super exciting. I get to shop. You do. Freely. Yeah, without, you, do. you know, getting you cramp do. or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't want to. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to get cramp all the time, no. but you can no. do it. Shop at leisure. But not before we bring you, oh. I think, one of the most beautiful nine o'clock hours that we've ever done. Stunning, isn't it? Oh, my goodness me. Alison, these are apps. I'm just going to scooch those over for a second because there's four kits. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the kits, they're very, very simple components. But what you achieve, and you said it earlier on, what you achieve from simple components is some of the most luxurious yeah. jewellery designs. Yeah, absolutely. This is all pure silver. So you've got a mixture. Some of the kits include Argentium. Some include 925 Sterling Silver. That is absolutely breathtaking. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. And, and that's perfectly cheesy. I'm going to get, I'm going to get uh, Elle doing a little bit of chain mail today. See, Byzantine I find really hard. Oh, no. Well, are you game for a go? I'll have a go, but I'm terrible at it. I will have a go. Um, don't don't follow my lead though, okay? Because I am really bad at following patterns. Um, each of these type A Burmese jadeites are brand new, and just to put this into perspective, I know lots of our regular viewers appreciate the rarity of jadeite, know exactly how valuable it is, know of the history of it over in um, in China. They say that what gold has a price, jadeite is priceless, um, and. When uh, you, you actually see this beautiful gemstone, it's, it's not the four C's that we would actually look at with your diamonds. It's actually your colour. It's the translucency, or transparency rather, sorry, and also the texture. Every single one of these jadeite carvings are exquisite translucency, an amazing colour, and uh, um, an incredibly textured. And what I mean by that is that literally you can sometimes see a patterning yeah. within jadeite, um, which really does add to the appeal. But here is a, a gemstone, which is in the top 10 rarest. That's not my words. You know, that's not us saying that here at Jewelry Maker or Gemporia. That is your Forbes, your, your Guinness Book of Records. And, and that's the case year over year over year. In particularly now, actually, because it's not um, it's not being unearthed from the ground. But for four thousand of years, this has been hailed as one of the most valuable commodities within so the east eastern countries. Now, however, there is a lot of demand for this beautiful gemstone in the West. We've seen this beautiful gemstone. We're becoming more and more educated about this gemstone, and the obsession has taken over in the west as well we know though that to really appreciate fully jadeite it has to be forwarded on to your master carvers so for example this we cut a lot of our stones over in india um, our jadeite parcels which are literally bought as rough would not be cut in our in our indian cutting house mm. because that's not one of their, their you know their fortes this is something that you would absolutely speak to uh, our Chinese colleagues and acquaintances and say, OK, we have a parcel of jadeite. If we, if we send it to you, can you create some master carvings? Now, when we do that, we don't know what's going to come back. We don't know because they'll look at the rough and they'll see how to articulate it as best. So that's where we've seen some of the Buddhas. That's where we've seen some of your um, Pixus. We've seen some amazing lotus flowers. So it was a little bit of a surprise for us all today. Have to say, when these landed in our vault, it was, oh my goodness me, they've done it again. Yeah. The quality of these carvings are beautiful. It's amazing. Now, four kits. We've got your roses, which you said earlier on are connectors. Yeah, so they're, they're double drilled. So <clears throat> this, is, this is one of them. If I show you this, because this is what... 
So can you see you've got a jump ring attached Aha! to each side? Have we ever done that before? I've not seen that before. And they've got a nice curve. So they're not back. going straight through. No, no, no. They're 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 on the side. That's genius. Yeah. Absolutely genius. So, you know, you can use them anywhere in a necklace, perfect for bracelets. And I can knot onto that, I can, can bead onto, onto that. It. Yeah, 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 you've got your drill hole there. And you can put a jump ring through, which is quite unusual. Yeah, well, that tells you you've got a large aperture yeah. there, doesn't it? Speaking of jump rings, 925 sterling silver, five millimetres. That's the internal diameter. Um, and you also have, can I have the specifications? So, here we go. More 925 sterling silver jump rings. So two lots of the five millimetres. Um, so it's a total of 100. So more than enough yeah. for you to make, you know, a heavy sterling silver chainmail piece. Here they are. Here are those beautiful carvings. 360 degrees. So if I actually place one this way, um, you'll actually see the curvatures of the petals, you know, how wonderfully cut as sculptured yeah. each of those type A jades actually are. Beautiful, aren't they? Uh, they're amazing. They're absolutely beautiful. Do you also notice if I can prop this one forward as well? Come on, stay where you are. Um, he's not playing ball, is he? There we go. Do you notice how they're all slightly different? Yeah, yeah. That's because they are hand -carved. carved. These are not something that you literally run through a production line. It's one of the most valuable and rare gemstones that physically exists. So they are placed into the hands of master carvers um, and they will literally create these wonderful life forms. We have never, to my knowledge, to anybody else's knowledge currently here in the studio and in the offices, never done type A jadeite connectors. No. That's exciting. We've done connectors with sterling silver, yeah. but not, you know, sort of, you know, within the, the actual stone. A, yeah, the actual stone is drilled to be used as a, as a connector. So perfect with your marlas. Oh, you yes. know, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna use it as a focal stone, you can go through, it's beautiful for that. Beautiful for bracelets. Beautiful for necklaces, so you could put those three spaced. So if you do it with a bit of the Byzantine, you could have the Byzantine space in between. Oh, unbelievable. Beautiful. Now, you, you are getting three pieces of it's natural amazing. type A. Um, I, I'm duty bound to say this. Now, there are differences. There is jade and there is almost jade, shall we say. <laughs> um, Jade is an umbrella title um, and it does cause much confusion. And I totally understand that because there are certain locations uh, sort of outside of the jewelry maker brand that will describe, say, a Venturine as jade. Mm -hmm. It's not the same thing. Um, jade, if you, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but people tend to get it that way. So jade is a surname, use it that way as say your family name. And then you have two siblings, you've got jadeite and nephrite. They're two chemically different gemstones, but they are still both jades. This is jadeite. Jadeite is actually rarer than nephrite, but even then to add to the, so the challenge, you have type A jade, type B uh, jade, and you also have type C. Type C and B are either dyed or polymer infused. This is type A, which is completely and utterly natural. So it doesn't get any better than what you're looking at right now. And you pay a premium. You pay a premium for type A jade. The graphics are live and people are already securing theirs. Remind me, Laura, how many we have? 158. Ooh. That's that's exciting. That's far that more than I actually thought we were going to have. All that precious metal, mm. even if, you, if you're not a chain mailer, well, you're going to use jump rings. Yeah. You'd be, I'd still be getting this kit for the jadeite. If, you are, if you're not a chain mailer, you've tuned in at the right time because <laughs> Alison's going to teach you. We'll convert you. We will convert you. <clears throat> and it would never be base metal with jadeite. No, I wouldn't. It would you always can, be your yeah, precious metal. I would always put it with precious metal. But you see, even if you do one jump ring into the other jump ring into the other jump ring to make a very, very simple chain you're still going to make a beautiful necklace. Yeah. Literally just linking them mm. all together. That simple. With the pearls that we had earlier on. Can mm. you imagine? Oh, gosh, In fact, yeah. Uh, Dan, is he here? No. Imagine, he's on the T-run and he blesses up. Imagine that double row yeah. connected 
buy one with of those. your type a jade use it to create a beautiful mm. swathe <gasps> wow it doesn't have to be put chain mail no nope. it could you could use it as details to create you know i don't know gatherings within your my shoulders going as well gatherings within are you ready there are four beautiful kits this is the only one with um with the three connectors yeah 34 pounds and 99 pence for Whoa. type eight i know i told you i told you i was expecting a lot more than uh-huh what 80 90 yeah yeah me too certainly well over 50 mm. very well over 50. yeah wow this is three that even if it's for the jade on its own that's just over 10 pounds each yeah or the two packets of jump rings on their own by the way on their own uh -huh. if you were to buy those 25 pounds and 98 pence at jewelry maker wow so i mean seriously that's that's, that's a like 10 good... pounds for your type a yeah. jade where on earth does that happen for three pieces, is, where else other than here at JM does that actually happen? That's an amazing kit. It is. I love that kit. Um, do you want me to shop for you whilst you're demoing? Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, because honestly, I, I, I'm all over it because the connectors, and we've never seen yeah. connectors before. <laughs> Excuse me, not just the one the connectors that actually have the sterling silver. Yeah, it's all about the jadeite, and I it prefer is. that. It's uninterrupted. It, it is, and I love I love the <laughs> fact that because I was I, I, when I first looked at the connector one because I've got the individual one, I was like oh, and then I tried it with the jump ring and I'm like oh, so I mean that's oh a, that's different, just incredible. And yeah. Even then we know how they've strategically placed those jump yeah. holes so that it doesn't interrupt the beauty of the flower. Yes. They're and hidden almost at the back, aren't they? And it's also on the curve. You oh, could actually make it that. so you could make it into a ring. So look at this. So you've got that concave part, so it'll sit nice on your wrist, but it will also sit beautifully as a ring. It would be amazing as yeah. a ring. Fit With really those comfortably. connectors, very, the, those holes on the side, yeah. it would make such an amazing, look at that, hugs your finger. It literally does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it was, it, it, it's almost made for that purpose. Yeah. Look at the quality. This is incredible I, I i mean i don't want to call it mutton fat but that is pure white isn't mm. it would you all agree mm. you've got a really beautiful pure white natural type a jadeite incredible in this opportunity i've got some which have got those more delicate greens stay where you are on those phone lines we had quantity but there are tons of you there now uh, next kit that i'm going to bring you is the leaf uh, the leaf but it also has the lowest quantity which is a shame argentium which is actually purer than your 925 sterling silver is it 935 thank you i'm glad you said that so let's talk about these first wow <laughs> three argentium rings yeah but they're not teeny weeny you no. said earlier on these these are great for things like uh ring, ring shanks, shanks make brilliant ring shanks use them as a pendant i've used um so there's a technique where you granulate so you make little balls of argentium and you can stick them all in clusters mm. and and i've got one with with a sort of load of granulated ones falling off this sort of dripping off this as a pendant at home that looks amazing i've also got one where i've made them into different sizes and i've got a bubble thing of different sizes oh, of gorgeous i love argentium me it's too fabulous. and it's it, it again super simple to do oh if you if you if you're worried about silversmithing and all that side of it argentium's your way to go because it's just fusing well this is seven Fabulous. grams of argentium in Ooh, those three and wow. then you're also getting um 1.2 grams in the smaller wow. size where there's a pack wow. of 10. so yeah the, i mean again Fabulous. precious commodity straight away yeah. but here it is are you ready for this uh, Dan, you spotted this straight off, didn't you? Yeah, gorgeous. Dan, oh, he's not there. Has anyone got Stop. a mobile phone? Laura, can I borrow your mobile phone for a second? <laughs> no, no. I, I, she wants the. She wants the. Yeah, the I want to borrow the torch. torch. Can you just? Can I just borrow your torch? Oh. It works far well, better. I know I've got an actual torch here, but it confuses the actual translucency. Thank you, beautiful. Here you go. Are you ready for this?
Oh, isn't that lovely? <gasps> Look at the translucency, texture, and color. You have rivers. That's you have nice. rivers of imperial jade running through pure mutton fat white. It's like the, the edge of a frozen stream. Yeah. So you've got all that greenery on the edge of the stream with that water, that pure clearness that you're getting from the, uh, the ice. And then you've got that little bit of frosting. It's beautiful. I love that. That's quality jade oak. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing quality. Wow. With Argentium, unfortunately, this is the most limited, and you've got this beautiful. Um, there we go. Sorry, it's like look trying to do something in the mirror. Wow. You never Whoa. quite look at that. Oh, now you've got it. Look at that quality. Can you hold it by the top? Is the, that your finger? I can see. You can see my finger behind it, yeah. I mean, oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, now, Al. Can you pat your head and rub your <laughs> tummy at the same Sorry, time? Al. No problem. No, no, it's all good. It's all good, lovely. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness me. You've I got the folds that. of that beautiful leaf perfectly accentuated by the natural colours of your jadeite. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, without the Argentium, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sold because, the, I mean, that That's is. incredible. No, you see, you said earlier when you came in, turn it the other way, yeah. and you've got bud. You, it, could be, it could be a bloom, couldn't it? A bloom, it could be a, a fir cone. Yeah. You've got that sort of shape. But I'm also thinking, if, I, if you did that with some wire work, you could make wings and turn it into the body of a, of a butterfly. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's a great oh, idea. Yeah. You're talking about multi... What? Oh. Laura, what did you do? Oops. Laura. Laura, Laura, it's twenty nine ninety nine. They're multi buying. How many do we have well in this done. kit? The Argentium shouldn't be that price tag, surely. No. Uh, she. Uh, do you know what, Laura? Do you know what I've come to realise? She'll just blank you out. <laughs> she literally just zoned me out then, as if, and she was like, 30 second clock, please, Adam. Not going fast love enough. Love you, Laura. I love her too. That's, <laughs> uh, that is crazy already at 39.99. Let me just look, 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 to get some perspective, how huge yeah. this type A Burmese jadeite and the carving on its own for 29.99. It should not be happening. Should not be happening. I'm not looking. And you get all that argentium. What did you say in quantity? <laughs> That's got to be one of the big, biggest jadeite deals that we've ever Oh, wow. To. With the argentium. Yeah. The argentium. Exactly. That huge leaf, which is amazing. Well, you, you laid it out like this, didn't you? You were like, okay, so use one of the large argentium yeah. rings. Then one of the smaller ones to yeah. go through the actual bale. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, literally some soldering. If I turn it down. Fusing. You just have Sorry. to melt it. You Fusing. don't have to solder it's not it. not even soldering, yeah. is it? So there we go. There's your pendant. There's your high-end yeah. pendant. Pop it on the, the, the thingy chain. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe you did that, Laura. Mm. Check out your baskets. She, she does not care. I have to say, <laughs> I'd also then be making a ring shank. Yeah. And using one of the roses. Yeah. With your ring shank. Oh, yeah. See if I can do it. You'd obviously be fusing, so you get the idea, though, don't you? Yeah. You get that general idea. Yeah. Wow. Using this, that kit with this kit. Well, in fact, let's add it up. Yes, yeah, still stilly mummy. Seriously. Stilly mummy. Silly money. £60 for the two wow. kits. Well, that's the price of the, of the leaf kit in my eyes. The, le the leaf yeah. on its own. Yeah, absolutely. £24.99 wow. is frankly ridiculous. Absolutely unbelievable. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Again, I'm moving on because I've still got two kits to bring you. Um, the lotus flower. Let's do the lotus flower because 
I love it. The story and the sentiment of the lotus flower is classed as actually being very, again, very much an Eastern influence, um, thought to be the most beautiful flower that exists on this planet. But it's the journey that that yeah. lotus flower actually it travels through dark, uh, muddy waters. And then when it sees the light, uh, and, 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 and again, a little bit Buddhist as well in their beliefs as well, that, uh, that, 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 that thought of enlightenment, that's when it comes into full bloom. But yeah, you find the lotus flower in the most murky and muddy waters. Oh, trust me, we get them on the canals. <laughs> Do you? Oh, no, no, they're not. No, they're water lilies, aren't they? Yes. Similar yes. sort of thing, but yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Sorry. That's no. all right. No, they're this one kind away. of orangey, pinky light colour. They're beautiful. Um, I love this. The detail in the carving blew me away from all the pieces I had to work with for today. That is just incredible. Do you know what, though, as well? The symbol itself. And I know, yeah. well, listen, I'll talk to you about jadeite until the, tows, uh, until, until the cows, <laughs> until the cows come home. But the symbol of the actual lotus flower, you know, you think many of us will go through, a, well, we all go through a journey, don't we, in some way, shape or form. Some of them will be more turbulent than others. Um, but what, a, what an amazing piece to wear, you know, to yeah. think, OK, I've been through that and I came through. So it's a really positive symbol, really positive, wonderful sim symbol to actually uh, to actually have around the neck, wherever it might be. Here it is, again, hand carved, a beautiful Amazing. master carving. We're still not done because you also have your sterling silver, um, sil uh, sterling silver jump rings. This is a mixture of your sizes. So you've got your three millimeters and your four millimeters. Um, that's the internal diameter. So it's definitely not a connector, it's a pendant. Because if I show you, there you go. It says connect on the graphics. We will change that. It's, it's, well, look, look, there's no, there's no other drill hole. It's a pendant, this is. So, Alison, could I just literally put one of those jump rings through the top and I've just made a... That's what I did. Pass me that, please. Can I borrow that as well? Because it looks so amazing on there. Oh, okay. I want to show Dave this when he steps into the studio. <laughs> look at this. Wow, Alison. See, I, if you've got a couple of the kits, because I don't think you've got quite enough, not the way I did it, to do an anklet, but could you imagine that as an anklet oh. as well? But that's the kind of jewellery that I would want to see mm. all the time because of the symbolism as well. Yeah. The fact that it is that lotus flower and the meaning behind the lotus flower. I expect this kit to be a sellout. Yeah. Um, hello, June. Hello to you. Good morning, lovely ladies. Planned not to buy today, but I can't ah. resist these jadeite pieces. Uh, are just so beautiful. Don't think I will part with any. I wouldn't either. In fact, I haven't parted with any of my jadeite. That's, 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 it's a nice problem to well, have. Yeah. It's a nice collection. They're beautiful. Enjoy them. Yeah. Enjoy them. Are you going to do it, Laura? How many? Oh, my God. Do it. Let's do it quickly, though. Do it quickly. This is going to be one of the most astonishing oh type gosh. A jadeite savings for the lotus flower, £24.99. I'm going to go as far as saying I'm going to multi-buy on this. If you sell your jewellery, please, please, please do not sell this for £24.99. Oh, gosh, no. Please don't. Gosh, Even gosh, at my I'm prices. Four, then. Even at my prices. And yeah, you know what I'm like. not. Alison, that is stunning. That's one of my favourite jadeite pieces I've seen. But it, 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 it's not complicated. You know, we've said this before about, about chain mail. Everybody can do chain mail. You know, once all you've got to know is how to, how to, to, to shut and open your, your jump ring. Yeah. And it's then yours the pattern, is going to look it? the same as mine, it's going to look the same as yours. They're all going to look. I'm just still the very same. much on the fence about that because um, uh, if you, you, you're going to have a go, I will have a go. I definitely will have you're a go. This is beautiful. Go. I mean, Alison, that. If I was to take this, I've got, I was chatting actually to one of my colleagues that still yeah. works down in uh, in Hatton Garden, and I mentioned about our Type A jadeite, and you know, ears picked up immediately the fact that that we actually have it within our mm. vault. Um, this is the kind of piece that I would show him. Yeah. So just look at this. Master carving. It's type A jadeite. That's all precious sterling silver. That's absolutely exquisite. It, it, it comes together. This is where we say sometimes it just looks so much better with a precious metal. Yeah. 
you you get the luxuriousness of it, don't you? Because there's no way those there's no way that sterling could be mistaken for plate. No, definitely not. It's silky, isn't it? You've yeah. got that beautiful silky beautiful. luster, um, only replicated. And look at the intricacy of that carving yeah. as well. The carving. You know, you've is got your what, what do you call the part in the centre of a flower? Stamen. Stamen. Thank you. You've got the the detail of the stamen. You've got those lovely unfolding petals as mm. well. Again, it's the journey, the sentiment. Jewelry is sentimental, isn't yeah. it? You know, it's. Um, I think of jewellery and I think about the memories that I'm sort of subconsciously making with my family as well whilst just wearing pieces yeah. of jewellery. Um, because that's how I recall sort of my grandmother and my mother as yeah. well uh, wearing it. Something like this, you know, but it, it, it's the sentiment behind the actual work of art yeah. itself. Because it, that's a work of art. The, the, oh, most definitely. The, you know, you've only got to look at, if you've got any of our carved pieces, you've only got to look at them to know the quality of the artist. Ugh. And they are an artist or they're skilled lapidarists to, okay. to be carving that. Absolutely. Carved in China. Yeah. You know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, it's not the kind of gemstone that we would really attempt uh, to carve personally because yeah. that's not our skill. You know, you remember, you got to remember that it's Chinese heritage. This has been passed on from generation yeah. to generation to generation, becoming, having the status of being a master carver. You wouldn't do that, just attempt it with type A jade eye. It's too valuable. Yeah. Here we are bringing it at £25. What on Crazy. earth? What on earth? Lorna, Erica, Lorna, Wiltshire, Lynette, hello to you, Hilma, Joy, Heather, Renfusha, Joyce, Leah, hello, Helen, Caroline, Gillian, Pat, Gloucestershire, multi buyers, well done to you. Do go off the bottom of the screen as well, so I can't see all of your names. Uh, good luck to Janice, Helen, Cheryl, Erica, Teresa, Leah, Amanda, Warwickshire, new customer. Sorry, good luck to you. Tracy, good luck to you. I would be multi buying on this kit because it should, a lot it, of them it should are. have been 50 pounds at least mm. for the lotus flower. What's the price of the precious metal? If we were to buy the jump rings on their own? Well, that's going to be over 50 pounds, isn't it? Um, we'll find out. I'm trying to remember last time I was on, we had some jump rings. I'm trying to remember how much they were. Rings. Yeah. Okay, so you've got the three mil and the four mil internal diameter. Oh. So the three mils are eight ninety nine. Oh gosh. With us. Yeah, yeah. Nine two five. That's good. And then the four mils are nine ninety nine. So that's twenty okay. pounds yeah. there. Yeah. You you're joking. Not far off that. twenty pounds. Okay. So that means you've got a master carving for, for just over five pounds. Crazy. Madness, isn't it? So many of you with it in your baskets. I've got one more kit to bring you. I'll pass, pass you that back. That's amazing, Alison. Abs I'll say it again. I think that's one of my favourite jade eye pieces. It? It's Aww. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, a single rose. This is, whilst I know we haven't described it as mutton fat, it is pure white. You know the ones we showed you earlier on when you have those wonderful folds of your rose and how, look at that. You could even set a little gemstone in the centre there. Yeah, you? you could. If oh, I yes, perch it could. onto the end of the, uh, my finger, you can see the actual curve. I mean, everything, attention to detail yeah. here. Beautiful. So curving, so that's going to follow the curve of your decolletage. It's going to follow the curve of your wrist or yeah. your finger. And then if I turn it this direction, you can see there's the connector. So that's what, Alison, you've attached, attached with yeah. sterling silver. Completely and utterly natural. I'm going to pop it down on the desk. Natural type A Burmese jadeite. Get your certificate of authenticity. I would highly recommend that. Still not done, though. Sterling silver jump rings in two different sizes. Okay, so... So these are the out. Okay, some people are asking for the outer diameter. Well, basically just plus two mil. Yeah, if I say internal, plus two, um, because the wire itself is yeah. one mil, isn't it? So okay, outer diameter. We normally put it on internal, so it will be five and six. Yeah. So you've got your five mil outer diameter, six mil outer diameter. If you're thinking it's th that's only really applicable, by the way, if you're doing chain mail. So if you're not doing chain mail. The, the don't worry, because I can no. remember when Fleur was trying to tell me, I was like, just 
literally glazed over, didn't understand what she was on about. Internal diameter, if that's how you go, you've got three and four. That's the chain mail bit. The that's internal. the chain mail yeah. bit. Um, because you need to know how many jump rings you can get in the centre, yeah. isn't it, basically? Your aspect ratio. Oh, gosh. See, straight away, I go back to my maths class and think, eh, so I have a literally cold sweat. The aspect ratio, Eleanor, I'll be like that. <laughs> sinking into my chair it's not always relevant no but some are re sensitive to aspect ratio okay should oh. we do a big deal yeah as if we haven't already laura yeah. <laughs> as if we haven't done already check out your baskets on those beautiful kits yeah they are the same jump rings as the last kit you're right there adam so that was just yeah. under 20 pounds for those two okay that's not that. Just that's a couple of pounds. Crazy. Oh gosh, that's. A, are we? Oh, I think. Is that Laura? Just, just go with it. Shh, just, go oh, yeah. with it. Shh, shh, just go with it. It's like three pounds for the Jodi. Please don't repeat that. <laughs> Let's not repeat that. Let's not put these graphics on the screen <laughs> <laughs> um, for very long. How many do we have of this kit? Oh, we've got quantity of it. Make the most of this deal. Uh, Renfusha, Pauline, Jennifer, Gabrielle. Hello to you, Gloucestershire, Janet, Liz, Leah, Swansea, Joanne, Yvette, Tracy, Pauline, Pat, Lynette, Amanda, Amanda, Maker, Elaine, stay where you are. People are getting fives. Yeah. Why wouldn't you, though? Absolutely. <laughs> well, what a beautiful gift for bridesmaids. Because that could be the centre and you could chain Melly the side, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what... That's what is that what Basically, you're doing? I've, yeah. Oh, Alison. Take it away, my gorgeous That's my lady. demo. Right, okay. So I'm going to... What I've, what I've done... So on both of them, if you like, I've done a section... If I pull it... Oh, sugar. If I, if I show you, we've got a section of Byzantine. Now, this one's got a different weaving. So this is your um, PL... Oh... PLJ, JPL, J, 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 JPL weave. PLJ. Jen's pin linkage. That's the one. Three. <laughs> um, I'm not doing that today. We've got the Byzantine and then this one. So in, this is a more advanced weave. So I've done, it, it's just a two in one. Now, how amazing does that look? Just two jump rings in one. Everybody, but everybody can do that. And if you'll notice, it makes it longer. So that gives you the extra length to vary it mm -hmm. you can you can but if you just did them one in one link you could probably make a necklace yeah so yeah, so depending on what weave you use so i'm going to show you how to do the byzantine and and literally what what i've done is connected them either side whereas this one's got a jump ring in the middle and i've added the the um the leaf so i've i've started owls off we're going to start off with two closed jump rings now i'm doing it with with these obviously you'll do it with the small ones but I'm doing it with these because you can see them better. Demonstrational purposes. Demonstrational purposes. I've just popped on um, a little piece of scrap wire purely so you can hold them. So it gives you a bit, it gives you a bit to hang on to. So Byzantine, it's a beautiful weave. We, this, is, this is one that is actually sensitive to your aspect ratio. Okay. So your aspect ratio wants to be sort of three and a half, four-ish. Okay. Your three mil internal diameter. So your aspect ratio is the internal diameter yeah. divided by the um, millimeters of the wire. Yeah. So, so your three mil is an aspect ratio of three. Your fill mil is an a four mil is an aspect ratio of four. So it will work with your four mil, but not your three mil. You can't get enough jump rings in. So that's why we've got a smaller section of that. Because you're mixing, <laughs> and it works nice. It works nice. So we've got our two jump rings. We've got, I've got done multiple killers. I've even opened all your jump rings for you. You have. Um, I love your optimism. In so this, by the way. we're going to put two jump rings in the two. So we're going to take another color and just put two jump rings. I'm only using my hands. They're they're quite soft to use. Doesn't matter what color. So I've put two jump rings into those two. So we've got a a, a two by two. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick up the next two and we're going to put those two into the next one do you know what i love about you what 
you, you're game to have a go. I'll have a go. I'll always go. But you. just can I just say, Love other you. designers have attempted this and failed. Okay. What 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 what, what do you want me so to do? So you've got three jump rings in a, 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 a chain like oh, that. Oh, I need another lot. Another, yeah. Another okay. Pair. Yeah. Yeah. So when we've got the pair, we're going to split them. We're going to let them fall one one either side. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're then going to hold those either side so so it will be easier with your little ones because these are quite Hang on, big can you do the split bit again so you've got your you've got your six jump rings yeah hold your middle ones up and just let your your top ones flop either side there you flop. go let them flop down there you go flop then you're going to hold on to those you've flopped mm -hmm. and open the, the ones that were in the middle so you can get to those two so your silver ones so let them flop all the way down Mm -hmm. Okay, so you let them flop all the way down. Floppy flop. Then and I you're pull going these. to open the. That's it. Open those two and, and pull them up through the middle. Like that, I think. Yeah. There you. <laughs> right. When you've got them flopped, open your two silvers. Yeah. And pull the golds up through the middle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh no, you're following me on camera as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're then going to attach. Is that right? No, not quite. Hang oh. on, let me have a look. So we're then going to attach the next two jump rings. So it looks, these these will flop. That's what you're aiming for. Mine doesn't we're going look to anything add like the that. next two in the middle. So let me Should do I that grab again. The... Let's do that again. No, I'm determined. I'm determined. <gasps> I've told we'll be you. here in I'm the break. I'm so no, sorry to not. our viewers. No, you're not. Because other viewers will, will be doing it. It took me ages to get Byzantine. So I don't think this is one of the easiest links. It's not one of the easiest. Once you've got it, it's fine. So you've got your, you've got your two jump rings like that. No, Laura, it's not just two in two. Let shake them back, shake them off again. Shake them off. Yeah. Shake them off. Yeah. Right. Hold, hold your bottom one. These ones. No, they're your top ones. Your These. bottom by your by your link. Yeah, by your connector. Just yeah. hold those there and let the other two flop down. No, but I've got. Hold them by the bottom. Yeah. Like like that, like I've got. Hold them between your finger and, and thumb. Then you let the top two flop either side. Okay. okay. Yes. So leave them, leave them sitting there either side. Open those top two now, your, your silver ones. Yeah. And you should be able to pop through your gold ones through the middle. You see how they're, you've got lips and they're popping out the mouth. Yeah? Don't worry, don't worry. So then you're going to catch those. And you see how when you pull it, you get the shape, so you're going to catch those. It drops down like that. This is because, this is where your aspect ratio comes in. This aspect ratio with these jump rings is way too high. So as soon, yeah, so as soon as you do it, it that's it. So Laura, you then you come put, out. So you then put your next two. So traditionally with your Byzantine, you'd have, you'd have, um, a double a double one so you're gonna don't worry if it goes if it disappears because as soon as you pull it it pops back in okay so you're gonna add your, your next two and i'm using different colors deliver, deliberately so you can see <laughs> laura's getting it you'd hold the silver at the bottom now and pop through so you hold on to the silver they're your bottom ones now pop through with your gold and then we're going to catch that with silver again is it okay. just me that just can't get Byzantine? No, Byzantine's... I always yeah. find Byzantine. If you think about it, so we're going to pull that, and that's your traditional Byzantine, yeah? So you'd keep going on in that vein. So what you do with this, that takes two, four, six, 14 jump rings. Okay. Okay, one set. So I'm just going to pop this down for a minute and pick up the others, okay? Let me just... Pick up this. I think Laura should have a go. I think Laura should Laura, you have definitely a go. need to. So Come if on. you can see on this one, I've got one pair there, but I need to do the other one. So I've got my three lots. I'm going to just finish this one off. So I'm going to open it up. You can see it's a little bit more fiddly, but it's actually easier to hold. Can you do me a favour? Can you just open those for me, Al? Um, yes. Because I was so that I can do. Do you want two? Are you coming out, Laura? Come on, quick, because we haven't got... There's one. Thank you. 
Laura's going to have a go. I can't get Byzantine. I don't know what it is. And I think I've almost built up now. So you're going to pop this, back this resistance there again. It, okay. it does become like that. Um, I was like that with Persian. Could not get Persian for the love of the money. Come on, Laura. I reckon you could do this because you sounded like you knew what you were talking about then. The big Come jump on. rings are great for doing... Yeah. Oh. It's Laura, everybody. Hi. Lovely Laura. Right, go on then. Right. See if you can figure this one out. Right, so you've got, you want six, six jump rings like that. Hold on to your, let me go back to so this one. So which ones did we start with? So, so you would I hold these ones? That's it, those flop. Now open okay. your silver. Open up your silver. Let me just take through. my silver out. It's a little bit like the cat's cradle. Yeah, so you open your silver, pull those two through. Doesn't matter that they drop down there. Put, 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 your, put, your, the put your two on there. What colour do I go to now? Doesn't matter. Okay. Go silver, whatever colour you like it. The colour's only so it's easier to see the different jump rings. So shut it as you... No, shut your first one. And shut your next one. Put your next one on. Oh, I don't know yet. Now you see. Now, because, because these are so huge, then pull, hold the bottom and pull it. Like there you go. Hey! And then you'd carry on. you put another you two put pairs of two. of two. You got it, you have. The, 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 it drops it mailing. drops out Do because because the, the the oh there you go you see That's you're a chain me. mailer well done thanks and then i'm a lost then horse. you hold on to the silver and drop your gold drop your gold round yeah open your silver open your silver pull the gold, pull the gold up that's it and then put put it? no you I'll want you put, your, put your two two jump rings on to hold on to it is it harder or easier when you've got different different colours as well, Alison? Um, well, I, it's easier to demo with different colours because people can see the difference when it's all the same yeah, colour. Yeah. Mm. Um, I then it I've becomes done a, that right. you have. Oh, I've got two doubles together. Oh, am I pulling the wrong one? Hang on, let me just. That's pop right. That on. Yay! So, so that's a slightly different version. So we haven't so got I the two one, in the middle. Yeah, You've connected directly. Well, that's fine. Well, look at that's that. still oh, that's I'm still valid. Beautiful. Look at you. Look at me. Go, you, Jay Mailer. Wow. wow. Well done, lovely lady. <laughs> See, you should have asked Laura. <laughs> so what I did then on the other side. So once I've got my chain mail, let me pull those back through again. Once I've got my Byzantine, I've literally put two jump rings in. To, to do the extender. So two jump rings, then one jump ring. Uh -huh. Two jump rings, and then one jump ring. You can do that chain mail. Still chain mail. Yeah. Oh, that I can do. Okay. And that just, and that just makes the rest, and that's with the three mil, and that makes your, your panel, which is, let me pull, pull this one up. Uh, Grab that on there. That's your that's your bracelet. So you've got your. I love the change. The yeah. change in you know the change the, the in two the, different in styles. Yeah. So then, because you've got a connector on this, I'm just going to open this jump ring here. Where's me? The only problem I ever have with our jump rings. Is they're so beautifully made, I can't always see where the drill yeah. hole is. Which is uh, the problem the you hole, want the, to have. The saw hole is. You want so that just, problem, yeah. though, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's a fantastic, it's quality. I just need to change my glasses, that's all. Let me change that back. Can you hear that snip? Yep. And then you've got <gasps> your bracelet. Uh, put a obviously, you'd put a clasp on, not have two jump rings hanging on the yeah, back. Yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And that's achievable by everybody. That is, I mean, you could make a little chainmail ring. You could actually oh, connect yes. Byzantine to Byzantine Except and make a little yeah. chainmail ring. Uh, Alison, you did do it. I, th I think I did, but then you I gave. It. I give up too early, don't the, I? The problem with those jump rings is, as soon as you let them go, they all, they all, it falls out of shape. You have to have some tension um, on it. That's the difference. Yeah. So bracelet, you know, necklace. So you could do what size were the, you know, the three connectors? What size were the jump rings with the three one kit? Uh, 
No, no, the other kit with the three roses. So they were slightly larger. I think they were um So they'd five. work with five mil. That would yeah. still work. Yeah. So you'd have, you know, let me put one of those. You'd have flower. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you yeah. can do that with the, with the, with the um, five mil ones. Wow. I can't believe That's how affordable all of these kits I can't believe how. I was expecting them... Between 50 I mean, and 100 off, somewhere. Not far off 100 pounds, you're getting all four kits. That's incredible, isn't That's it? That's nuts. That's we did kits crazy. yesterday, like nugget kits. Yeah. No jadeite for not far off the price that's on your screens right now. Absolutely oh. crazy. I want to so put a gemstone yeah, in there. Yeah, literally just glue. We had specetites the other day. Oh, did you? Can you imagine just a little specetite oh. garnet nestled within? Wow. Make sure you Amazing. check out your baskets. Um, I'm going to bring you a little, some little uh, additional chain mail. So if you, like myself, really struggle with chain mail, I, 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 I know I give up too easy. Um, as you just said, Alison, it does help to use, to practice. You can see colors. what you're doing. You can just see the colour. There's a lot of, a lot of, if you look on Facebook, uh, not on Facebook, on um, YouTube or on, on the internet, mm. a lot of tutorials use different jump rings because it's, it's easier to see where you're going. That's why I did different colours, because you can see the different colours. Yeah. So you can follow with the colours. Absolutely. Also... But they're fun to have colours. Yeah, I was going to they mail. look really lovely, actually. They look amazing. too. Coloured chain mail is amazing. Um, really beautiful. Don't actually, I'm going to flip it over, there we go. Um, you don't actually often see any no. kind of coloured wire or jump rings no. these days. Love these. You've got a nice ombre, you could do ombres, you could do rainbows. Oh yeah, you could go red to orange to pink. Now there are only 42 of these, they do come within the little container. If I open that up for you there, you can That's see it's that. all um, in its, in, they're all in the right place. Now, you see, I'd, I'd, I'd probably mix these because um, there's something called a helm's weave. Yes, which I've heard is of that one. beautiful. Great one for a beginner, a helm's weave. Yeah. And you want the 7 mil interior di diameter. So, no, 7 mil internal. Yeah. This, sorry. Oh, that's what you said. Yeah, oh, I what, did. What, 9 outer. Yeah. You get 100 of the silver and 50 of the others. Oh, do you get 100 of the silver? 100 of the silver and wow. 50 of each other colour. That's amazing. So, that's a total of... Hang on. 100, 200, 300, 450. There we go. 450 jump Brilliant. rings. Brilliant. That's amazing, isn't it? Great for a box weave, yeah. great for your Persian. Um, you, can do, you can do Byzantine with it. You'd want something to weight it. So it would be ideal if you were putting it with one of your carvings because that will weight your chain mail and nice, keep it yeah. into its shape. Yeah. Um, Looks stunning. That would look amazing as a Persian. It, for your for your European weaves. Um, so if you think about um, historical, you know, knights of old in their chainmail armor. Yeah. Which is a European. It took me ages to actually connect those two. Things oh, did it? Together. Chainmail and chainmail. Chainmail is a medium, and chainmail itself. It ah. took too long to actually connect the dots. But that's what it is. It's taken. This is why sometimes sometimes I get frustrated when people see us demoing something um, and we're making something that's not necessarily a piece of jewellery well look at us with the hot fixing yeah we did we did the cup yeah but we also did jewellery yeah it's translatable chain mail comes from chain mail it's armor yeah. that's what chain mail that's where it was developed from that's what it was used for mm -hmm. it was for stop stopping people stabbing you with sp pointy things basically that's what it was there for. Don't come near me with your spear. I've got chain mail on. Yeah, precisely. I've got my links from jewellery maker. You just on your bike, mate. <laughs> but that, that, that's, that's where it comes from. And then people have slowly, you know, over years and years and years, taken these traditional forms of chain mail and turned them into bases for jewellery. Wow. Which is incredible. It's so you could do a cuff of those. A European mm. cuff would look amazing. Yeah, beautiful colours. Now, we have... A bumper pack of base oh. metal. Say that fast. Lots of chain mail, lots of jewellery, lots of, lots yeah. of um, um, rings. Bumper pack of base metal. Here we go. So you have 300 internal diameter 4 mil, which means they're wow. 6 outer. Um, and then you have where's the other? 200 of the 5 mil internal diameter, which means they're 7 outer. Yeah? 
So this again, really perfect for chain mailing. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So you can, you can, you know, if you wanted to do Byzantine with that, you go, you're going to get a full Byzantine cuff or a Byzantine necklace with it. You can graduate it as well, which is amazing. So you can take oh, the bigger ones going into the smaller ones. I mean, all right. I couldn't, I couldn't even do the Byzantine. You did do it. You did do it. But that sounds e incredible. Again, yeah. alongside all of your lovely carvings that are coming up. A bumper pack of base metal for <laughs> £7.99. Wow. 500 of them. Wow. Even if you don't do chain mail, you need jump rings. You'll always need jump rings. We often talk about your, your, your bracelet where you either put a load of jump rings on an elastic. Oh, the sweetie one. The sweetie, that's been done. Yeah. Or use them as spaces between your gemstones. So we had the black, um, I'd love to do it with the black eye gate we had earlier. Oh. And I'd use the, the five mil in the diameter ones between each of the black. And what you're going to get is you're going to get your black gemstone and this halo of black around it, then another black gemstone and a halo of silver and black around it. And you're just going to get this, this um, punctuation in yeah. your jewellery. It looks amazing. Gorgeous. You, you, you're always going to use them for, for you know, if you're, if you're doing any stranding, you want your, you, you want your jump rings for, con you know, connecting your, your tiger tail to, to your connector. Yeah, your clasps. Or I very, very rarely, I try never to use a clasp directly onto, onto. something uh -huh. because it's something I got into because I used to sell my jewellery. And if someone needs to, ch if you've threaded or worse still, if you've seed beaded a whole piece yes. and someone comes along and says, that's great, but I can't manage a toggle clasp. Can you do it with a magnetic clasp for me? Aha. If you've got a jump ring on, you can go, chink, swap. Thank you very much. There you go. Otherwise, you say, come back next week and I'll remake it for you. Yeah, which is because I can't do, do it. Day. You've lost a sale. They're not, yeah, they're not going to do sale. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, top tip. Now, make sure you check out your baskets. So we have a little what? A male, oh, these are fab, a male yeah. mount. What's a I've male mount? A... Oh, so it's it's a it's a semi mount. Okay, so it looks like a little, little cone. Yeah, here we go. See, I was looking at that, thinking that was some kind of um, like toggle, yeah, top or something like that. It, but when I turn it over, it's like a colette. Yeah, setting. so you put your round brilliant stone. cut stones yeah. in here. Now, bear in mind, we've got the Malaya Garnet oh. coming up. Have we got some cut on? I'm sure. <gasps> I mean, or, or the Specitite that we had yesterday yeah. or any of the, the, the calibrated cuts that we actually have. Oh, uh, I've never seen these before. So you put the jump ring into the chain yeah. mail. So, so if you... Um, you know, you, you attached it if, onto here. You can use them as a punctuation. You just pop pop the loop through the jump mitt. It's a bit like um, having a bubble style. Oh. So you're attaching you're attaching it to to your chainmail. Oh gosh, that's that's amazing. Fabulous, isn't it? So does it, is it meant to sort of suspend like a charm? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. And the more you put on, if you if you put on several, then then you can cluster them. And almost have These you could make like a cluster ring. These are genius. Mm. I think you know if you do chainmail. I, I have to say, you can use these with anything. You really can use you, these. Yeah, you could use them with them. your wire work. Yeah. Use them with your beading. You, because you've got that basically cords. little little hole at the end. Use them with your cords. Apps. Oh my. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, that's a good point. Use it across your mediums, not yeah. just chainmail. Solid 925 sterling silver, Amazing. three pounds and 49 pence. Yeah. I would, I would actually have them, um, I'd wear them actually as, as, as little earrings. You could have them as little earrings. I'd have them in a ring. You know what? I call them fiddle rings. You know, yeah. rings you're going you're gonna to play with because they're going to move. They, they're, very, they're very tactile. They're very animated. Yeah. They're very animated. Um, none of Gosh. us are actually surprised by people multi-buying on this. Oh, Pam's six bought ten, ten. six, oh, two fives, two. Yeah, I don't blame you. I would as well. Sophia's bought ten. Pam's bought ten. They, I, I, I've never seen them. Um, apparently, they them. have been. Have you used? Yeah, them I've before? used them in a kit. So, have you? If you've ever had a, five, if you've got a five mil round brilliant cut, 
which we bring to you on a regular basis yeah. and you haven't yet got the mount and you don't know how to use it, then this, genius, because you can literally put it on stretchy bracelets, yeah. use them as a charm. I have to say, though, you could also glue a, a five mil jet round in there. Yeah, oh, yes. Or a, or a briolette drop and then it kind of instead of having the flush finish that you're going to get with a cut stone yeah you're going to have the sort of bulbous it's almost like an ice cream cone oh, you've got the that. you've got the ice cream sticking out all the time so they're they're a great little little mount that you can use for all <laughs> sorts of things here we go don't quite worry. durable yeah <laughs> there we go they're genius and they're Fab, flying they? every uh, do you know how many of you have bought 10 there's a loads of you have bought 10. Five, Pauline, four. well done. Karen, well done. Susan's bought 10. Karen's bought 10. Pfeiffer's bought 10. Uh, Ayrshire, Renfusha's bought five. Surrey's bought four. Sophia, you've bought 10. Uh, another Surrey's multi bought. Derbyshire's multi bought. They're just super, super, super versatile. They're fab, aren't they? I love these. Might have to get some of these. Right, if you want to be really bouge. I want to be bouge. Right. Always thread it onto your laces. Wow. Yeah, like in your trainers. So, so thread thread one part way down your trainers, or or several part way down your yeah. trainers. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, make sure you check out your baskets. We've got a big quantity of those, but we're going to need every single one of them. Stay where you are. Don't abandon those calls. Um, we're just going to jump to a very short break. Alison, you're going to be joining me. Um, you're, com you're coming back, aren't you, I'm at 12 o'clock for our yeah. masterclass, which I'm very excited about, those beautiful master carvings um, of uh, Tiger's Eye. Yeah. But do not go anywhere because... Do you know, it was an immediate love at first sight. I've just seen how much they're going yeah, for. No wonder they're like, buying 10s exactly. and 20s. Um, it was an immediate love at first sight reaction for me when I was introduced for the first time uh, to Malaya Garnet. I've never seen any gemstone with such a hypnotic fusion of colours. Um, and to imagine actually bringing it to you in strands Imagine teaming this alongside things like your South Sea or your beautiful purple pearls or your papayas mm. or your jadeites. Yeah, we're on. We're taking things to a whole other level. And to introduce it to you all is the wonderful Dave Trough. Wednesday at nine o'clock with lovely Carol and Mark Smith. You have an hour of Mark Crame, where five exquisite kits include three colours of nylon cord, each of which the total is some 500 metres. And we've also got a spool carrier so you can organise your stash. It's going to be a cracker. That's macrame, macrame at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
12th birthday jewellery maker. On Sunday, the 29th of May, we will be holding a workshop like no other. A workshop that caters for knotters, beaders and wire workers. A workshop that brings jewellery maker to you. So Southerners, join me for Macrame Mayhem in Bracknell. Midlanders, join me for Whimsical Wirework in Solihull. Northerners, join me, Alison Terry, for Scandalous Seed Beading in Liverpool. A day filled with fun and games, an interactive workshop that won't leave you jaded, the chance to look around the JM discount shop and also your stash swap. And to bring the whole country together, we will link each venue by video call. Your kits, tools, lunch and snacks will all be included in an ultra exclusive ticket price to celebrate the return of in-person workshops. So make sure you tune in Friday the 29th of April to grab your ticket and be part of Joy Makers Nationwide Birthday Bash. All I'm going to say is my reaction to your opportunity that is about to be revealed with Dave. It was a love at first sight moment. Dave, this is exquisite and thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I would not have missed it for the world. It's lovely to be here with you, Elle, and of course with you guys as well. But what we're bringing you right now is what is considered by many to be the most expensive variety of garnet in the world. Now, you know, when we usually talk about the most expensive varieties of garnet, we're talking Savorite or indeed Demantoid, some varieties of Mandarin, maybe some of the material from Namibia. Mm -hmm. This is way and above that. Now, this is extraordinarily rare, uh, and this is from the original deposit, which is extremely important. Yeah, and you guys know that when it comes to some of the colored gemstones. If you want emeralds, really, you'd like to get them from Colombia. If you want a sapphire, then the, the holy grail is cashmere. And when it comes to the, the legendary Malaya garnet, then this is what we have for you. But I want you to understand that even I'm a huge lover of garnets, okay? I was the person that brought uh, purple garnets to the market, the material from Mozambique. I've championed the, the, the incredible Octavia garnet from the southernmost point of India, which was the Romans kind of lost treasure, mm. um, which is now an archeological dig. Absolutely love all varieties of garnet. And this, for me anyway, and I, it, it, might, it might be for you guys, is the finest of the lot. And I've seen this material year after year after year at the likes of Tucson. And unfortunately, it's always been out of our grasp. It's always been too expensive. Now, like I said, I've, I've probably you know, been on the screens next door at Gemboria many, many times, probably more times with garnet than I have with any other gemstone. All varieties of garnet, from you know, garnet in silver all the way up to garnet in 18 karat gold. And I've never, I'm yet to do a showcase of what I'm bringing to you for the first time. And this isn't a showcase. It is two very special strands, two pieces of jewelry. My advice to you, just like the advice that has been given to me by you know, people that I respect in the industry, that have been in the industry longer than I've been alive, is always when you see it, if you can afford it, get it. Because you might never see it again. Mm. And this is something, like I said, that I've seen in the market. It's not new in terms of this is not from a new find or a new mine. You know, people hold this material and the price changes every year and it only goes one way. Now, there are two distinctions from Malaya Garnet. There is a variety of garnet that is pyral spike, which is pyro, uh, spessartine and almondine. That is your pyral spike garnet, that cocktail composition, which can encompass all colors and come from many different locations around the world, very rarely. And sometimes they would deem that a Malaya. But the true Malaya is the Tanzanian Padparacha colored garnet from this legendary location. And this is the first time I've ever been able to own it. I actually saw one of these um, a few years ago at Bonhams, very similar to what you can actually create if you was to buy both strands for thousands of pounds. Mm. And, and it's, it's exactly like what you're about to see. And I'm, I'm just gonna say to every single one of you, I wanna give you the story of Malaya Garnet, the history of it. Now Malaya Garnet, I, I will read the IGS article in a moment, before that I just wanna talk to you. So, Back in the 1960s, you know, when Tanzanite was being mined, when the, all these discoveries were made, made in East Africa, a group of guys were actually commissioned or, or employed to go and find violet garnets, purple garnets. They were searching all throughout Tanzania. And, they, and occasionally they were finding these kind of padaparacha, lotus-colored gemstones. They didn't know they were garnets at the time. And they just threw them 
to one side because they didn't uh, fit a, a, a distinctive color category for Ghana. You know, it wasn't red, it wasn't purple, it wasn't green. And that's what Malaya means. Malaya means out of the family. They were like, this isn't, it's not part of the Garnet family. And they would discard them. And they, they eventually found the, the incredible violet garnets and they went, you know, went into the market. One of the young guys, and I was told this by Cosmin D'Souza, who was in Tanzania at the time, you know, Manuel D'Souza's son, when they discovered Tanzania in 1967. He, he said the young guy that the, the African miners um, employed to carry their tools, right? He was like 15, 16. He was just carrying their tools, their shovels, their pickaxes, and he'd walk behind them. There was like a group of like five or ten people that were looking for these violet garnets. He was almost, almost like an apprentice or a labourer, if you will. He saw the pot potential in these garnets and he started like pocketing them because they were just throwing them away when they were looking for these deposits. And eventually, like ten years later, he sold them into the market and the world went crazy for them. They'd never seen them. And he was the only guy that knew where they were. And he made kind of his name, essentially, uh, or his living, out of revisiting these sites and remining with his own workforce 10 years on from that time. Wow. That is the legendary Malaya Garnet. Now, there wasn't, uh, uh, it was all surface material, so it's not like with other mines where you go deeper and you find more of it. This is why it was mined out extra extraordinarily quick. You know, they got those few stones, few grams of rough that they sold into the American market. The American market went wild for it in the 1970s. And then they, he was the guy that then said, right, we're going to mine for this material. And he went and just scooped up all the materials where he knew where it was. So he'd been there 10 years before along the surface and sold it into the industry. It went on into the 80s. And now no one can get this material. And like I said, they find material similar. Um, I mean, we've brought pyrospites next door that are orange. We've brought pyrospites that are purple. But to get the true Padparacha color, a kind of lotus color, is impossible in today's market. And this is why it commands these significant premiums. It's a wonderful pastel color. And this is the first and last time that you're going to see the certified Tanzanian Malaya garnet. And now we can go to the International Gem Society, um, which is here. It's a, it's a laboratory. And they talk about Malaya. And it's got two different names because in Swahili, you spell it as it sounds. Okay, so huh. it's two different names, Malaya or Malaya garnet. They talk about it and they say garnets are a complicated family. The story of Malaya or Malaya garnet illustrates this well. Discovered in the 1960s in the Umba Valley in Tanzania, these pink gems were called Malaya, Swahili for out of the family. Miners who were being paid to search for the, the violet rhodolite literally set aside these finds. At the time, they didn't fit into any known varieties. And then it goes on to say, look, when these Malaya garnets came to the attention of the gem world in the 70s, in America in particular, the outcasts quickly became quite popular and valuable. Since then, new discoveries have revealed these gems occur in a wider range of colors than the pink that initially garnered so much attention. So like I said, we've seen the other colors. We've seen the oranges, we've seen the purples, we've seen the reds. But to get the chance for you guys right now to own the material that very seldom appears on the marketplace. And I'll show you the piece that I was on about that, that went to Bonhams. Sold for thousands. Oh, it's this wow. One it's, a, it's a Malaya garnet, torsoed necklace with gold and diamond clasp. And that talks to exactly what you always say, uh, L, about putting an estate clasp on it. Yeah. You know, they've got the strand. And the, the, the problem with these Malaya garnets, or the Malaya garnets, this is 2013, by the way, that, that went to auction, is that they crystallize extraordinarily small, really small. So it's not like a big savrite, and I've seen a, a savrite at 100 carats. Mm. It's not like uh, uh, road lights where, you know, even when you were over at Jamporia or, or yeah. before that or after that at Rocks TV, our American network, and we would have like uh, the, the wonderful Rajasthan garnets, yeah. nearly 10 carats and 18 carat gold. You don't get that with this material. And this is why they're rarely completely faceted. What they like to do is leave them like this, you know, almost river-worn pebbles, because the clarity, the exceptional natural colour is enough. And so they, they strand them like this. And you very rarely will see a ring of Malaya garnet or indeed, you know, a, a pendant. What you'll see is strands, whether it be bracelets, a strand, a torso necklace like that for the neckline, or maybe cascading earrings with these natural, beautiful color palette. This is your incredible opportunity to get the biggest carrot weight that I've ever seen, other than the pieces at Bonhams that sell for thousands of Malaya garnet. And remember, this is certified, 100% certified, and it is Tanzanian which is, for me anyway, I'm like a traditionalist, I believe that that's the only place that we should deem Malaya garnet. In fact, I've bought what was sold to me as Malaya garnet next door. It wasn't from Tanzania. And if you guys watch me next door, you'll remember this about three years ago. I brought it to you guys as pyrospite garnet. Uh -huh. Pyrospite. I will not call it Malaya unless it's from 
Tanzania. But you see it a lot with sapphires. People will say Kashmir color sapphire, and really, it's it's you're playing on that name. Yeah. When really, it's just a oh yeah, exactly. But it's just a beautiful blue sapphire. That's enough, you know. Whether it be cornflower blue or, or that kind of peacock blue, but I wouldn't. I, I never like to. I like to stay away from those terms that give the provenance. And that's what we have here. We actually don't, we have the provenance, we have the pedigree. This is old mine material of those wonderful river worn pebbles. You can see them here, Adam's just got a wonderful shot of the clarity, wow. the purples, the pinks, the oranges, and it is pastel colors. It's not sharp, it's not hard. That's why the clarity is wonderful, but they don't crystallize too large. There's, a few, there's facets applied uh, over the top of these, which is incredible. But this is the opportunity genuinely, and we say this quite a lot, but this is the opportunity of a lifetime. And if you think about it, you've seen more jadeite in the last three years than you've seen of this Malaya garnet in the last 18 years. Mm. That's how rare it is. That's how rare this incredible material is. And do you, do you know the first thing that struck me, like I said, this is the first time I've ever, yeah. uh, ever seen it in person. It's absolutely mesmeric. But we know that, of course, the garnet family doesn't have pleochrosum. Yeah. Um, that's not how it forms. And yet you have, with this, with, the, with your Malaya garnet, you've got a fusion of colours, haven't you? But this is why it's the most expensive garnet variety in the world. If it's clean and, it's, and it has the pastel shades, which, is, which I call the padparacha colours, which is what you're seeing here, the kind of lotus colours. Yeah. If you've got that and you've got a combined carrot well like this and you've got the verification of the original origin, wow. then it is the most expensive garnet in the world. There is no uh, demantoid that comes close. There is no... Uh, Savorite that comes close. This is the real deal. But, you know, point for point, it's the most expensive. Now, you're never going to find a 12 carat Malaya garnet, whereas you might find a Savorite 12 carat, mm. or you might find a Demantoid at 12 carats, and therefore they will command more. But if you were just point for point, carat weight for carat weight, at these sizes, this is the most expensive garnet in the world. Wow. And, and one of the most expensive coloured gemstones in the world. I, I think also one of the most beautiful. A hundred percent. I mean, it's a Padparaccia garnet. Yeah. That is a, a cocktail composition of all these different moments. So it's pyrope, almondine and spestite all blended into one, which is very unique within itself. Like I said, there have been other locations that have thrown up that composition, but never in this colour. Usually it will be leaning more towards the orange. So you'll have more spestite or leaning more towards the violet. Mm. Um, so you'll have more of the, um, the, the pie rope. But here to have that kind of beautiful pastel shade, those clean pastel colours of the Padparaccia, all 100% natural with this level of clarity and from Tanzania, is the most exciting strand that we've brought to your screens. The most exciting strand. And we have huge carrot weights, massive carrot weights. And like I said at the very start, if I was you, I would buy both because then you can create your own version of the Torsade necklace, mm -hmm. or indeed you can create cascading earrings. I know for a fact that I don't think I'll be able to bring you Malaya Garnet going forward. I don't think I will. You know, when you think about that, you're right, that Torsade necklace, I would you know, hold on to these and get yourself, uh, as Elle always says, you know, an antique uh, clasp from an antique store. If you see yeah. a necklace, that you, you might not even be interested in a necklace, but if it's got a beautiful clasp like yeah. this, take it and, and have your incredible garnet strung onto it. Because that sold for thousands of pounds, and it's because it is the legendary Malaya garnet, and it is a thing of the past. You know, the 1960s; these were mined, and now they're gone. So this is it. No other, no other location. No. Oh, well, like I said, there's other locations for the composition of these garnets, uh -huh. which is a pyro spot, but in different measures. It's not but as. They're not as desirable. No, as... and they don't look the same. Yeah. They don't look the same. So, you know, just as as Mozambique parabas are same kind of. Mm -hmm. the chemical composition of the Brazilian Parabas, you don't get the Windex Blue. No. Okay, and the Windex Blue is absolutely iconic to the Brazilian location. Mm -hmm. uh, it's synonymous with the Brazilian location. You will not find that in Mozambique unless yeah. you're heating the stones. And even then, you're going to have some trace of that seafoam green, which is still beautiful, still really expensive. But it's the Windex Blue that's $20,000 a carat. Of course. And, and that's what we're talking about. Same with um, sapphires. I've been fortunate enough to, to be in Burma. I've seen them finding some of the most incredible, well, the most incredible sapphires in the world today come from Burma, you know, on the whole. And yet they're not a patch on Kashmir. It, 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 yeah, absolutely. And it is always a question, isn't it? The, the origin bears a, a huge Absolutely, relevance. but it's not just the origin. But I agree, it's not just the origin, though. We should never buy just for origin. Uh -huh. But the, the reason that the origin can add provenance is because, on the whole, 
if its pedigree is better. Mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, we talk about the, you know, is there any more of these found anywhere around the world? And we said, yeah, but not the same. That's the same with all emeralds. You know, all emeralds are the same, you know, chemically. Yeah. You know, they're, uh, the, the molecular level, their composition, you know, what makes an emerald, you know, an emerald is the same wherever you are, but yet Colombian emeralds are better. Yeah. You know, the same with sapphires. Sapphires are still iron and titanium and oxygen and all of that into a gemstone, but yet cashmere is better. Yeah. So, you know, you go to Nigeria, you can buy no heat sapphires. You go to Madagascar, buy no heat sapphires. You can get them in Australia, in Thailand, in Montana. But yet the finest, the, the half a million dollars per carat sapphires only ever came from cashmere. So that is what this is. Yes, you can find other versions of pyrospite, and maybe labs might call them Malayas as a trade name but you won't find this color. And, and you guys are experts. You guys you know, work with jewelry all the time. I'm talking to you guys at home. You may have seen more jewelry than I have, and yet you know when you see something you've never seen before. And what we're all witnessing right now is colors, clarity uh, that we've never seen before. That's the opportunity that we have for you. And I, want you, I, I urge you today to do your own research on Malaya garnets, because if you've never heard the term, what we're offering you is something we will not be able to offer you again. And we work with um, uh, an external vendor at Gemporia. I don't know if you, you have him here, but he brings a Fifth Avenue collection. Uh -huh. He's based in New York, um, Earl Van Sina, and, and he brings his material across. It's, it's a trunk show format is what we call it. Um, so he ships his own uh, goods over here, and then he'll do a show via video link on Gemporia. And we do it maybe every three months. Okay. Um, we, we look through his offering and we say, yeah, we'd like you to bring that, that, you know, and we'll look at what he's got. So he knows what you, you know, we know what you guys want. And I saw Malaya Garnet, the only vendor we've ever worked with that has Malaya Garnet. And I saw the prices. And he won't mind me saying this because he will never bring it because I said, there's no way. And you're talking, you know, five, ten thousand wow. dollars for, for Malaya Garnet. Cause, and, uh, you know, the first thing we asked him was because Andy's our head buyer and Andy was like, Dave, you talk about Malaya Garnet, you know, Earl's got so much you think. And I was looking at it and I was like, is it Tanzanian? And he went back to Earl, he said, is it Tanzanian? He said, yeah. And I was like, I'd, I'd love for them to bring it. And when I saw the price, I was like, there's no way. There's yeah. no way. And yeah. so to have the opportunity right now as jewelry maker. By the way, this, the other day on Saturday, I think it was, you guys joined me for an incredible showcase of Dove Blue Jadeite. It's one strand. It was with John Scott. And I said to you guys, I've got a show tonight on Saturday. I said, look, you've got the first piece. And then at 8 p.m. tonight, I've got a show next door with Lin Jinx, okay? Yeah. Really honest with you guys, let you know that. I'm telling you right now, no one next door is getting this. There's no more. We bought these strands and they are for you 100%. And, and that's why I'm here. Because I would love to do this show next door as well. Absolutely love it. But we can't. There's two incredible strands. 15 carats and 20 carats, I believe. Yes. A huge carat weight. 15 and 12. 15 and 12 carats. I mean, if you were mm -hmm. to take the likes of these yeah. or this tennis bracelet yeah. over onto Gemporia, yes. can you imagine the response? Well, that tennis bracelet there that, that you and I are looking at, I'd probably have, I would think, probably a nine carat gold clasp on it. Yeah. And I would imagine that that alone would be I don't know, 799, Malaya garnet yeah. bracelet. What about these pick. earrings? Again, the earrings, you talk about matching the stones, which is difficult to do, but I would say maybe, I don't know the carat weight, so it's hard to ascertain, but again, those probably 299, 399. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, and they'd sell out, by the way, and, and you guys are fully aware of that. It is, when it's finished jewellery, it's a completely different proposition. But they're Malaya garnets, and they're, they're certified Malaya garnets, and they would be the first certified Malaya garnets that Gemporia has offered for sale in 18 years. Wow. So you can imagine how exciting that would be. Yeah. So the earrings, I would think, 299, tennis bracelet, 799, maybe 599, I don't know. And then if we was to ever do a strand, you know, just to, to offer our collectors 15 carats of eye clean goods like this. I've never seen anything like no? it. And, and uh, look, Myself and Dale and the whole team here are extremely privileged to have this opportunity just to present Absolutely. It. And I, all I would say to you is, and I'm going to tell you this now if that's okay. We're used to, I'm used to anyway, I don't know how, it, you know, I don't watch every show here at Jewel Maker, but when I'm here, sometimes we have quantities of like 300, mm -hmm. sometimes we have quantities of 500. This can be really limited. And I'm going to say something I've never said in all my time on Jewel Maker. Buy both 
as soon as the graphics open or if we do pre-order, I don't know how it works here. And if you don't want one, fine, drop it out your basket. But, but what I'm saying is secure it early. Early, Because yeah. these are the only two. There's not a bracelet. There's not something else coming up. There's not another strand. There's not another box of this material. This is it. And my only advice to you, and it's solely for you, don't worry, your card's not going to be debited until it's packaged and shipped or whatever. Yeah. So all I'm saying, and this is solely for you, because I know how much of a rare opportunity this is, buy both as soon as the, you can. I don't know how it works. Do we put them on pre-order? Or can you not do that? I don't know we how it works. can do if you want. Okay, can I have, before we even bring the graphics in, can I have a minute clock, please, Adam? Mm -hmm. This is completely for you guys. I'm going to give you a minute clock. When this minute clock's up, I'm going to put both of the strands. They're identical in colour uh, and, and clarity. Yeah. One is 12 carats, one is 15 carats. When yep. this clock is up, Laura is going to put them both on pre-order. And I'm telling you now, every single one of you is tuning in to buy both. They're stunning. Yeah. They're and, absolutely... I mean, every single person watching now can't buy both. But the no, first, no. the first, like, what is it, 100? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Y yeah, basically. Yeah. Basically. The first, the first hundred of you can. They're absolutely beautiful. I've never seen a garnet. No, a pad prancher garnet. That's exactly yeah. what it is. And that is what Malaya garnet should look like. It is that beautiful. You get the oranges, fusion. you get the pinks, you get the, those wonderful open lavenders. You get all of those wonderful, natural, beautiful colours. Yeah, amazing. And it's, it, that, it's that kind of an ombre of like pastel, sh rare shades. Wow. And if you can multi-buy, do it as well. Because you'll, you, as long as you live, you might never see Malaya Garnet, certainly that you can afford. They are open for pre-order right now. And um, it is solely in your best interest to get both. If you want to create the Torsade necklace that <laughs> debuted at Bonhams in 2013, something like this, then multi-buy across, across the, the two options that we have for you. Oh, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. And, and, and right now, we're going to, should we bring in the graphics? for the big 15 carats. 15 carats. I mean, this is the thing. It's so easy for us to get almost blase about carat weights, particularly when you're purchasing them on a strand. Absolutely. Hey, 15 carats mm -hmm. of the arguably the rarest? Yeah. Yeah, it is the ever? rarest. Yeah, I mean, we talked, I talked quite a lot about how expensive this is, uh, you know, at the start. But the rarest by a country mile. And can we just give me an update on how many of these we have? So, well, how many? 208. Okay, 208. Of this one. And that's 100 of your multi buying and it's gone. Mm -hmm. And we know, and Hazel, you've just done that exactly. And I would, I would uh, I'm, I'm only doing my job as someone who has missed out on Malaya Garnet every single year that I've gone to Tucson, that I've gone to Las Vegas, that I've gone anywhere. Now, we could be done at this price, by the way. This isn't, this isn't at our start price. This is us coming in at a signal of intent. Yeah. This is almost like our deal price, £200. But we are going to remove a huge portion of that price in, in not too long. But to have the opportunity to acquire 15 carats is absolutely sensational. And believe me, I've got this one and I've got the other one. And I don't even make jewellery. Just to own these garnets is enough. Just yeah. to own these incredible garnets is enough. And you can see the graduation. You can see the, the clarity. You can see the sizes. It is an extraordinary opportunity for you, all involved. You almost get a spearmint colour as well coming through. Yeah, I mean, like this, is, this is the world of natural garnet. It's an incredible. And I've never seen... Well, you know, we quite... We say every time, this is not a pleochroic gemstone. No. Nope. Due to its crystal structure, it's not pleochroic. Yeah. And yet I'm looking at Malaya Garnet and I see a combination of colours. Yeah. And, and look... It's something you're never going to see again. Even if I could get you pyral spike garnets, which I'm confident that I would be able to be a lot higher priced than this, um, it wouldn't have these colours because I've worked with pyral spikes next door, which is you know similar similar in mm. its composition. Um, Adam, please may I get a minute clock? There's a lot of you multi buying, which means that you know that the, the 100 of you have the opportunity essentially, rather than the 208 that we came to air with. Wow. Seize this opportunity, like I said, uh, like Dave told you, 200. That's exciting. You yeah. know, again, not to be blase, that's a huge quantity when we're talking about something as rare as Malaya. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And I'm going to do you the most incredible deal. Um, like I said, when you see material like this into the thousands at the likes of the auction houses, and we're bringing you the same material from the same mine 
and, and we're already at the best deal you could imagine. We've already got multi buyers that are getting two of these, and even if they were at this price, you'd be able to get two of these, which is mm -hmm. 30 carats for under 500 pounds, which is absolutely unthinkable. And in 15 seconds, we're going to go to our final incredible deal on this. That's amazing. What an achievement that each and every one of you are going to secure, or at least, or I should say, I hope will secure. I mean, yeah. Okay, I, 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 I want to take £100 off this price. This will be our final deal, £98.99. A double figure price. A double figure price point. And, and this is material that shouldn't be outside of four figures. Forget three, forget double figure price point. These should not be out of four figures and we're making it a reality for every one of our collectors that have taken the, desire, wow. the, the time to, to join us this morning, that have been on the phone lines this early. I mean, look at it. You've got Forest of Dean, you've multi-bought. Surrey, you've multi-bought. Somerset, you've multi-bought. Hazel, you've multi-bought. That's uh, the, the opportunity of a lifetime, yeah. getting the rarest garnet on earth. And of course, you can get the, uh, get this home on split pay. Uh, oh, yeah. For me, every every type of garnet looks absolutely amazing yeah. in natural sunlight. But I'm imagining I've not seen this. Obviously, our security well, doesn't allow me to walk no, it outside. Well, but this is something that, oh. Well, one of the most in interesting features of the the Tanzanian Malay garnet is that it fluoresces. So it wow. fluoresces like a ruby. So if you were to, for instance, put a UV light over these and certainly if you took it out to the biggest uv source which is of course the sun you get this unbelievable internal glow from every single one of these crystals which just again is something that i've not witnessed in any other garnet in any other garnet that's amazing yeah absolutely incredible what an amazing acquisition and I, I, and, and dave i know we always talk about this you know we're both parents so yep. This is one of those chances that comes around once in a lifetime. Well, yeah, and, and that's not, this was mined out in the, the 70s, but I see it in the market. You know, I see it in, in, in the, the booths in Tucson. You, L, you've been to mm. Tucson. You know, we see it there, but it's in, by no means affordable. And the only way usually a deal, you can make a deal affordable is if you say something like, I'll take everything you've got. Well, no one's got a lot of this material. That's the problem because ah, it's so not being mined deal, today. Then. So you can't say we'll take the mine run or we'll take you know, a ton of it or whatever it may be to drive the price down, which is what we'll do with the extremely expensive gemstones to, to make it attractive to the gentleman that we're doing business with, to get the price at a more agreeable uh, uh, level for you guys at home and for us. We'll buy huge quantities, but you can't do it with something this rare. That's the, that's the, that's the reality. Yeah, that's the, that the problem the reality. with this material. Forty-nine pounds and forty-nine pence on your split pay. Um, we've got a message for you, Dave. It's okay. from a lovely Margot. How beautifully subtle is this stone? Classy. Yeah, that's it. It's so understated. It's so elegant. Like I said, it's not ostentatious. It's not crass. It's not sharp. Mm. It is that. It's the pastel shades. That's why padaparaches are so valued, so incredible. And Adam, I I'm going to ask for a minute clock, if that's okay. I'm going to do one last incredible deal on this variety. Really? Yep, I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, make sure, make sure, if you're, if you're as smitten as I am, like I said, the moment that I saw this beautiful strand, it was literally love at first sight. Garnets are not pleochroic, and yet you seem to have a fusion of beautiful bouquet flowers. 15 carats on something which can and should be a four-figured price tag and is anywhere else in, in the world. Get your certificate of authenticity. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Whilst we have 200 is, 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 is vast in terms of its quantity and probably the only time that I will ever be able to bring you Malaya Garnet from the original location of source. Look how those beautiful colours literally dance from your rose petal colours to your beautiful champagne tones. Can you also see occasionally get this, this glimpse of vibrant fresh pink, uh, fresh green coming through? Now the clock has run out. Uh, I, uh, this is where I, uh, in fact... Right. Laura's looking at me like um, shaking her head. Should we go take the post and package off? Should we do that? No. When we do a clock, it's to encourage you guys to get on the phone lines because we're going to do something special, and that's exactly what I'm going to do for you right now. Um, get a 79.99. A final deal on this, then we'll move on to the 12 carat strand. 
this is your chance right now to wow. secure this for, for future generations, for your family, uh, for, for your safety deposit box, whatever it may be. You got it at $39.99 today. And I told you to buy both because if you think this is an incredible deal on 15 carats, wait until you see what we do on the 12 carat one as well. Of course, and you can pre-order. And I mean, David, this kind of price tag, yep. you know, that, you know, that Torsade Yeah, I mean, thousands, is, is thousands. Possible. And that was back in 2013. Yeah, true. That was back in 2013. Not far off a decade away. Yeah, exactly. And, so and you know, this is how then? few and far between material like this actually comes onto the marketplace. And then there's fierce competition for it because it's the material that everyone's read about, but no one can really own. No one can create a collection out of. This is not just the strand today. This is a parcel. Mm, and it absolutely. means that you can create jewelry, like the bracelet, like the mm. earrings. You know, you, this is why I said get as much of this material as you can because you're never going to see a better deal. No. And you may never see Malaya Garnet again. Like, like you, Dave, I, I'm, it's my favourite gemstone family to talk about. Yeah. I love the Garnet family. Um, I, I'm a, it's my favourite gemstones, actually, yes. are all Garnets. I, I, like I said, it's, it's mine too. You know, I've done more Garnet shows. I've bought more gar parcels of Garnet than any other gemstone. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. And um, by far and away, this is the rarest that I've ever dealt with. And the material that I actually thought I'd never be able to get for our collectors. And unfortunately, I can't get it for our collectors next door, but I've got it for you guys right now. Yeah. And you guys have the opportunity to create your own incredible jewellery with this parcel. That's absolutely amazing. And like you said, Margot, there's, there's a definite sophistication and a definite class um, to uh, your Malaya Garnet. I and I think it does come from, like you said, those really beautiful, pure pastel colors. Yeah, it's that Padparaccia color, oh. which is completely natural. Those peach colors, the, the oranges, the pinks, the violets, and all of them, that kind of that ethereal glow. And that's down to the clarity as well and the delicacy of the colour. Unbelievable. And I love the fact that each one is, even though they share the same colour palette, they're all so unique. Thinking about jewellery, and I mentioned this earlier on this morning, Dave, when I first saw this strand, and I was like, oh, can you imagine that with some of the, the, the purple pearls? Yeah, oh my God. Or your yeah. papaya 100%. pearls? 100%. I mean, because again, we're dealing with those wonderful natural colours. Yeah. You know, within that colour palette. Look, we've talked about the violets the lavenders and the oranges here. Imagine that with some of those wonderful pearls that oh. we've brought to our collectors over the last six months. You know, the, the papaya pearls, the lavenders, even with, um, I believe, kind of like South Sea pearls would look amazing. Yeah, this. Like that, that kind of ivory colour. Yeah. Anything with that, uh, that subtle hint of colour mm. would really play nicely with these incredible garnets. Unbelievable. Please make sure you check out your baskets on this one, as you can imagine. Malaya Garnet is always going to be a limited opportunity. And I hear it all the time, Dave, you know, people, whether, whether it's with your good self or with Jake or with our fabulous designers, you know, it's like, oh, I missed out on that chance. That's why I literally sort of shout, check out, check out, check out, because this is not something that if you miss out today that we no. can literally replace tomorrow. Absolutely not. You know, th this is the, well, we're doing a showcase of Malaya Garnet. We've got two pieces. That's, yeah. that's the reality. Yeah. You know, it, and you know, how many garnets have we bought you over the years here, here at Jewelry Maker? You've never seen Malaya garnet, the Tanzanian material. And even next door, like I said, close to two decades next door. And we've never been able to bring our collectors Malaya garnets. Uh, Laura's saying in my ear, you've got a question? Okay. Okay. Uh, and that is, thank you for the opportunity to buy uh, this stunning gem. What kind of gold would you recommend? That's right. Julianne I mean, look, Bedford. I'm not. Uh, Elle's probably better suited to, to respond. And for me, I think pink gold would look amazing. Yeah, rose, rose gold with with these kind of tones. But look, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm not even buying it to wear. I'm buying it to just keep in in a little you know a safe. That's it. You know, I've got my Malaya garnets. They're certified, which is incredible. They're Tanzanian. But yeah, I think anything would work. You know, platinum, white gold, yeah, yellow gold, true. rose gold. It just comes down to a matter of preference with this material. You see the one. Uh, Bonhams has got that wonderful uh, yellow gold, yellow gold with a yeah. pearl set, uh, set in the middle of the clasp. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, that works perfectly. It really does. I suppose it depends on what colour you want to draw out and accentuate within yeah. the Malaya garnet itself. Absolutely, because it's got. We've talked about all the nuances of colours within this. You know, you're saying it's not player crow, but we seem to be seeing so many colours. And that's exactly what we're doing. So, you know, your yellow gold's going to draw out those kind of canary flashes. Mm -hmm. Your, your platinum's going to draw out those wonderful lavenders. Yeah. And then, of course, with those peach and pad paracha colours, the, the rose gold's going to play with those so well. Wow. But I can't tell you what, though, Julianne, I can't wait to see that finished piece of jewellery. Please do, if you, uh, if you create with it straight away, make sure you send us a photograph. 
And, and definitely as well, you know, you're talking about Bonhams. Bonhams is one of the most, it's a, it's a powerhouse It's one name. of the oldest and most prestigious jewelry Absolutely. houses in the world. You know, a lot of their jewelry auctions take place in LA. Uh, and, you know, quite often the auction records are broken on the, the auction floor of Bonhams. Absolutely. You know, they, they deal with some of the most incredible jewelry in the world. I think the Hope Spinel was sold at Bonhams, which is the most expensive spinel of all time, once owned by Henry Hope. So they have a real provenance. They don't just accept anything. They're only taking the finest goods in the yep, world. Yep, absolutely. And if you look at that beautiful piece that Dave's just shown you, location, Malaya, look on your graphics, Malaya. That is what you are getting yep. right now. The prestige, the legacy. Yeah, the only time we've, we've actually ever been able to put it on the graphics is, is today. You know, it's, it only exists in our graphics in our system because of this auction that's taking place today mm -hmm. um, and you guys are getting the first look at the the genuine tanzanian malaya garnet so congratulations to you guys that are taking full advantage well it is it is getting quite limited now but as i showed you a few moments ago dave you've managed to secure two strands yeah that's unbelievable and this one's a little bit more linear yeah um these I think a lot of these might have already gone because they have. Started. You've literally just Laura, Laura's just said exactly that. Okay, brilliant. Um, a lot of you have chosen to multi buy uh, across both of the strands, and these are being pre ordered. So when we say a smaller carrot weight, it's a fraction smaller. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. But more of a, a sort of a linear strand. So it yeah. depends what you're looking for. I well, you see there with the bracelet that, that we've had made up, um, I would imagine that's using the, the incredible garnets from this strand. Um, I'm going to say. To you, Laura, can you just put come straight in at 150 pounds? Not well, finishing at this price, but I just want to give you guys something to work with when you're looking at how Maker in Gloucestershire you've bought two, Bedfordshire you've bought two, Greater Manchester you've bought two, Hazel again took our advice at the very beginning and you bought two of this and yep. two of the last one, which is incredible. Um, right. Oh my goodness. How many? Did you make 200 of these as well? 100. Okay, let's have a minute clock. These, these 100. I mean, what half of them already gone or? 30% of them are yeah. gone, 20%, whatever it may be, yeah. they're going to be gone in a moment when we reveal the final price for this. There's, yeah. there's three carrots difference in it. And three carrots, which is nothing. We already went way too low on the first piece, and this one's going to be even better. I'm just thinking, I mean, something like this, Dave, if it was going to be turned into a uh, sort of commissioned jewellery, finished yeah. jewellery yeah. for our sister channel, um, I'm assuming it'll be with your 14 or 18 karat gold. Yeah. And um, possibly, would th could this be maybe one of your first Larique bracelets or something oh, like 100%, that? Oh, 100%. 100%. I mean, if we were, to be honest, I don't know if we'd actually cr commit that much carat weight to a single piece. Uh -huh. I don't think we'd make a 12 carat bracelet. We'd probably stick with earrings, yeah. maybe a cascading piece for the neckline. Um, I, I can't imagine our team wanting to, to put 15 or 12 carats into a single piece of jewelry. You guys have the opportunity to do that. And it's down to your imagination, what you dare to dream of to create with these incredible garnets. Whatever it is, it'll be beautiful. It is certified. All right, take 100 pounds off the price. These are going to be out of here. Julianne, you've just bought oh, three of these. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, me. Valerie, Maker, Annie, Ali, Leslie, uh, Lane, Caroline, Elaine, Hazel, Maker, Wendy, another Maker, Linda, Helen, Julie, Sophia, Pam. There's so many of you calling right now trying to get through. You've got two split payments of 24.99. Nothing has changed. We're still dealing with the rarest uh, and most valuable of all the garnet species. These were discovered in the 1960s. Really, you know, burst out onto the market. Valerie, you've just bought two in the 1970s. Always, um, you know, a buzz around these when they're at Tucson. When there's a booth that's actually got the Tanzanian goods, the Padparacha color material, then there's always a bit of a, a beeline to that booth that people want to see it, people want to take pictures with it. Um, you know, this is the, 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 some of the most beautiful natural gemstones you see at the gem shows. Julianne, you've bought four of these. Congratulations. Mm. That's... 48 carat. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, amazing. I mean, amazing. Uh, again, uh, Gloucester, you've just bought three as well. There's so many of you multi buying on these opportunities, and there's still a huge queue on the phone lines. Uh, this is why I said at the very start of this entire showcase, please be early. I said, look, we don't charge your card till much later when we're. we're you're ready to it's ship ready out. To, I think. When your order's ready to be shipped, yeah. yeah. Which is about a day or two. Yeah. So I said, look, just. You can, if you don't like the price, 
throw it at your basket, but secure it early because now you face the, the very real reality of missing out. There is a big queue. It is a free phone number. If you can use the app, I would recommend doing that. Or if you can use the web, anything to kind of negate the queue that he's building on the phone lines. Yeah. We are trying to get through your calls. Of course, it is extremely busy. Um, it's not just you guys, it's next door as well. Uh, yeah, Jim I, Poirier, bet, the, I bet. the contact center are trying to deal with. So forgive us for the, the, the wait on the phone lines. Like I said, the only consolation is that that time on the phone line is free. But... For, and for, look what you're getting at yeah, the end Yeah, exactly. It. And that's what I mean. Look at what you're getting. I've waited, what, 10 years to have the opportunity to actually afford this. Yeah. Not 10 years to see it. I do see it when I go to the gem shows. But to be able to afford it. And, you know, I'd have taken a carrot, half Ooh. a carrot, but 12 carrots. For forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Um, Laura, can you do a little bit of division for me? Don't. Don't. Now go for it. Tell me. Shall we? Yeah, go on. What's the carrot weight? Leslie, What's the price per carrot? Tap 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 tap. No, no, that can't be right. Forty nine ninety nine divided by twelve. Yeah. Four, just over four pounds. Incredible. Per carrot. Incredible. Four pound per carrot. If you look at the gem carrot. guide, if you was to look at anywhere, you can be looking at a thousand dollars a carrot for this material. So, you know, 12 carrots. Of course, that's if you get to the full carrot. But to have 12 carrots and of, oh. you know, this isn't like opaque material. No. It isn't low grade. You can see the clarity. It's got facets applied to it. It's, you know, playing with the light. And you've got those wonderful, wonderful. Uh, myriads of colour that are dancing through each and every single one of these stones. I mean, I, I'm just sort of holding my hair up to show you these beautiful earrings yeah. because you would be more a little bit sort of selective in terms of um, uh, the, the actual carrot weight. And I get that. I totally get that. This is one. This is the rarest colour of garnet that physically exists. But look at that. They're going to catch the sunlight. Yeah. And I love, I love how it's almost impossible to match them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I absolutely love. I love the fact that a pair of earrings might differ. As they frame the face, there might be different nuances mm -hmm. in each of the earrings. I think that's very high jewellery indeed. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Absolutely stunning. At uh, 49 99 Jennifer, you you've just that? swooped in and taken two. Leslie, you've got three. Valerie, you've got three. Caroline, you've got two. Gloucestershire, you've got three. Julianne, you've got four. I mean, this is exactly how busy we knew it would be, especially at a price like this. Dave, that's, that's seven in each ear. Yeah. Seven rondelles in yeah. each ear. These, as a finished pair, uh, pair of earrings, if you were, surely we would expect to pay, what do you think? 99? Oh, no, more. more yeah, like pounds? I said, if this was in 9K gold, I, I would expect it to be 199299. Yeah, pair sure. Of earrings like this. Uh, yeah, that is what we're dealing with. Dealing and that's... With, uh, yeah, we've sold, and let's be honest, how, how do I come up with that figure? We've sold Savorite Garnet's earrings at 799. Six. And this is far rarer. That's how much of the strand you've used in one pair of earrings. Yeah. So this is a huge parcel. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. And it's we, like a centimetre. It is a parcel. It is a parcel. A huge parcel. That's one earring. Yeah. It's crazy, so you could make it? these earrings multiple times over. Yeah. That is absolutely incredible. And furthermore, get it home today sure. for £24.99. pence. Um, I, I'm, I'm absolutely captivated by this variety of garnet. It's just beautiful. As am I. Uh, and, and like you said, I've seen it before, but never like this. Never quite would the... But people the, are quick to use the term Malaya or Malaya yeah. because, you know, it sells. Let's be mm. honest, you know, you, if, that, that, that's the reality. But we've got true Malaya here. Yeah. True Malaya. And that's why it's so busy. It's today. sort of, you know, some establishments might jump on the tailgates if you, uh, sort of the tails of, uh, of Malaya as a location. But that is exactly what you are getting today. David, it's absolutely stunning. And furthermore, usable for our customers yeah. because they are actually uh, sort of stranded. In a, in a, how often do we see it? I know the Bonhams example. Yeah, I mean, at the auction houses, you very rarely see it. You wouldn't see it every year, for instance. No. And, yeah, and, and, and you know, the only, the only place I see it is at the gem shows. Okay, and I see like the odd specimen or, or, or someone who's got, you know, a loose stone and it's just really exciting. You know, I've got so many pictures probably on my phone of each Tucson Gem Show just holding Malaya Garnet. But to have the chance to, to own it and to, to provide it to you guys for these kind of prices is something I actually never dreamt was a possibility. And actually drilled yeah. through the centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can Full you imagine strand. saying, yeah. Well, yeah, can you just drill through the centre of exactly. that really rare colour uh, variety of gemstone? Exactly. And this is why, you know, when it does, when pieces like this, like this, 
uh, appear on the, the jewelry house. It's not like I'm saying, look at this jewelry house, they've got a 15 karat malaya garnet and look uh -huh. what you're getting. I'm saying, yeah, it's like for like. It might be a, overall a bigger carat weight, but the same, you know, uh, sized stones, the same color palette, the same origin. And it's thousands of pounds. Yeah, unbelievable. Almost a decade ago. Yeah. So what's, what, what would it be now? Exactly. Wow, 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 wow. Get it home, get your certificate. Definitely one of those opportunities, Dave, that you uh, that we have. Oh, uh, what is it, 25p? Or 25p, or yeah. free if it's on the web. Yeah, I'd just, I'd, personally, I'd just pay the 25p and get, get the physical example yeah. of it. So, yeah, exactly, because, you know, this is the kind of thing, if you don't know yet what you're going to do with it and you're purchasing it very much as a, a sort of a heritage or a yeah. legacy parcel, you want the documentation. Oh, come on, we've saved you more than 25p. You know what I mean? So oh use goodness. that to get your certification. I mean, the certification for a Malaya garnet, I, I know because I've just sent a sapphire off uh, to get origin tested. And it, first of all, it went to London, then it went to Antwerp, then it went to Switzerland, and now it's in New York. Because the labs, there's only, there's only a few labs in the world that can do it. And it's been okay. sent around. Well, obviously, th that certification to have a stone origin certified uh -huh. is, uh, you could probably put a zero on the end of the pricing screen. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, because, yeah. So that's I'm the reality. And that is done for you, literally yeah. for, for 25, 25 pence. Feet, yeah. Make the most of that opportunity. I can remember, uh, I mean, for as long as I can remember, actually, we've done, we've done the certificates. Yes. And they really are invaluable, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they are. They are. Especially um, with something as rare as this. A hundred percent. You know, if, you, if, you, you know, if you're getting maybe a Swiss Blue Tobas, maybe it is important, but not as important. Mm -hmm. but you're dealing with something where the provenance is carried so much yeah. in the origin. Then, of course, pay the 25p and get it. Unbelievable. Now, getting limited jewellery makers. We have only a handful um, of these available now, so make sure that you do check out. I can see some of you still have it within your baskets. Agnes, hello to you. Sorry, good luck, I should say. Jennifer, good luck. Anonymous customer, you have to check out your basket to guarantee your, your success. Absolutely. Uh, North Yorkshire, good luck. Birmingham, good luck. Surrey, good luck. Hampshire, good luck. Merseyside, good luck. Sophia, good luck. Ask yourself this. When have we ever, or, or not just here at Jewelry Maker, across the entire partnership, Jim Poria partnership, which, you know, not, 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 not blowing Jim Poria's uh, trumpet too much, but let's be honest, we're hugely respected, aren't we, Oh, globally? massively. I mean, look at the doors that have opened. Rio Tinto, who yeah. we're working with. You know, De Beers, who we work with. Uh, Gemfields, who we work with. The biggest, the biggest jewellery companies on earth. Yeah. Uh, and we have that element of respect in the industry. Our reputation precedes us in many aspects. And, you know, you, you guys have that peace of mind when you're acquiring pieces like this. Uh, and you're getting, furthermore, one of the few ever, yes. historically ever parcels Absolutely. that Gemporia have actually uh, secured. You know what to do. People are multi-buying. Again, right getting very, very, very limited now. In terms of quantity, Laura? Okay, down, down to the final uh, few, really. Uh, let's, let's leave it with every single one of you. Uh, you know, the, 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 you're on the phone lines. This is your opportunity. It's at 49 99 or 24 pound 99 on split pay that is the right. most incredible opportunity we've ever done on a garnet i believe here at the i channel. totally agree it's beautiful ha, massive congratulations and when you get it home the first thing i want to do is take it to natural sun 100 percent. yeah because that's the worst it's ever going to look as amazing as it looks here and we're blown away by it. it's the worst it's ever going to look yeah. when you get there in the daylight like i said uh. they, they have the ability to fluoresce which is really exciting amazing absolutely amazing Oh, where do we go from there? Well, we are about to bring you some of the most incredible uh, and legendary Kotan mutton fat jade in the world. And this is material that you know, really barely exists uh -huh. in the world. The lady that is supplying us with these pieces, we've got some finished pieces of jewellery and then we've got two epic opportunities, is Sally Hewer, who you guys know really well. Yeah. Um, and if you, if you want to know a little bit more about Sally Hewer, there's a clip of film right now about her working with Kotan mutton fat jade. It's about three minutes long, so bear with me, but it will give you everything you need to know and the peace of mind that you want when thinking about acquiring a Kotan mutton fat. Take a listen to this. Chao Tai Fuk is one of the world's most prestigious luxury jewelry houses. Dating back to the 1930s, they have catered to the wealthy of Hong Kong and China for nearly 100 years. The pieces created by this atelier have frequently set auction records, most notably for their jade pieces. And it is said that they only work with a handful of jade dealers that have access to the finest jade ever mined. In 2010, the Chao Tai Fook Jewelry House 
acquired one of the finest rough diamonds ever mined from the hailed Cullinan mine, and they set themselves a daring mission to create the most luxurious and important piece of jewelry in the history of high jewelry. The legendary rough was the most astonishing diamond of the last century, and it's made its way from South Africa to Hong Kong. The massive diamond, which was purchased by the jeweler in 2010 for 35.3 million US dollars, yielded 24 D flawless gems, featuring a perfect 104 carat round brilliant. The museum quality piece is appropriately dubbed a heritage in bloom. The diamonds are the twinkling descendants of the 507.55 carat Cullinan Heritage Rough Diamond. The diamonds were cut by the legendary jewellery artist Wallace Chan over a period of 47,000 hours. And upon delivery of the finished stones, the house of Chow Tai Fook saw Wallace's sketches showcasing his own vision for the stones and the president of Chow Tai Fook promised to provide him with anything that he needed to make this unparalleled jewellery dream a reality. Wallace asked for a further 600 pink diamonds and over 100 imperial jades, but there were major concerns over the final part of the puzzle. Wallace Chan wanted to set the D flawless Type 2A diamonds in a stone, maybe the only stone just as pure. The legendary glowing mutton fat nephrite from the legendary Kotan mine, the Stone of the Emperors. Representatives who had already delivered the Imperial Greed Jade and Pink Diamonds insisted that pure nephrite with translucency and no secondary colors, all veining, was seldom seen and the Kotan deposit is only but a myth in the modern world. Finally, after many years, a selection made by Chow Tai Fook's chairman, Dr. Henry Cheng, was made, quite possibly the most astonishing deal in the history of this jewelry house. They had sourced a grade of mutton fat, the likes of which had not been seen. Pure color with glowing transparency, a heavenly stone. The only such stone that Wallace would accept to partner the Cullen and Diamonds. Finally, Wallace could begin his masterpiece. And after many months, the result blew the world away. The results, in fact, are so magnificent that the necklace, which can be worn in a multitude of ways, has been valued at over 200 million US dollars. The limited collection that Jampori is proud to bring you today is from the house of Sally Hua, the lady who has sold pure white Kotan nephrite to Chow Tai Fook. Okay, so just, you know what you're dealing with now. You're dealing with the rarest jade on earth. Um, we've got three incredible rings to offer you from the Sally Hua debut Kotan Mutton Fat collection. These are very last of stock. They've been on at Jamporia, so it's the last five in some of them, ten in the others. And then we have three of the most incredible strands you're ever going to get a chance to offer. We only did one strand next door, which is a smaller carat weight than any of the strands I have for you today. Wow. That's a fact. And we're dealing with clarity, we're dealing with translucency, we're dealing with pure white, 99% pure tremolite. And, you know, if, if, if you go and look at Jade, okay, so you go to Lotus Gemology, who are a lab-based in Bangkok by Richard Hughes. They talk about the history of this deposit, you know, dating back to 1637 when they would go out into the, the Karakash River, which is, you know, the Khotan River. And they'd go out in the autumn moonlit nights where they thought it was the best time to find jade as it would glow and reflect the moonlight. And this material could only be owned by the emperors. And this is how far the history dates back for this material. There's a lot of nephrite mines in China historically, but there's only one that produces mutton fat. And that's top left of, of that, just below that black dot, which says the Kotan deposit, or known as Heshan in, in the modern language. And, and we spoke about this before. Look, we talk a lot about jade eye. And they say, although the actual Chinese nephrite prices received little attention for many decades since the rise of China's economy in the 90s, the original jade, which is what we've got for you, has appreciated tremendously. And as of 2014, the world, the world auction record for jade is held not by Burmese jadeite, but by Chinese nephrite. And that's it there. So for wow. 18 million US dollars, nearly 19, 18.7 million dollars. And then you've even got like the New York Times writing about this material. The jade from China's west, which is the Kotan deposit, surpasses gold in value. They say ounce for ounce, the finest jade, okay, which is mutton fat, mm -hmm. has become more valuable than gold, with the most prized nuggets of mutton fat jade, so named for its marbled white consistency, 
fetching $3,000 an ounce, which is a tenfold increase from a decade ago. So it's doubled every single year. And then they say, although archaeologists have unearthed Neolithic jade tools along the Yellow River, which is the Khotan River, the Chinese affection for the stone received a lift around 1600 BC, BC, when the Shang Dynasty royals took to sleeping on jade pillows, um, signing edicts with jade chops and interring their loved ones, literally in jade tile frocks. Legends suggest that only emperors were allowed to possess the carved legendary Khotan white jade. And this is how they're, they're looking for it today. You know, they're out in the river, which doesn't bring the material that it used to. Mm -hmm. In fact, it looks like this today. That's from the New York Times article. Doesn't have the clarity, isn't pure white. And this is that necklace that uh, Wallace Chan produced for Chow Tai Fu. $200 million. Wow. And, and you can see all that's white there is the Khotan mutton fat. And they've set pink diamonds in it. They've set you know, beautiful uh, uh, imperial jade in it. That was the deal that was done by Dr. Henry Cheng. And, you know, like I said, that was the press release back in 2015. But that's what I love. When you get to see the yeah. huge 100 carat uh, D-coloured, internally flawless uh, colouring diamond at the heart of it, by, you know, literally haloed by a ring of pure Khotan mutton fat. Yeah. Jade. And that's the material they've got for you today, from the same deposit, same material. And when you get a first dibs today, mm -hmm. you, if you see a strand like that, which is a much smaller carat weight than what we have for you in terms of the size of the individual spheres, they say the price of mutton fat jade starts at $995 and tops out $325,000 with these necklaces on average, on average, selling for $93,000. That's the reality. I'll tell you right now, I've spoken to Sally Hewer, I've spoken to her because I did a show of, well, I did one piece of hers on Saturday of, of Kotan materials called The Colors of Kotan. And this is material we will no longer get for you. No longer be able to get for you. So if you want it, it's here now. And we're going to go straight through this. In fact, can we bring the first one in, which is this huge, beautiful ring? Gosh, it, it, it is absolutely It's, it's going stunning. to be on and gone. It's Kotan Mutton Fat Jade Ring. It's 5.2 carats. It's tr look at it. It's gemmy. It's translucent. It's pure. And I'm going to do it for every single one of our collectors right now. We, we have very few of these remaining for $99.99. Gonna match the. I'm going to match the, the introductory offer that we offered to our collectors for this pure, glowing, translucent, mutton fat jade from Completely the legendary Kotan deposit. This is history making. Three split pays on this as well. That's absolutely incredible. It's, it's out of this world. And you know what? I'll show you something else. Yeah. Can you I, hand it to me, please? Sure. Here uh, we go. Thank you. I'm going to show you something, even just from over here. Just the, the oh, look how limited we are. Straight away. There's, there's the piece. Sorry, I know this is really difficult, isn't it? Do you want me to stand somewhere else? Here? Oh, perfect. So th that's the piece. So, you, uh, oh my goodness me. Literally glows. Oh, yeah. As if. But if I take the light away, that's it. Wow. That's how translucent this material is. That is mutton fat jade of the best. Leslie, you're the first one on. You've just multi-bought on this. You have no idea what you've just been able to acquire. No idea at all. Look at it. We're not, uh, I'm not going to mess around with baskets on this Sally Hewer collection. Uh -huh. um, telephone callers will get priority if it is in your basket for more than 30 seconds. It is confirmations only on this collection. This is the most important collection of, of, of jewellery, of gemstones, of history that I've ever been able to offer to our collectors. I've got Maker in Lincolnshire. I've got Greater Manchester, I've got North Yorkshire, I've got Yorkshire, I've got Hampshire, Greater Manchester, I've got another bidder in North Yorkshire, I've got Midlothian, I've got Kent. There's so many of you that want to own this and we have very few available. We are doing a 5.2 carat piece right now for every single one of you uh, in double figures with a three-way split pay. Sizes are actually selling out. Yeah, but I, JTK's gone. R2S has got one left. It doesn't, doesn't really matter, though, it doesn't does matter, it? Yeah. It's all I'd about that, this. Jade. I'd reset this into 18K or platinum. Yeah. You're not going to see this anywhere. I'm so confident of that. You know, Chow Tai Fu couldn't find this material. They could find the pink diamonds. They could find the jadeite. They could find the Cullinan diamond, mm -hmm. which cost them $18 million. Mm -hmm. But when it came to finding the Kotan mutton fat material with translucency, there's only a few people in the world that can get that material. Do you know what? Uh, uh, and Dave, it makes me think because every sort of high, you know, ex 
they're all expensive, aren't they, when you're talking about this yep. level of material. But it's the simplistic shapes. Yes. It's showcasing that translucency 100%. and that pure white colour. Um, I'm thinking about, uh, uh, it was actually the jewellery editor who wrote about a black jade. So yeah. different colour, not as rare as what you're no, looking no, no. at right yep. now. Um, Cartier commissioned a cabochon and it has half of it covered in 18 karat gold. And that's £35,000. Yeah, I mean, look, nothing gets more valuable than this material. Nothing gets no. more valuable than Kotan mutton fat. And you're actually dealing with the finest grade right now. That is the legendary mutton fat material. So that's what it's called. Yes. I'm going to move on from this one. I don't want to oversell it. There's a lot of you on the phone lines. I don't even know how many we have left. We have another piece coming up. Congratulations. If you, if I don't know if you're successful, but if you're on the phone lines, just try. We have the piece now, essentially, oh, what would be the white gold version of it. Yeah. A beautiful this... trellis around the outside. Again, another wonderful, simple cabochon. 5.16 carats. Incredible material. This is the penultimate ring that I'm going to offer you. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. I guess I have these wonderful filigree scrolls all the way around. Yeah. But not overly detailed. You, you can't compete with it. So no. it's just best just to let the jade do the talking. This is the original jade, the Emperor's Jade, that even from 1600 BC has been celebrated by the different dynasties that have ruled China. Um, this is it. The only place in the world that it comes from is the Yellow River, the Karakash River, or the Khotan River. I'm going to match the price on this one, 99.99, for every Amazing. collector who wants to the chance to own this and put it in their collection. I love, I love the story, the fact that you know they literally uh, hunted for this gemstone or searched for this gemstone under moonlight. Yeah. You can't imagine it glowing. You've seen the glow. You? You've seen that incredible glow. And by the way. We've never had the opportunity to, to work with the materialists. Even when I go to Hong Kong, I see imperial jadeite, I see lavender jadeites. Yeah. We see all sorts. You don't see Kotan mutton fat. In fact, Chow Tai Fook were told. Wallace Chan said, he's a jewellery artist. He said, if, I, I want the Kotan mutton fat. Because everyone has heard about it. In, in, like we've heard about Golconda diamonds in, um, you know, the, 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 in China, in that culture. They've heard about it. It exists in museums because it's been valued for 1,000, 2,000 years. And, and the people, unfortunately, had to go back to him and say, yeah, get you the pink diamonds and get the imperial jade. Mm -hmm. But that, that material doesn't exist anymore. But yes, I know you've seen the $1.8 million jade pillows. I know you've seen the $18.7 million carving. But that material came out a thousand years ago. Yeah. In the Shang Dynasty. That, that material came from one river. We can't get that material anymore. Sally Tewer has provided you with an exceptional and important opportunity right now. Again, you're in a queue. It is the penultimate ring. Coming up next is the heart of Kotan. I'm going to do an incredible deal for you on everything that you're witnessing today. Pauline, That's Lynette, amazing. Wendy, Gloucestershire, Yorkshire, Monmouthshire, Greater Manchester, Norfolk, West Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, Manchester, Tyne and Weir. Congratulations to every single one of you again. I don't want to oversell this. There might be five or six of these left, limited in every size. Take a chance. Speak to the contact center. Um, I think it's best to, to leave this where it is because I don't know who's going to be successful at this point. It's extremely busy. And yeah. This will always be the case when material of this grade makes its way um, to, to, to the market. I love this next one. This is the, uh, the heart of Kotan. This is the heart of Kotan. I, wish, I genuinely do. I apologise to everyone. I wish we had 200 of these. But we yeah. 3.5 carats. Pure 99% tremolite. You know, that is the finest grade that you can ascertain. And then to have the translucency as well, or the transparency, it's like tracing paper when the light interacts with it. Look at how. Yeah. Absolutely. So simple. Yes. So simple. And yet, that might so well perfect. be one of the only heart cut uh, mutton fat jades from the Kotan River out there. Really? It's true. Have we ever seen it before? No, we've seen it once. This is all from one collection from Sally Hewer. Just wow. Over, well, about and I guess, I guess the whole nature of it being a heart cut, Dave, yeah. um, I guess that's not something many of them will actually embark on because... Oh, because it, especially when it's crystallised like this. We're not talking about a river pebble now, a river rock. Seventy nine ninety nine, by the way, to everyone. To put that cleave in is so dangerous to do. Yeah. Because it's crystallised, it's crystal. You can resize this. Oh, easy. You reset it if I was you, but yeah. it's down to you. There's five left, so that's oh how, that's wow! How, already, that's how limited we are. Oh my goodness me! Um, just make sure you secure it. Doesn't matter about sizes. 
Oh, I, I've never seen this piece before. I heard about it on the grapevine in the yeah. Gemporia uh, sort of under, the, uh, under the same roof, but I hadn't actually seen it. It's stunning, absolutely stunning, with that level of translucency. Oh, God, yeah. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's going to sell out. We're actually over allocated on this one. So again, don't okay. let's, let's, let's move on then. Let's move on. Look, there's 12 of you that want the last three on the yeah. front lines right now. I don't know who's going to be successful. Just try your luck. Speak to someone at the contact center and just ask. Now it gets crazy. It does though. It does. I want to go to the biggest carrot weight, carrot weight one first, please, if I can. This is just nuts. I look at that. Yeah, yeah. And I see that. Oh, yeah. Can Quality. I have it a sec, actually? Sure. I know this is difficult to do. Is it all three? It's not all three, is it? No, separate auctions. Right, let me show you this big one first. Oh my gosh, that is like linen white. It's the carrot weight. We didn't have a carrot weight, so we didn't have sizes like this. But look, you can see it from there. This is the probably the most valuable and rarest gemstone on the face of the planet. Oh, wow. I'm going to go back up, sorry. Uh, you're doing an amazing job on cameras. Wow, wow, wow. Laura, just how many do we have? Because everything's sold out so far. And this is monumental carrot weight. 42. Oh, God. This is, I mean, forget deal of the day. It's not even enough for this. This is just, I mean, look at it. That's it, just in the worst lighting ever. From there, look at that. What is the carrot weight? 135 carats. Okay, we've got 42 of eight grand. Yeah, no I was going to say I'm gonna, I was going to buy some of this. I'm not going to. I'm going to be nowhere near that price, so don't you worry. But you won't have the opportunity. No, exactly. It's going to sell out. I'm going to hand it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's pure white. Yeah, it but is it's, it's literally it's, pure white. But it's the clarity. Yeah. It's the clarity that's insane. We have a minute clock, Adam. This is going to absolutely disappear. You'll never see 42 go so quick. I'll show you the other two next to it. Yeah. Look how pure that colour is. Oh. oh. I'd get all three. Yeah, me too. Me too. And I would literally put it alongside something like... Mm, what do we think? Would you go alongside green jadeite or would you contrast it with something like a Jedi red spinel or...? I'd leave as is. You'd I would not... I would put nothing with this. It's pure. Wonderful, incredible, and that, and mutton fat material. And you'd get that, that you know, literally off an auction site. Yeah. Get one. I of mean, your like you, what class. did they say? The average price of these is ninety three thousand dollars. Ninety three thousand. I mean, we're we get offering a deal, even if you were. Just um, Adam, here. you've got that clip of film of the um, well, you know, that one off first dibs, the strand. There's like a strand, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand pounds, I think, on first dibs, which is a kind of vintage antique website in the UK. Right, for every single one of you right now, I'm going to do a crazy deal. Suzanne, you're going to thank your lucky stars. You just bought three of these, not eight grand, 200 quid. We've done 100 pounds for five carrots, 135 carrots here. This is it. This is entirely for you guys that are tuning in. But there is, there was 42. First person on the phone lines has got three. Oh. Valerie, make, uh, next person on the phone lines has got three. That's six gone. That's almost 10%. Mm, more than 10% of the stock gone. And, and can I just say, yeah, uh, what I'm seeing, the phone lines. I, I, I'm looking at something before me that's not as white as what we're looking at on, a, on the back no. of my hand. Exactly, yeah. Oh, sorry, this one's five grand, yeah. Thank you, Adam. So this is five grand, and it's smaller beads. Of, of yeah. Certified onto it, as is yours, 4,900. Oh, hang on, your mic's gone, back. Dave. Oh, you come back. Okay. You're back, sorry, this, say that Sorry, again. yeah, so this is... You know, uh, mutton fat nephrite from the Cotan deposit, available in the UK right now, certified untreated, as yours is, and that's £4,975. We're doing ours for 200 and we have much larger, well, you can see. Larger and brighter. Yeah. It's, yeah. you know, you know, it, it, that, that is... Yeah, look at them side by side. When I'm talking about a white gemstone, I want it to be pure white. Yeah, same gemstone, same you know, certification from the same location. Unbelievable. Same cultural significance and historical uh, significance. And, and one's five grand and one's 200 pounds. Amazing. I would never have guessed that the one on the left is the, the more expensive. Do you know, and, and I know we say it all the time, um, but this is definitely something that you, you go on then to get valued. You go oh, on. Oh, please do. And, and absolutely ensure. Oh, 100%. Because you, if you insure that for £200, you'll, you'll never be able to replace it, ever. 
ever for 200 pounds. No. You wouldn't be able exactly. to replace it for 2,000 pounds. No, exactly. Wow. I'm quite envious of every single one of and you. And me too. Had, yeah, because I would love to have bought this as well. Um, I don't blame you. Alison in Bristol's also multi-bought on this. Dorothy, Valerie, London, Leslie, new customer. What a first purchase. Yeah, I mean, it's just seeing it up close, seeing it on the hand, seeing, knowing that what you're holding is probably the rarest gemstone on earth. From a deposit that has been worked, from a river that has been worked for 3,000 years. That's amazing. To find what you've got right now. Absolutely incredible. And you can get it home for £49.99. Oh, yeah, you got split pair. I forgot about that. Split, so split pair. as well, and it's £200. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. It's less than a pound. No, just over a pound per carat. Yeah, it's just insane. 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 Absolute madness. Well done, everybody. It's and, and, and again, we're looking at it in the worst lighting possible. Uh, oh, yeah, possible, exactly. Yeah, I mean, if you get this in daylight, or even just with the phone light behind it, you see that level of clarity, yeah. that transparency, the gemmy nature, the crystallization of this jade that has flowed from a river in the most western part of China and has captivated civilizations for, for millennia. Incredible. And all three of these strands have the same... Same quality. Yeah, the same quality. You know, you said earlier on the most expensive jade and showed that, sc that yes. sculpture, yeah. that carving. Uh -huh. I'll show it to you. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, lovely, and I know there's history to it as well, but it's quite dirty. Yeah. But there is portions of it, particularly the actual um, the, the, the lion or the creature on top, Yeah. That, that have that beautiful linen white. It's big, but it's sold in 2021 for 18... 0.7 million US dollars. Wow. That's something. Like, I mean, some people call this imperial jade. Uh, the, the, the gemological term for it is mutton fat jade. Yeah. When you get that marbled white consistency. It's absolutely amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. We are going to be bringing you those graduations as well. So if you're like me and you're actually thinking about literally just maybe not, oh, I don't know, knot it with another white or so oh, yeah. white silk. Or pearls. Pearls. Oh, yeah, incredible with pearls. And then an 18 karat gold clasp that 100%. you could get from, you know, go, you know, go to your... I love that. Your I, love, I do love the clasp that's on that one at First Tips. Yeah, love On that one that, that, that was going around in their recording and it had that wonderful gold round clasp. There you go. I love that. Box clasp. Classic is, box yeah? clasp, yeah. Well, there's the, uh, the box clasp, very vintage style, very secure. That's why most of these sort of, yeah, uh, more vintage pieces will have the a strand, box clasp. We had one strand yeah. um, in our only ever uh, collection from Sally Hewer next door of the mutton fat. And the, you won't believe this, but the clasp on it was under patent from Sally Hewer. Her team had designed it and it was a screw. Yeah. It's screwed in. Amazing. And she literally says, you know, when, when you wear this material, you're not meant to take it off. No. You know, yeah, it's secure, yeah. I mean, it's not for, you know, much of the jewellery that we create or here, you know, it's for ease of use, magnetic clasp. Yeah. You know, oh, it's really easy to put on and put off. <laughs> she said it shouldn't be easy to put on and put off. You should have help putting something this valuable on. Yeah. And she said, and you, you screw it on and then you unscrew it to take it off. Because it's that valuable. Wow. And that's how we offered it to our collectors. It obviously completely sold out. And you've got 135 carats here. For £49.99 on your split pay. But the last remaining few. Shall we do the 8 mil? Absolutely. Because you know what I'm going to do, Dave, don't you? I do. I'm not, have you got a blackboard, Dan? Because he's on it, bless him. If I had Again, two... Again, £7,000. I'm going to do you an incredible deal. If I had two of these... Yes. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? Many of you have just bought what, three of the other ones. So if you want to get two of these... I was got Thank a great you, idea here. What, how many of these do we have, Laura? Thirty-one. Oh God! It's even more limited. But get imagine. Look at that. Imagine being just in a London gallery. Yeah. And that's what you see. And then you'd have it obviously coming up the other side as well. Absolutely. I mean, I think this is more beautiful. I, I completely agree. Than what you saw. I on really first completely agree. Literally create that beautiful graduated necklace. Limited though. I mean, that's obviously going to be too short, isn't it? But limited. So you'll need two of these. Or maybe even get the, uh, the six millimetre size that's coming up so you can actually separate that strand. You know, you put here and here and then have the six mil further round. Limited. Look at, uh, you know, there's no fluctuation. Oh, I've just been into the gallery. Color. I've just been into the gallery and I've seen the phone lines already. 
Okay. I've just been in to see Laura and I looked at her screen and a lot of you are already on this, so don't worry. You, a lot of them have already bought two. Good. We only had 31. Uh, can I have a minute clock, Adam? It'll probably be sold out. From what I've seen, it, if it might be sold out. Look, there's, there's your screen. Yeah. Now we can see the screen. You can see how many other people are on it. Uh, by the time this clock's done, they might already have got, been gone. But this is your opportunity right now. We're going to do an incredible deal. And this kind of acquisition, David, oh, look we at, have a lot... Look at the clarity. Yeah. You know, you... We've got a lot to thank you for, personally, as well, for bringing... Sally Hewer is the only person I need to thank for this, genuinely. Look, the first, the first three of you on the phone lines have bought two. If 15 of you buy two, it's gone. Are you making That's, this So face? it sounds like we've got 31, but I Are you making this? I hope so. I hope you are, and I hope then you will wow. go on to have it valued in short. You have to. You absolutely have to. It's not a vanity thing. Usually I say, send your valuations in to me. I don't want to see them as long as you guys are happy. Yeah. Just get them insured for the correct replacement value. Which obviously is not going to be the price tag that you're about to see. No. Nope. 31 is still a big quantity, especially when we are talking about the rarest yeah, colours. But wait until you see the price. Oh. Right, 149.99 for every one of you. Uh, I hope you're happy. Like Elle said, I hope you're going to get these valued. I hope you're going to get these insured. It's absolutely crucial. It's imperative. This is your heirloom jewellery. And you've just got £37.49 on split pay. That's bonkers. £37.49 on split pay. And this is why you guys... And, and but take us up on split pay, by the way. It's interest-free. You can spread those payments. It makes it more accessible. It makes it more affordable. Linda, you've just bought two. Valerie, you've got two. Saniki, mm -hmm. you've got two. Gloucestershire, you've got two. It's the way to go today. Unbelievable. There's, there's literally uh, single figures remaining. Yeah. So be as quick as you possibly, possibly can. Last thing I would want is for you to miss out on this opportunity. Uh, it, it, again, it's... It, it, with nephrite and jadeite, it's those three factors, isn't it? Carrot weight, colour, yeah. and also the transparency. But with nephrite, it's usually reserved for carving because it doesn't tend to have the clarity, clarity or the gemminess that jadeite has. Uh -huh. This is the exception. Yeah, I was going to say. This is the exception. This is why when you get this, it's more valuable than jadeite. Because it's so rare to see. It, it's never seen. And the only time, you know, if they look back through their, their history in China, what, what the, all the emperors had, the, the Shang dynasty, the Ming dynasty, the Quinlong dynasty, all these different dynasties that, that you know, ruled China for thousands of years valued this. Wow. So Jadot didn't exist. No? Jadot didn't exist. Jadot's history is 800 years old. Yeah. You know, this goes back 1600 BC at the very, yeah, the very latest. Because you know, we've seen Neolithic jade tools, for goodness That's sake. Amazing. I mean, this just has the most illustrious history. The, problem, the reason they turned to jade out is because this deposit was exhausted. Yep. As Chow Tai Fook found out when they tried to create the world's most expensive necklace and they wanted this material and eventually they got it. And it is that pure, beautiful colour. Well done, everybody. Again, multi-buyers. I hope you realise how significant this is. Even if you're not getting involved today and I get it, it's extremely busy, you might be missing out. But just to see this video, honestly, just to see it, we don't even see this in Hong Kong. We, we don't see it in the market. It is truly under lock and key. This is in the museums of China. Wow. So well done. And here so, we are. Here we are bringing it casually at £37. Yeah, and £49 pence. Pence on split pay. One, uh, yeah, uh, there's three of them left. Okay, well then, look, there's, I don't know, it goes off my screen, so you guys can find it out for those last three. We have one more strand to provide for our collectors. Um, and the ultimate deal. And if you think it's been busy on the first strand, if you missed out on that, if you missed out on the second strand, I'd be on the phone lines now for this one. This is about to get crazy. I mean, yeah, can you I imagine? Yeah, I know what you're doing now. It looks incredible. When you do that, you just see them all next to each other. There's no variation. There's no deviation in the colour. Oh, imagine. Yeah. Take something like black jade up here. I think so. Yeah. Black shade going up towards an 18 karat gold clasp at the top. Yeah, you, you, that's it. That's, that's, a that's a priceless piece of jewellery. Yeah. Anywhere else in the world. The fact that we're on Jewellery Maker and we like, you know, we're, we're on TV and this. Egg timers. Yeah, egg timers. <laughs> and all this. I just want to be honest with you. This is so far removed from what we're doing right now. Totally. This is so elevated. And people joke about that, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hang on that for a second because people are like, yeah, you know, seriously, can I make those pieces? Can you not? If you cannot, and, um, then yes, absolutely. And that, that's a key point you've made, actually, Al. You, even if you can't not, 
you need we to get these you. knotted. Well, yeah, I'm sure we can teach you, you're right, but you pay and go and get this knotted. Yeah. And the reason I'm saying that is because they're so valuable, singularly. If, if for whatever reason this strand was to snag or break, yeah. losing one's a travesty, but losing all of them. Exactly. So get them individually hand knotted. <coughs> and then, like you said, whatever you want to partner them with, uh, black jade's a great, great um, idea. Whatever it may be, you're going to have the opportunity right now. I am going to ask for the egg timer. I'm going to ask this my final deal with you guys. I ask for a minute clock, and this is going to disappear. How many do we have, Laura? 41. Uh, again, it's. I wish we had hundreds and hundreds. Dave, um, whilst that clock is ticking away, we've got a message okay. coming through um, that we'd like to show you. And this is from Hazel. Hi. Uh, I bought these when they were first on. I made an 18-inch necklace with all uh, three sizes uh, with a peach pearls. Got it valued uh, for £1,500. There you go. There we go. I think they've undervalued that. Hazel's the one that's bought three of everything so far. Yeah, well done, Hazel. So Hazel, bought, how Hazel, awesome Hazel bought them the first time, and then now you're in again. So, Hazel, what have you done? Knotted, knotted it? Imagine, you know, not, I, I don't know, text in Hazel, my darling, £1,500. Yeah, I know. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And if you took it to places like... Yeah, if you took it to London. Dibs, yeah. Took it to London, if you start taking it to, you know... Uh, All right, 99 99 wow. pounds and 99 pence for the final strand. 45 carats of Kotan... Mutton Fat Jade, Gloucestershire, you've got three. Saniki, you've got two. Norfolk, you've got two. Margaret, Kath, David, Maker, Caroline. Hazel, amazing. $24.99. You know, I always say this. We've made it affordable at $99.99. But uh, with the split pay, which is interest-free, you can spread it over what, four months, we're making it accessible. This is the final uh, strand that we're offering you today of the legendary Kotan Mutton Fat. Virginia, you've just got two as well. Well done. Oh my goodness me. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence to be able to get hold of them. And I said uh, you should just get all three. Yeah. When you see it like that on the hand, it's and you see them all together. And then natural, obviously. It's out of this world. Uh, Laura's just said, well, that's exactly what Hazel did, and she's uh she's she's banked herself, you know, a nice four-figure profit. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Well done, Hazel. Yeah, and we keep saying that. Alison's just bought three as well. So a lot of you are multi buying, and, and you, it means it's. I love that because it means you guys get it. Yeah. You get what this is about. You understand the, the savings you're making, you understand the, the opportunity that is before you. And you're looking beyond the, the bells and whistles and the gimmicks of a shopping TV channel. And you're just seeing the, the raw opportunity that is before you, which is Kotan Mutton Fat Jade certified. Unbelievable, isn't it? Um, here we go. I'm holding them all alongside. So this together, can we just do a little little bit of maths? Top them all up. Oh God. Four, just uh, 450 pounds for all three. That's Crazy. absolutely incredible. Crazy, and you can yeah. get it hold at home on split pay as well. Mm -hmm. The rarest colour, the most historical. The, the rarest gemstone. The ra it's the rarest gemstone. It's the rarest colour of said gemstone. It's the rarest quality of that gemstone. It's the highest grade mutton pounds. fat that you can get. This is rarer and more valuable than Imperial Green Jade, which would never bring you. No. Never bring you. This is it. This is the original jade. It is that beautiful transparency. It's, you said it best. It's linen white. And that's the difference between the two cultures. You know, we, we like um, you know, the, the marketing talk here in you know, the Western world. And you know, we like to romanticize things. We're like, it's linen white and it's this and that. And in China, they say it as it is. You know, in the Far East, you know, it's mutton fat. Yeah. Or with the ruby, they say it's pigeon blood red. Yeah. You know, I love it. I love that. Whereas maybe in, in the Western world, we were like, it's neon red, you know, which be a really beautiful language. I love the fact that theirs is so uh, pictorial. It evokes exactly what it should look like. It they don't does. care if it sounds sexy. They're like, okay, mutton fat. Okay, well, we know the color of mutton fat, and that's what we're looking at. It, yeah. And um, Carol's got the chance to own this. Carol's asked to see the two together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why have I not said this? I know. Uh, we, we haven't. Have we? Those earrings that you're wearing, oh. imagine just one of the six mils at the end. At the end. Yes. The rarest garnet meets the rarest jade. Oh, my goodness, yeah. That would be it. Just one of those six mil on, on the very end. Oh, my goodness. That would be absolutely beautiful, Divine, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Yeah. One single coat and mutton fat jade yeah. at the bottom. Oh. <gasps> 
Unbelievable. They, were, they are looking dangerously close to being um, a sellout. And I'm going to ask a question fully knowing the answer. Okay. Dave, mm -hmm. any chance you can get some more? No, I look, like, like I said, we, we can probably get more Jade. Uh, Jade Eye. I spoke to Sally Hewitt a matter of days ago uh -huh. because we did a Sally Hewitt day. So we had Dove Blue Jade Eye. Oh. We had Colors of Kotan One Strand. Um, we also had uh, Lavender Pearls. We didn't have one piece, one collection of Kotan Mutton Fat Jade. When she to sold me this material, she said, never ask again, like this is it, it's one. It's a one time yeah, purchase. Yeah, and I get it, and that's fine. She talks, we have an open line of, of, of dialogue that we backwards and forwards. But you know, this is the world's rarest gemstone. Yeah. You know, and she did us an incredible deal. She certainly did. Um, and we are passing on that deal uh, to our lovely viewers. Hello, Virginia messaging in. Uh, hi, JM team. Thank you, Dave. I've never been able to afford this material before. It's going to be put into my collection. I'll make one necklace. Amazing. Amazing. Just, you know, for, you know simple. Done. Yeah. Like when you laid it down on that, that black. Should we do it again? Uh, the, the tablet or whatever you'd call that. What would you call that? Uh, Board. Whatever, board. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you put it down on that beautiful velvet black board. Do you mean like this, or did you mean the graduation? Yeah, just however. But when I see it on that, I just think that's it. That's that's what it should be. I think you're absolutely right. And I would go either 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 sort of like your uh, your green jade, or I think black would look absolutely, yeah, absolutely. amazing, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Or pink. Pink. Well, you see what um, Wallace Chan did. You put pink diamonds in the center oh. of of things. Like that. So if you had you, pink. Even just a uh, pink cord that it was str you know, strung yeah, yeah, on, yeah. I think yeah. it looked beautiful. What about papaya pills? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about purple and papaya pills? Yes. Like just, this piece just gets better. Well, yeah. I mean, look, we're, we're here dreaming it up, but you guys are the people that are going to be creating it. Making it a reality. Making it a reality. Well done, Virginia. Congratulations right. to you. What an amazing piece that is going to be as well. Wow, wow, wow. How many, update, how many do we have left in stock? Eight mils have sold out. We're down to single figures, five, literally five left of the six mils. Ten mil. There's, again, single figures. Okay, well, single if there's an opportunity for any single one of those, just jump on it, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Just jump on it. Um, and uh, as soon as that clock ticks over to the next hour, I'm going to be dashing for my phone just to make uh, you all uh, aware. You'll be too late, but... Uh, Sorry. This is worth a go. Yeah, abs absolutely, and that's what I'm saying this to you guys. Like, uh, same uh, like I've said on, on, on the first pieces, the rings, I hadn't officially sold out, but I saw how many of the, you, you were on the lines, and I said, look, don't want to oversell it, try and figure it out. And there might still be one of the rings left, or two of the rings left. Yeah. You guys might have dropped off the lines and said it might have sold out. Elle's got the right idea, and, and we're encouraging you to do the same. Just call up and ask. Wish the, the, the Kotan Mutton Fat Jade, is it available? Which one is available? What was the price on it? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. We've got another message to share. Um, this is from Caroline, who I know is an amazing collector, by the way. Hi, Dave and Elle. I'm going to spread the luck and use one of the eight mils on a, a sterling chain and a single six mil as a drop earring. Thank oh, you so amazing. much. Again, just simplicity and then think Beautiful. how much further that coat and mutton fat will go. Yeah, absolutely. I know, Carol, you've got a, a, you're quite an enviable collection. Um, uh, Hazel's asked, can she pass, run an idea past you? Oh, please do. Here we go. Um, oh, she, oh, she doesn't want to do it now. She wants to get in contact with you. Okay, no problem. David uh, dot troth, T R O T H at gemporia.com. So there you go. Yes, yeah, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. There you go. There you go. So uh, you can get in touch with uh, lovely Dave then if you have any questions. Um, unbelievable. Dave, Maybe. thank you so much. Thank you very much, Al. And thank you to you guys as well. It's Amazing. truly incredible. As always. Congratulations, every single one of you. Remember, listen, um, I'm channeling my inner Usain Bolt dashing for that door. So if you don't check it out your baskets, then this lady definitely is. But do not go anywhere. We've got more amazing treats to bring you and, of course, your masterclass in the 12 o'clock hour.
Tune in this Wednesday at nine o'clock with lovely Carol and Mark Smith. You have an hour of Mark Crame, where five exquisite kits include three colors of nylon cord, each of which the total is some 500 meters. And we've also got a spool carrier so you can organize your stash. It's going to be a cracker. That's macrame, macrame at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Sunday, the 29th of May, we will be holding a workshop like no other. A workshop that caters for knotters, beaders and wire workers. A workshop that brings jewellery maker to you. So Southerners, join me for Macrame Mayhem in Bracknell. Midlanders, join me for Whimsical Wire Work in Solihull. Northerners, join me, Alison Terry, for Scandalous Seed Beading in Liverpool. A day filled with fun and games, an interactive workshop that won't leave you jaded, the chance to look around the JM discount shop and also your stash swap. And to bring the whole country together, we will link each venue by video call. Your kits, tools, lunch and snacks will all be included in an ultra-exclusive ticket price to celebrate the return of in-person workshops. So make sure you tune in Friday the 29th of April to grab your ticket and be part of Joy Makers Nationwide Birthday Bash! Welcome back Jewelry Makers! Welcome oh, back Amazon! Hello! Wasn't that amazing? Oh, the mutton fat. Oh, I love it. no. I absolutely love Incredible. it. Incredible. <sighs> Looking at all these goodies as well. I know. We're going to do a little section of clearance. Oh. A little clearance section, so it's well, going to be quite fast soon. and pacey. Fast and pacey. Um, lots of selection, lots of varieties to bring you as well. Lots of different carts to bring you. And then at 12 o'clock, we are going to dive into your masterclass. Alison, just give us another little sneaky peek, will you? because these are absolutely beautiful. Now, Tiger's Eye, master carvings. Stunning carvings. You've got a selection, you've got your Buddhas, you've got the uh, Tigers. The Tiger's Head, I think, is probably my favourite. I mean, I he's love that. fierce, isn't he's he? So <laughs> he is properly Gorgeous. fierce. But the quality of all of them is incredible. Stunning. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And I like the, the, the mixture of the textured wire. We've got some square wire in there. Yeah, just, I oh, can't wait. Beautiful. All coming up <laughs> at 12 o'clock today as well. Mm. But you were quite shocked by the prices of those kits, weren't uh, you? Yeah, well, you've got A, a the carvings, yeah. which are amazing. The and then, you know, we... We've got some really high-end gemstone strands in there with them, haven't we? Yeah, just a bit. You know, Just a bit. Jadeite, Kunzite. Yeah to go uh, alongside this one's brand new by the way isn't he gorgeous he is a handsome chap oh yeah 
Look at that. Turquoise as well within there. Let's bring another one of the carvings. I'm going to bring... And they, and they are drilled. So yeah. if you don't want to do wire work with it or you want to keep it simple, just pop a jump ring through. Ooh. You can do. His face is just stunning, isn't it? Uh, do you know what I love? You know when you, know when you see a, a, a tiger yeah. roar or snarl? Yeah. It's the fact they do this, don't they? They, they scrunch their nose up. Yeah, absolutely. And they, they've got that. How do you even go? How do you, how do you <laughs> do not, not, not tigers doing an Elvis, but the, you know they do. They catch, they, they screw that bit up as well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, and it the, bunches. Well, it's, it's a growl, isn't it? Because mm. the whole because dogs growl, they, they, their nose scrunches up. The Look at that detail. Gorgeous, yes, you true. That's right. If you see a dog growl, that's exactly yeah. what they do as the lips, well. The lips push everything else back. It's like a reverse that's facelift. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all all, wrinkles. Not all coming up. Oh, my dog's. Yeah, she's my dog's. Already got she's wrinkles. already got wrinkles. She's constantly wrinkled. Um, Bobo. Uh, right then. Shall we do some clearance? Shall yeah. we? Okay. Clearance. So I'm going to start with a little bit of fun. Love this. The, we haven't seen them in ages. No. Ages and ages and ages. Beautiful crackled quartz, through drilled as well, top to bottom. Yeah. I've had strands of, of the quartz, the multicoloured quartz strands. Mm. And if you take it out and ombre it, it becomes a totally different strand. Yeah, totally. Completely different. It's amazing. I did it once with a, with a strand of rounds and uh, Jenny couldn't believe it was the same strand because it looked so different. Yeah, I bet. But they're uh, fab. They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. You've got your like uh, limey greens, you've got your fuchsias, you've even got strawberry reds, yellows, yes. all your clear colours, your blues even within there, of course. Take, uh, take quartz. Um, and it's, you know, as a gemstone, it responds beautifully to uh, um, so, uh, the dyeing process and it will hold on to those gorgeous colours. It's a fiesta. Yeah. This is colourful. It's fun. Jewellery can be beautiful. It can be, of course, legacy. Um, for me, this is, it's not about the rarity. And yes, quartz is still a rare, beautiful gemstone. But this is fun. It's all about fun and showcasing your personality. £7.99 pence only. Massive clearance deal for you all. We don't see it very often. Um, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell, you, I'll, I'll tell you exactly why we don't see it very often. On and gone. It's on and gone. It is on and gone. And also, we haven't been able to get hold of it. Just like no, I haven't seen it for ages, I and I love those strands because you know you look at the greens and you've got different shades of greens in there because it's taken it differently. You've got different shades of reds and pinks. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, if that's too much, if that's if, yeah. if you're looking at break that, it down, break it down. Go okay. Well, there's my reds. Yeah. There's my fuchsias. There's my yellows. There's my greens. Separate them out. Yeah. But literally, if you if you if you do it because they 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 graduated almost in a, in an order. But if you take that out and do them. All the one colour together, all the next colour together, yeah. and make it into a, a, a necklace or earrings or whatever. Totally different. Looks so different. Totally different. Uh, final few of those. Shall we do some lemon? Oh, this will look lovely with it, actually. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That is beautiful. Gosh, that's a long strand. Uh, yes. Um, okay, hang on. 100 inches of zesty sunshine brilliance look at that i mean we had nugget day yesterday didn't we lemon yeah. quartz again we don't see that uh, that often but i really love it because if you think about it like you you look at uh, lemon quartz and citrine they're siblings yeah aren't they they're, they're literally sister gemson the only difference between the two is um the concentration of colour. So your citrine is much more orangey gold, right. whereas your lemon quartz is literally like lemon groves. Yes. Yeah. It's literally that, isn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. Yeah. Perfect colour. Brand new low. Bit of a clearance deal. How many have I got, Laura? 58 of these a day, uh, 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 within the vault. £7.99 oh pence God. only. It's refreshing. It this is, is a refreshing strand. You see, I mean, when I see that amount, my first thought is, I want to make a tree of life out of it. Oh, yes. Could you imagine doing little mini ones and having a lemon grove? I'll make a lemon Just grove. Just doing lots of little little mini ones. Oh, that sounds beautiful. So I... I um, you could create almost honeysuckle too. Oh, nice. Or, I don't know whether you've ever 
in North Wales, we've got in one of the in one of the um, stately homes of National Trust places. Yeah. They have a laburnum arch. Oh. So it's this arch, and you walk through it, and all the laburnum, which is which is a um, like a grape formation of the flowers. Yeah. Clusters. Are they a bit wisteria -like? hang down, like? Very like wisteria. Yeah. But it all hangs down, so you're like walking through a tunnel of yellow. It's amazing. Ah oh, yes. That, I'd be fab with that. Beautiful. We want to see your lemon courts, tree of lives, wisterias, yeah. and. Oh, they're gonna sit. They're gonna be absolutely stunning. stunning. And put one of those on your windowsill. <gasps> that the natural the sunlight floods oh, through. Oh yes, yes. Ah, uh, love that. But mix that in. You know, you've got lots of inspiration from uh, Monica yesterday. If you're not sure as well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh now. Oh, that's a nice strand. Amazing aquamarine. Fine quality aquamarine. Uh, Dan. Can you just turn the heat up a bit? Is it me? It's just gone really cold. Um, okay, here we go. Beautiful sky blue aquamarine. Stunning. When we say glacial, this is exactly what we are talking about. Crystal clear eye clean clarity with that amazing azure blue like colour. This is why aquamarine again dates right the way back to 300 bc in terms of its popularity because it, it, it is exquisitely beautiful historical hailed across multiple different uh cultures yeah. and still to this day with as much um mm. with, a, with, with as much hierarchy we are still though regardless of the quality regardless of the gemstone we are still going to bring this to you completely natural not even any heat treatment in a, a close out deal what I'll say it quickly. Under ten pounds. Whoa. There are thirty. When we say close out, that's exactly what we mean. No, we we can't do a close out deal and then have a few of them left at the end of it. No, that's, that's pointless. That's, yeah. Literally a pointless exercise. We need the bin locations. You've got to remember as well. Sometime soon is a pretty big occasion for us here at Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Very soon this weekend it launches. We launch the birthday this weekend. 12 amazing years. Amazing years. Third year for, uh, for our Laura. Adam, how long have you been with Jewelry Maker? Yeah, okay. Seven, six? No, nah, you got. Yeah, I think probably pushing seven. It's got to be, isn't it? Gosh, have I been here longer than Adam? You've been here longer than Adam? Nine. I'm nine as yeah, well. You started just before me. Just before yeah. you. Yeah, I'm nine years. Callan, you, you've just joined the madness. Just joined in. Dan? First year. First year, joined the madness, believe me. You'll be celebrating many more. This is the kind of deals. We need those locations. We need those locations because of the birthday celebrations. Shall we bring you some cabochons? Yes, please. Yes. Which ones? Are the individual? The furthest one from you. I was going to say exactly the same. Love blue lace. Do you know this was discovered by an English person? Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. And he looked at it immediately and saw literally cloud formations. Wow. It's regarded, um, regarded as the queen of all agates. Quite rightly too. It is, isn't it? It's just Stunning. gorgeous. Monica Veneda loves to use this as well within her uh, jewellery collections. 25 carats of natural blue. That's not dyed. Wow. Most people would assume, because agates sometimes are dyed, um, a lot of people assume that your blue lace is also. No, not the case. £6.99. It's huge. 25 carats measuring 30 by 22 millimetres. I mean, Alison, you're going to do some cabochon wire yep. wrapping. Yeah. So get this, head of the kit. Yep, you could do the technique I'm going to use <coughs> with, this, with the cabochon. Amazing. And you've got wires coming up yep. in, the, in the 12 o'clock hour as well. Actually, the twisted wire will go great with that because you've got that texture on it, haven't you? So, so where Oops. if you look at the line, some agates have got very clear lines. Yeah, blue lace agate has More has of a frill. Squiggly, yeah, it is. It's like a lacy frill. A lacy so frill. Perfect with the twisted frilly knickers. Oh, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> She's not always like this. <laughs> so it just reminds me. My dad used to say that. Oh, I remember that. My dad yeah. Used, yeah, he used to say that all the time. I bet she wears frilly knickers. <laughs> <laughs> I 
We'll tell you after. As in posh, someone's quite used to say, someone's posh, oh, she wears frilly knickers. <laughs> Um, right there, what next? Let's do this beautiful lemon oh, quartz. Sweet. Sweet. And drilled, am I right? Hang on. Yes, yes drilled really. through the centre. So all I need is a head pin. Yeah. You could make it into a ring. You could make, you could pop a little gemstone on the end of there and make it into a, ooh, pop a piece of that pink on it. A bit of, uh-huh. St stick one of the pink. Come up through the, 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 the hole, go back to a bit of pink. Alison being ultra vague. Do you mean one of those? Yes. Yes. Wouldn't that look lovely one in the, the centre? That's uh, pink spinel, by the way. Oh, OK. Yeah, one I of those. I do like good stuff. I know. She's got expensive uh, toast. <laughs> toast. <laughs> expensive taste. Two pounds and 99 pence. Great for wire rings, aren't they? They're great for wire rings. But could you imagine having a little knitted matinee coat for, for, or a crocheted matinee coat and then having that on the, as the buttons for a yes. christening or something? Yes, but I'm also going back to our tree, oh, yes. trees. Lovely. And look, here's, here's the flowers. Because it's the same gemstone. So you yeah. can literally just put a few of those blooms hidden within. Lovely. How beautiful would that be? That would look amazing. I like that. Two pound 99. I know, that's crazy. Ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. That's two and a half meters of your nuggets. Um, six and a half carrots just here. Should we do the pink spinel as you pointed it out, Alison? Oh, yeah, go on then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Totally natural. <laughs> so much like your garnet family, spinels um, are not treated. Um, they were, it was actually referred to as the, um, the master of disguise, which I think is very unjust. And it's really our own, our own ignorance, yeah. really, that um, gave it that, uh, that title. That was before gemological days, you know, when we could test gemstones and discover that it's not a, it's not a sapphire, it's actually a gemstone. Completely natural, and it is a birthstone now. But if you go onto the GIA website and you look at the, the colour gradients, and there's, there's, I think there's a specific page for it on GIA, that's the Gemological Institute of America, look for um, the colour grades of spinel. You will see on there, and you'll see quite easily in very plain, bold literature, saying that red, pinks, cobalt blues, they are some of the rarest colours to get. So when I now hear that um, this close out deer is a bit too low, <laughs> as okay. Laura said, oops, that's natural. Uh, stunning. It's not about secondary hues when it comes to your spinel. It's about purity of colour. Our target price, that, that's too low, is $39.99 for, you know, for pink yeah. spinel. Pink Burmese spinel. I suppose when we do say uh, close out, <gasps> that is far too low. How many do we have of these then, Laura? Okay, there's 20 of these available. Oh, that's so good, my foot fell off the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's head turning, isn't that, it? That's absolutely stunning. And I'm looking, there's so much on there. I mean, I'd put it with the garnet. Oh, yeah. It'd look nice with the garnet. What about with the, with, with the cotan mutton fat? Oh, gosh, yes. Absolutely. Yes, with the garnet. What's the ye yellow next to it? I'm going to say that's citrine. Listen. Golden rutile. How do you remember fruit salad sweets? Oh yes, I st I still do. Yeah, we have them. We have them in our house on a regular. Oh, yes, oh, Willow because yeah, Willow loves loves a fruit salad and loves a refresher. Oh my gosh, refreshers, refresher sweets. <laughs> you got to go for you got to go for the vintage sweets. If you oh, can have gosh, sweets yeah. in the house, it'll be the vintage, vintage ones. Um, should we do the golden rutile? Yes, please. Very difficult to, uh, to, to actually cut because the rutilations, which are p uh, effectively sort of shards, which, which sort of crisscross um, in all different directions, they cause a challenge to the lepidrus themselves. And yet here we are. Look at the sizes. Yeah, crazy. Because two mil. They're going to be different hardnesses, aren't they? Yeah. So it causes a, like an poop. area that could potentially yeah. fracture. Yeah. The stone. Wow. That's why you rarely ever see it in, uh, in sort of in um, collections, 
not say never because you no. do but rarely ever that's amazing do you notice how some of them almost look quite opaque that's because it's full of rutilations and then you've got some which are completely um transparent and everything in between it's a fascinating it. stone yeah and the golden's even rarer than the the, than the black yeah, yeah. look <laughs> having said that having said that should we do it at four pounds and 99 pence go on then <laughs> i could do with some of these yeah because uh, again i'm thinking about your i'm thinking about your master class well, yeah because because you know using them in in the 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 weaving using it as surrounds they're just perfect mm. oh, I that. You oh so oh sorry you're gonna go around yeah nice what do you think See, I saw that Buddha as quite Malaysian-esque. Yeah, but there's different types, yeah. aren't there? There's different types of Buddhas. They're all very, they're all very, very beautiful. They're all, and it's what you gravitate to. Apparently, there's different Buddhas for um, different, different things. things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. John did tell me what that one was for, and I've forgotten. It Which already. one? The this one. I think she's happiness. No luck. Good luck. Good luck. Um, okay. Ooh. Am I giving... Wow. Ooh. Look at that picture there. You really see the carving. Nice picture there. Yeah, you can. Look at that. I'm going to Stunning. choose... Stunning. She looks like she's asleep. Look. Yeah, that's Isn't beautiful. That I'm going to choose... <gasps> Hessonite Garnet. Gosh, I haven't seen it in, in pairs for a long time. No. Natural. Wow. Laura, Laura said in my ear, Al, do you want to choose something? Is there something that's jumping out at you? Yes. This is the strand. That's natural. And I have to tell you, it's got one. The, when it comes to Hessenite, you're looking for something called treacling. So if you had a glass of whiskey, I'm not a whiskey drinker <laughs> myself, but if you did, and you put just a touch of water in there, you know, you get that beautiful patterning within. That's what Hessenite does. Oh, you see, I would go with the treacling. And, uh, have you ever made toffee? My gran used to make toffee and you to test if it's ready, you get a little bit of it and you drop it in the water and, and it gets a similar sort of effect. Oh. And if it sets, it's, it's ready to pour out. Oh. But, but when you're making it, you see, you can nick all those bits from your gran from the cup. Which yeah. She's testing it with. Yeah. <laughs> test it again, gran, test it again. <laughs> totally natural, hessonite okay. garnet. You've got a beautiful selection of graduated pears. Yeah, you're right, Alison. I know, I think recently, Hessonite's only really been in your microstones. Yeah. But then, did you know that this is also the first gemstone that our, our former founder actually unearthed through his own two hands? Oh, was it? Yeah, potentially feeding his love of gemstones. So I think we've got a lot to thank our Hessonite Garnet. Mm. Um, also known as your, uh, your cinnamon stone. You have these beautiful spicy like colours. You're going to do what? Yeah, this is low. Low. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. What's our target? What we meant to what we meant to be bringing this to air? Seventy nine. Yeah. Much better. I think we'd have probably done an on air price tag, say forty. Yeah. Thirty nine ninety nine maybe. Fourteen ninety nine, but it is the last remaining for you. Remember, close out deal. Snaffle these up because again, it will look beautiful alongside yes. your tiger's eye, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely awesome. Um, we've got some earrings. Oh yes, I didn't see those. Gold twisted hoops with CZs. Oh yeah, these are lovely. I'll show you them in the ear. Don't worry. Um, I, I mentioned this just because I know somebody was concerned about it the other day. Um, you do, these are studio samples, so you won't get these. Um, I'm looking at two pairs. Show you them in the ear. So they're hoops that wrap around. There you go. Oh, pretty. Literally they're nice. wrap around the lobe. You've got parve set with cubic zirconia, buttery yellow gold, and then you've got the little loop at the bottom. So, I mean, those Hessonite garnets. Perfect. Would be amazing, yeah. wouldn't they? Drop down from them. Yeah. What about some of your beautiful carvings in the nine o'clock hour, Alison? Oh, gosh, yes. <clears throat> what about some of your mutton fat? Mutton fat, yes. I saw the lady who'd said she'd use one for a necklace and two for earrings. Yeah. There's your perfect earring post perfect. for it. And you get two pairs. Oh, two pairs. Nice. It's not just one pair. That's five pounds a pair. And they are 
925 sterling silver. So you're getting both pairs for that amazing price tag. Let me just tip them out so you can see. And of course, all the butterfly backs that you will need to secure those. Two pairs of precious metal, yeah. precious metal on precious metal, and then wonderful sprinklings of cubic zirconias to bring you that added sense of sparkle. Hello to you, Margot. Mm. Laura, I think we like you quite a lot. <laughs> We, we like Laura too. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We like her too. We like her yeah. too. To be fair, they all give amazing deals, they don't do. they? That's one of our things about the producers. Yeah, Laura's just saying that's what I'm here for. Bring the best possible deals. Um, and I think she's definitely delivered this past couple of days. Check out though, because we had how many do you say, Laura? 50? 50. They're not hanging around though. No. Not hanging around. Um, okay. Ooh. You see, you could also, if you wanted to, just nip that loop off. Yeah, just wear them as a pair of huggy yeah. earrings. Yeah. Um, running out of time. Um, okay, stay with us. Stay with us because five beautiful masterclass kits, brand new master carvings all in your tiger's eye and the combination of gemstones that we've chosen with them, amazing. Look at each and every single one of Alison's amazing works of art and they truly are that my darling oh, right. truly are if you've never done wire work then she is the perfect teacher for you all we'll be back after this Wednesday at nine o'clock with lovely Carol and Mark Smith. You have an hour of Mark Crame, where five exquisite kits include three colours of nylon cord, each of which the total is some 500 metres. And we've also got a spool carrier so you can organise your stash. It's going to be a cracker. That's macrame, macrame, at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Sunday, the 29th of May, we will be holding a workshop like no other. A workshop that caters for knotters, beaders and wire workers. A workshop that brings jewellery maker to you. So southerners, join me for macrame mayhem in Bracknell. Midlanders, join me for whimsical wire work in Solihull. Northerners, join me, Alison Terry, for scandalous seed beading 
in Liverpool. A day filled with fun and games, an interactive workshop that won't leave you jaded, the chance to look around the JM discount shop and also your stash swap. And to bring the whole country together, we will link each venue by video call. Your kits, tools, lunch and snacks will all be included in an ultra-exclusive ticket price to celebrate the return of in-person workshops. So make sure you tune in Friday the 29th of April to grab your ticket and be part of Jewelry Makers Nationwide Birthday Bash! just sat, casually sat here with my cuppa. <laughs> I know. But, but look at what's next to you. Oh my goodness me, Alison. These are stunning, aren't they? And before I start, I dive into the kit and, and give you the, your opportunity. I, I've always been a huge admirer of your right, work. Right. You know that. Bless you know you. what? I was the one that said, listen, you, found me. you need to get in because you, you are an awesome lady. Um, <laughs> And that, that love still remains as strong today. It does, it does. Um, these are works of art. Yeah. They're absolute works the of art. The stunning, the, the, the carvings. Well, not just... just the carvings, your creations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. I had so much fun playing with these. We're going to start with this kit, by the way. Oh, with the... See, I, I, I quite saw that as a, a sort of Indian-esque yes. setting. Yeah, yeah, it's like his aura. Yeah. Almost, or is yeah. That, 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 that enlightenment. Yeah, yeah. Um, just before... Before we go uh, sort of into the kit and everything, I just want to talk about why you've got jadeite in master carvings, if I can. Laura, you've got a PowerPoint that I, I mentioned earlier on. Um, and the fact that you actually have, you know, for example, we see jadeite in carvings. Yeah. You know the history of that jadeite. Traditionally. Tradition, tradition, you know, the beliefs alongside yeah. it as well. And similarly, tiger's eye is hailed very much in Chinese culture, but actually around the world. Yeah. Uh, significantly around the world. Um, firstly, I think it is the most aptly named gemstone. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, it lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. Because if you think about tiger's eye, what is it? Oh, it, it, it it's, it's a variety, um, a variety of quartz that tiny, tiny microscopic fibres within uh, the gemstone itself will capture the light and create that beautiful chatoyancy. Um, these are all okay. natural, by the way, completely and utterly natural. But those fibres and how they bring you that phenomena effect, if you can imagine the creature itself, the tiger, in all of his handsome glory, um, when they stalk their prey, they don't, uh, you know, lions, for example, will literally generally follow, yeah. won't they? Whereas a tiger tends to do it by their sight. So it's like this gemstone is literally... Yeah. It, the replication is following, you know, like uh, uh, like the the, the the beast itself. I never like calling it a beast. Well, it's, well, it's like the the animal, the the majestic, yeah. amazing, yes, large cat. Of that all, is stunning. Do you know of all creatures that exist on this planet? I think the tiger is the most beautiful. Oh, I love tigers. I do love a tiger. I've got. I do you know? People ask me what's your favourite X Y Z. I don't have favourite. I love all animals. I. I Tigers are stunning. But they are beautiful, aren't so they? So admire watching yeah. them, They're, the way they move, the look yeah. of them. They're, They're absolutely majestic. gorgeous. So majestic. They just pad along like it's like. Have you ever watched a puppy um, German Shepherd pad along? Yeah. And it's like... Dum -dum, the feet, dum -dum, the literally the feet. Huge, massive um, feet. I love it. So, it's yes, gorgeous. you have... Is our PowerPoint's broken? Okay, not to worry. Um, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So basically, in Chinese culture, they talk about, they hail this gemstone, obviously, in its beauty, but also in the fact that the tiger, the symbol itself, and this is really apt for your yeah. tiger, um, the tiger itself is considered the king of all beasts and the master yeah. protector. Um, so that is why you often actually see your tiger's eye carved into tiger. tigers themselves. But it, it, it fits. So it's the master gemstone. It's the stripiness of the tiger. The king of all beasts. Yeah, absolutely. You... I love sloths too, don't you worry. I, do. I, do. I love sloths. But you can't call a sloth majestic, can you? No. Hang on. No. I know what you Chilled. want. Chilled. Hang on. Laid back. You want to see my sloth impression? Go on. OK. 
Okay, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. <laughs> they have got that gormless look they, in their face. They? They've got this. this <laughs> whatever's happening in the world, man, you know, it's they're to fine. They're totally happy, aren't they? Yeah. Right, without further ado, let's get cracking, shall we? Wow. Because we have got a masterclass to dive into as well. Now, I'm going to start with the carving. Um, this is Live, Love, Laugh, Tiger's Eye with your buddha and we said earlier on the buddha can mean different things yeah this yeah is the buddha different of all buddha. happiness look at um, his smiley face though yeah i challenge anybody to look at him without smiling but look at that chatoyancy on it look at the detailing on his fingers oh i know and and if you look at on his arms yeah he's got the drape of the yeah. the, the cloth on his arms yeah as well. and a little belly button look and his big earrings Lovely little belly button yeah again you just want to rub his belly don't you he is absolutely adorable Quality. not just getting this master carving you're also getting 0.4 and one millimeter rose gold plated twisted wire Oh, I love twisted wire. I mean, yeah, you twisted. can twist your wire. Yeah, this yeah. It's all done for you. Yeah. yeah. All done for you. Still not done. Wow. My Peruvian turquoise. I love this combination. That combination absolutely It works gorgeous. so well, doesn't it? Yeah, with the rose gold, with the tiger's eye. These are drilled. You said earlier on. Yeah. They're quite uh, discreetly drilled, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So that it kind of almost blends in. Yeah. I mean, if you want to use it and just pop a jump ring on that, thread it onto a, a, a cord, you can do. Yeah, you absolutely. Wire work, no, yeah. no. Use but... the wire for another day. Yeah. For another day. The first of five yeah, kits, in terms of quantity, I've got 47. <gasps> That's oh. it. Every single one of these, and, and listen, I get it. Some people absolutely adore the Type A Jadeite Master Carving. Some people want something a little bit different. Um, but the reality is master carvings are always going to have a significant Chinese culture influence. Yeah, yeah. You know, because, and this is really one of their pinnacle gemstones. There are under 50 of these available and already people getting involved. Love right. what you've done, Alison, using the turquoise almost to create yeah, that an aura. aura around him. Yeah, I did love him. He's £49.99. Completely and utterly natural. Wow. And I've just kind of captured him in it, but having that different texture in the wire, I think makes it more keeping, more mm. fitting, yeah. less harsh. I agree. I agree. Actually, if you think back to the, you know, the Buddhas that we had, um, that had that caging around. Yeah, yeah, those? yeah, yeah. They were textured, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, I think so. Well, I think we've had textured ones around it, yeah. £49.99. Wow. Well, surely the Peruvian turquoise on its own would have been best yeah. part of half of that price tag. Yeah. Um, but you're the, getting that, the, uh, that that tiger's eye, sorry. Yeah. The Buddha, the, ta the carvings, the, you know, for that sort of price is, is bonkers. Just Isn't absolutely bonkers. Isn't it just? Even if you don't, like I said, uh, wire wrap it. Yeah. Just literally choose, get some of your rose quartz, loop it round, use that as your necklace. Absolutely. Job done. Absolutely. Job done. It's the only happiness Buddha, by the way. Um, what I mean is the jolly little chap. The jolly little chap. If you're, this is your favourite Buddha. I think most of us actually have got favourites. Um, or, I don't know, actually. I love them all. They're all amazing. They're all they? incredible, yeah. They are all beautiful. But he's the most jovial. He is. You can imagine him chuckling and his belly yes. giggling, can't yeah. you? He's the sweetest, I think, out of all of them. As if we can get hold of this for 49.99. But we <gasps> are going lower. Even though there is... What? Well, now less Where? than 30. In the vault. This is an absolute giveaway deal. For the these aren't, these aren't, re yes, I did. Oh, yeah. wow. These aren't, you know, free forms. These aren't something no. that has been cast. They're all hand, hand carved. Yeah. yeah. And I love that. I absolutely love that. And also with the, with the tiger's eye, it's all each one's going to be different anyway. Mm. They're all so stunningly done. Beautiful, uh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Every Buddha is different, by the way. So if you are interested in the Buddhas, I can show you the differences. She's amazing. She she's is like beautiful. satin. She's like she's got satin. And then you've got 
this Buddha as well. Oh, um, nice. there, there's that Buddha. Um, I tell you what, save that, save that, Laura, for when we talk about the tigers. The, the carving, so we can save that then. Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence to get hold of this beautiful kit, wow. uh, but very Crazy. limited. But it's always going to be these are works of art. Um, okay, where do we go from here? <coughs> Shall we do the tiger head? So here we go. Right, the tiger. We we've got we've got the PowerPoint. Don't worry. Um, okay. So historically, <laughs> one of the most. We'll try again. His. Are you making promises now, Laura? And you can't keep them. No pressure. No pressure. Just put tiger's eye. Tiger's eye. <laughs> dun 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 under pressure. Look at his face. Push it down, Abby. That's just amazing, that carving. Isn't it? Just stunning. It's, it's that part, it's his little nose. Well, it's not little, is he? Um, they're massive. Yeah. They are vast, aren't they? Oh, gosh, yeah, the head size, the size of them. I've started having a little, a little play with gemstone mm -hmm. engraving and have you oh yeah it's just not easy no no i bet I, I bet the skill of doing that um is amazing well Absolutely let's incredible. show you everything that you're getting within your kit so you've got 0.8 of your rose gold color yeah. twisted wire then you've got is this square wire it's that 0.5 I see? square 0.5 square three <laughs> meters just here and then you have your faceted tiger's eye and this beautiful, beautiful hand-carved tiger. Um, so here he is. We've been waiting for him in all his glory. Um, he's incredible, isn't he? Um, he is. and, and like I said, very, very, very historic. We can open up this PowerPoint. So shall we do it quickly? Yeah. Let's do it, as Laura's worked so hard to find it. Here we go. Um, there he is. Even yes. down to the curvature of the little yeah. pink nose. I say little like he's cute. But I love the way that, you know, if you look at the carving, you've got the marks above the head as well and yeah. the little eyebrow, you know what that means? eyebrows. If you flick forward, do you know the markings? Are, yeah. If you've looked at Chinese writing. Right. Um, if you flick forward on that PowerPoint, a bit more. <laughs> there. Oh! Oh, it means king. It means okay. king. Okay, so they've taken that they've from, taken the, tiger's from the tiger's markings. How itself. fascinating. Isn't it? And also, by the way, never your tabby cats will have that too. Yeah, yeah. They I've have never, never seen that before. Oh, hand carved, genuine tiger's wow. eye. He's ferocious. But a gemstone that absolutely, again, flicking back, it, 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 it's a symbol of courage. Yeah. Many people believe that it sort of gives us... Uh, many people actually believe that it sort of gives us that um, that lift and that nerve and that determination. So here we go. More prized for its beauty and majesty, the tiger bears a greater symbolism in Chinese culture. In China, uh, the tiger is considered the king of all beasts uh, as it symbolizes power and a great deal of nerve. It is also known as the king of the mountain. In traditional Chinese culture, the tiger is also a symbol of luck considered to be an embodiment of yang oh. or positive energy. The tiger is a solar animal in yin and yang philosophy and associated with the sun, summer and fire. They symbolize power, energy, royalty, protection, generosity, illumination and unpredictability. This is the perfect carving to go with the yeah. gemstone. Yeah. And yet you will not believe what we're going to bring it to air for. How many do we have? Oh, oh, do it, do it. So, uh, wow. An extra special treat. Just start dialing through. Throughout Chinese history, the tiger is incited a sense of both awe and admiration. Its prowess, its ferocity, its beauty, and the harmony of the opposites. The tiger is full of life and embodies the spirit and drive to achieve and make progress. Like that. I really like that. Do you know how you need to make progress? in securing yours at 29 pounds uh, and 99 pence. Were you Crazy. expecting that? No. Because I most definitely, definitely wasn't. Wow. How many did you say, sorry, Laura? We've got 80 of these what? kits available. What? No, 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 no. That's less than half the yeah. price that we should be bringing this kit for. And that would have been an amazing deal. 
I feel like I need to wake you all up. What are you doing, Laura? No. No. <laughs> go, Laura. Go, Laura. Go, Laura. Yeah, I, I get, I get you. I do get you. you Laura's Laura. just saying, listen, there's only a few, only a few have sold, and I'm not happy with that. Oh, quite a few. Yeah, but Laura, you've got to remember that this is a rarity and a gemstone, but it's also a master carving. It's happening anyway. Well, I'm, 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 I might as well. Um, listen, I'm all. I might as well be talking to a brick wall right now, <laughs> because I, hey, listen, I don't make the rules. You do zone out. You absolutely zone out when I start. I'm all about I'm all about their savings, but just as long as you know that this is frankly, frankly to pay. I'm not angry, Laura. I'm just a bit disappointed. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm I'm really excited, Laura. I am too. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <gasps> wow. Check out your baskets, jewelry makers, Alison, Christine, Alison, London, Lincolnshire. Cheshire, Tracy, Barbara, you're there. June, Lynette, were you expecting that? Sorry, wanting multiples. Yorkshire wanting multiples. Michelle in, uh, over in France wanting two as well. I mean, this is the thing. This is the thing. You know, if you from from time to time, from time to time, we all need that little injection of courage. Yeah. And that's what this symbol means. It's not something that I'm just literally throwing out there. It's something that has been around for thousands of years, those beliefs. Yeah. Okay. And this year is the year of the tiger. True. True. Wow. Well See done. Where you are. That's an so incredible, nice. incredible bargain. Um, okay. Obsidian. I love that strand. I love this kit. I love them all. Natural. Natural mahogany obsidian. The different colours that you see in obsidian as a type of volcanic glass comes from how quickly the gemstone actually cools. But mahogany obsidian is the perfect addition mm. to your luck, Buddha. She's amazing. Look at the detail in her I hair. I know. I couldn't believe it when you look at the detail in the carvings. Absolutely. A little bun and a tiara. She has, well, she has flowers in her hair. Mm. And then you... And a Go on. Is there a bird on the side? Or uh, am I thinking of something else I was watching? Don't know. No, it's flowers, isn't it? Flowers. Look at that detail. I know. I know the detail is incredible. And the stone. Look at the, the way that the chatoyancy on that stone is just she is mind beautiful. blowing, isn't it? Um, again, she is also drilled, so if I turn it round, you can see there is the drill hole. It's very strategically placed at a, more of a 45-degree angle, yeah. so um, it disappears within the carving itself. Okay. Oh, no. Laura, <laughs> no. I reckon there's going to be repercussions to that, you know. I think she's dug a bit of a hole for herself, hasn't she? I think she massively has. I'm being really honest here, Laura. I think wow. that, there's... No, she's done it. She's done it. Look at that. She's lovely. She's so serene, isn't she? I always think this one's very serene. Shouldn't be twenty four ninety nine though. No, she shouldn't. I'm actually quite nervous about this. It should have been it should have been at least double that price tag. No. You know, if you've ever you know, you're not talking about marble or something, you know, you're talking about a gemstone here that <coughs> you're you're carving. Incredibly, the skill. I'd love to go out and see them. Yeah, me too. How they? Well, well to facet a gemstone is one thing. Yeah. Carving, you could talking about curves. Sorry about that. I was literally, I'll be honest, everybody, I just went, Laura, <laughs> we've made a massive mistake here. And there is no way of us getting out of this other than to literally accept, accept, yeah. take responsibility for it. It shouldn't have been £24.99. pence. We've got 70 of these opportunities. Please do not expect this kit to be repeated on our live shows at this price tag. Uh, uh, no. No. Please, That's please, crazy. please don't. We're about to put... Um, two beautiful gemstones that work simultaneously. And again, if I just flick through on that PowerPoint, if I can. Jadeite. Um, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, back. look at him. Back. 
there. In Chinese folklore, the tiger is protecting the good, guarding it from the evil. Being a guardian spirit, tiger's eye has often been carved into amulets and worn to ward off bad spirits, protecting its wearers. You've got the best of both worlds yeah. here. Because you have your tiger's eye, you have the Buddha, and you have Taipei Jade. It's amazing. Um, 10 metres of your one mil, 10 metres of your point four. They're like gold dust, aren't they? <laughs> sorry, one mil of your one mil twisted. Oh, sorry, one mil. Uh, sorry. One metre, sorry. Yeah, yeah one metre one of mil. your one mil twisted. Yeah, we got there in the we end. We did. Answer, didn't we? And then you have... She's stunning. She's, yeah, she's the luck Buddha. Look at the play. If you tilt her backwards and forwards, because I was, I was holding her before. Isn't that amazing? That's your toyancy. Look at that. She might be my favourite. Well, she might be mine apart from the tigers. She might be my favourite. You have got type A jade I, I know. within this strand. We can't, you can't be silly, Crazy. Laura. I mean, uh, forty nine ninety nine is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, the, the details in the hair, the ears. Can I see your piece? Uh, <laughs> it's the end one, I think. I know what she means. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, wow. <laughs> She's almost got a flower round her, hasn't she? She literally does. That's Nefertiti. <laughs> I can almost see the Nefertiti yeah. as well with, the, with your wire work. Oh, my goodness, Alison, that's absolutely beautiful. Amazing, 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 amazing. You don't have to be a wire worker to actually work with these. because We've got you covered. And We've yes, got you covered. Your masterclass includes uh, um, your jigging. Yeah, we're going to get jiggy. Gonna We've get got jiggy you covered. It. Love it. Right, all you need now is your uh, the fantastic deal that Laura's about to bring you, honestly. But please don't expect these to be repeated. The amount of time that goes into carving any gemstone. Yeah. Plus, let alone a phenomena gemstone where you've got to be able to maximise on the chatoyancy. Yeah, absolutely. Can you imagine if the cheekbones were just a little bit too high? Yeah. Or a little bit too shallow and it meant you missed out on the chatoyancy? And, and, and the hair detail. You know, if I, how many of those little, little I'm going to call them little knots in the hair, yeah. would have got chipped off if one of yeah, us were doing exactly. it? You yeah. know, oh, gosh. You know, oh, oh, no. Precisely. Start the whole piece again. Precisely. Incredible. Precisely, precisely. It's a, it, a carving okay. gem, carving of gemstones is yeah. is on another level Tis. because each you have to understand the gem's hardness, its refractive index, but you also have to consider things like chatoyancy. Yeah, you have to consider the, the chatoyancy that you see. Look, look, her face positively <laughs> luminates. It does, doesn't it? It's like the sun is coming in. You know, because you often see um, these in in. Um, I'm thinking of uh, Malaysia and places where they're in a cave or, yeah. or in a yeah, temple yeah. and the sun comes through the opening or the window and it's coming down her face. How amazing is that? You know, I'd, I'd, want, I'd want these in the house to see or wearing them, but you want to be able to see it change. You really... It's that movement as well as just doing just having it static mm -hmm. but you want that movement so if i was going to put her on a mobile for instance i'd wow. want her somewhere where it was near a door so you'd get that yeah. slight movement of the air because because look she at comes it. alive she comes alive she does she? and she look at her profile she's yeah. absolutely Stunning. beautiful well done now we have a brand new master carving to bring you and uh, there's a reason why you have seen Buddhas. There's a reason why you have seen your pie symbols. There's a reason why you have seen things like the lotus flower and the pixu, because they very much have a Chinese heritage, which are, which is where our master carvers are. We have an amazing cutting house in, in India. I've been there, I've had a go at cutting gemstones myself. It's impossible. <laughs> um, we also have contacts around the world. We have Rudy Rubito. We've got Ida Oberstein contacts. But it is China that do your master carvings, because that's something that literally has been passed on 
from generation yeah. to generation. So it should never be a surprise that they are, they include some of the most historically significant uh, uh, creatures mm. like the tiger. So here he is again in all his majestic beauty. This next kit, your masterclass, is a premier opportunity. Powerful, isn't he? Handsome. Now, um, can I flick through? More than just prized for its beauty and majesty, the tiger bears a greater symbolism in Chinese culture. In China, uh, the tiger is considered the king of all beasts. Um, as it symbolizes power and a great deal of nerve. Um, it is also known as the king of the mountain. In traditional Chinese culture, the tiger is also a symbol of luck, considered to be an embodiment of yang or positive energy. The tiger is a solar animal in yin and yang philosophy and associated with the sun, summer, and fire. They symbolize power, energy, royalty, protection, generosity, illumination, and unpredictability. Amazing. Throughout Chinese history, the tiger has incited a sense of both awe and admiration. You think about Chinese celebrations, they tend to have tiger yeah. symbols there. Its prowess, its ferocity, its beauty, and the harmony of the opposites. The tiger is full of life and embodies the spirit and drive to achieve and make progress. In Chinese folklore, the tiger is, a, is protecting the good, guarding it from evil. Being a guardian spirit, tigers uh, has, have often been carved into amulets and worn to ward off bad spirits, protecting its wearer, which is precisely what you are about to see. An accurate, so influential is the tiger in Chinese culture that, that you know, one of their words, literally the Chinese word for king was written from the markings on the top of the tiger's head. He is handsome, isn't, isn't he? Gorgeous. And then look at this. Wow. Look at it. Beautiful. Straight down the lens. Like Powerful. That. There he is. Aww. Stalking the prey. Now, I take a little look at this master carving and see how they have perfectly captured the movements, the ferocity, the courage, the fierceness, the protector that is the tiger. I'm going to pivot it back so you can see how they are two-dimensional. It even incorporates the muscles within yeah. the tiger's body itself. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. And you can stroke the fur because it, it because that's... Um, that detail. It's got that texture on it. It's just amazing. Alison, you know, this... Love it. We've teamed this alongside... Sorry about that, Adam. We've teamed this alongside Kunzite. I know. <laughs> and you have your amazing twisted wire here as well, a meter of your 0.8, and then you have 10, a meter of your uh, one mil. So you can create that framework. But if you want to put this with your precious metal, it is drilled. It's premiering today. We've got a big quantity. Again, you know, if you think about it, you know, I, I, you know, I, we all wear ti uh, tiger's eye from time to time. Maybe be, uh, like many, mm -hmm. like the Chinese culture, you want it for uh, uh, the symbolism. Uh, behind, maybe to have an injection of courage. Claire McDonald said it to me the one day. She says, I'm wearing tiger's eye because I feel like I need a little bit of courage um, about me today. Maybe if you're gifting yeah. and there's somebody that you want to particularly look after or nurture, then this is going to be absolutely perfect. But I'm going to throw something else out there. It's the year of the tiger. It Do is. you know somebody that's been born into this year? Oh, perfect. What an amazing gift. How incredible would that be yeah. as a gift for a new baby? For a brand new baby. Oh, do you know I'd never even twigged actually being born this year. Or you can go back through the, the, uh -huh. the tiger because their year covers different ones, yes, different it does. animals. But what an amazing christening gift. Wouldn't it? Oh, wow. That they can grow into. Wouldn't it be? The clock is ticking away. We've got a big quantity of these because they are premiering today. But I, the, I want these to sort of be in, in your homes. I want you to be admiring these works of art. The prowess so perfectly captured within your tiger's eye. 
Look at it, he's absolutely stunning. Look at the detail as well. If I hold yeah. him this way, there we go. So I'm not actually blocking him. Look at that amazing detail. Even down to, up close, look, his teeth. Look how he's I'm bearing gone. his teeth. The movement of the tail. I could barely draw, in fact, I couldn't draw a tiger. Let alone carve yeah. it into a gemstone. It's such an amazing animal. To, to get the 3D right on it, and like yeah. you say, the musculature, is that right? Yeah. The muscles on him and things like that, and then put the background swirls in. It's like, wow. £29.99. £29. Wow. wow. Brand wow. new. Yeah, it was meant to be, it was meant to be over double what's on your screens, but we've done it anyway. <laughs> nobody told Laura that. No, nobody, <laughs> nobody told Laura. Oh. Isn't he? Look at Good. that. Can I get can I have you? I mean, they are huge as well, aren't they? Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, and I, mean, I think they're very unisex. Yeah, definitely. I might, uh, Tom would love these. Do you know what? I could imagine setting this in a leather cuff. Yeah. I can imagine that as a leather cuff. Literally, that Lark's head amazing. knot. Yeah, Lark's head knot. Lark's head knot, literally loop it over on some leather cord. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got Father's Day coming up, you know, maybe nah. that's what I'm thinking oh, straight away. Oh, what an away, amazing you know. Father's Day gift. The protector. Yeah. Protector of the family, if that's how you, that's certainly how I imagine Tom. £29.99 wow. only. Christine, Gordon, Susan, Janice, Nicolette, Margaret, Nuala, Barbara, Alison, Deborah, you're there. There is a queue on the phone line, so do bear with our call centre, but... Wow. Um, and also keep an eye on the graphics because I know, Alison, you're going to be working with a jiggity jig, which a is quite jig, exciting, a isn't it? A wiggy jig. Yeah. Um, over to you, my lovely. Because we've got, we've got the wig jig coming up, haven't we, Laura? We have. And the accessories you're going to need. So uh, this, I wanted to keep it. I wanted, I've done the, I've done the layered wire work. I've done, you can do all that. If you're a, if you're a wire weaver, these kits are fabulous. Mm. Um, We've got, um, Laura's got loads of extra 0.4 if you want to add that in to do all your layered weaving. What I wanted to show you is, is you don't have to be a mega experienced wire worker to be able to use these things as well. Okay. It, it, it's good for everyone. So I turned to one of my, I haven't used this tool for ages. So this is one of my favorite tools. It's, it's, it's a wig jig. Now they come in different varieties. This is the Olympic light okay. version. Now, what I like about these, if you look sideways, can we get a shot there? You'll see all the holes don't go all the way through. Can you, can you see how it... Oh, yes. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So, so what that means is you put your pegs in. A, you can lift it up. I've used other jigs. You lift it up, they all fall through, <laughs> which is, if you want to move it, it's not good. So oh, from that respect, it's clear. So what it means is you can pop a picture over that and you can say, well, I've, I've put the cabochon underneath and said, right, I want a peg there. If you want to, if you want to do a, a frame for it, I, I want a peg there. I want a peg there. So you can, you, can do, you can do that sort of thing with it as well. Patterns. If you want to, if you want to do um, just wire patterns, mm. one of the best places you can get, a dot to dot book. Ah, that's Because a everywhere tip. you have a, top, a dot, you put a peg in. OK, so they're great for doing different motifs, different patterns, intricate. You can use it with woven wire. So once yeah. you've woven it, you can hold it flat and pull it round. But I'm using it in its simplest format. So I'm going to use it um, to do a woven. So I'm, I'm basically there's three of them where I've put a woven edge round. So we're going to show you how to do. Um, sorry, it's the other three. Not, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this sort of edging. Mm -hmm. um, this is also great if you're doing, um, so you get, you get this sort of thing. So if you're doing um, chains, you can do little chains with this as well, figure of eight. And oh, okay, up. make little links. Oh, when I, when I started doing the, the, the jig, I used to do a lot of handmade chains, which takes forever. To be fair, it does take forever. So what I did was, um, when I was doing, uh, I did a DVD... And I was like, how, how, how does that work? Why, why don't I try doing this? And I did a figure of eight chain, and all you had to do was go snip, 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 and you've got all the figure eight bits. And I'm like, why have I never done that before? <laughs> it takes a fraction of the time. So these are great. If you want to set something up, you can set it up, leave it set up, 
and every time you've got some spare wire, make little motifs. So you can make little links. So every time you've got, you know, a little bit of wire left over, make another link, add it to your pile. So you build up a selection of, of stuff you can use for chains or just as, as, as extras. That's a good right. idea. So I've set it up and we're going every other over four rows. So if you can see, I've got, I'm in this row. I'm missing the next two rows. And, and the, the uh, Olympus light, I might move that. Let me just put it. Is that slightly better? Mm, Can you see the whole? No. Spe no. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> so, so if you see where the holes are, they're like a brick. So you've got one row, and then the other row is slightly offset, and then the next row goes back to the same. So, so they're all sort of slightly offset against each other. So I'm going to start with a loop. Where's my loop? -de loop. I'm just going to make a little loop. I've got one one peg off to the side. That's just so that I can hang on to it um, with the wire. It'll work with point, you can use, well, pretty much any gauge wire. You can make findings on here. Make your loop a bit bigger, there we go. So all this is doing is securing that wire into place. We're then going to go round. This is the other thing I lo love this jig for. It's because it's, it's um, flat, so it's completely smooth underneath. If you've got dexterity issues, when I had my previous jigs, you've got a twist and your hand goes all over the place and you're trying to twist to get it to turn. You don't, you turn the base. So it's actually really good because you can leave that there. If you've got dexterity issues, you're doing this. Well, even if you haven't, because that's how I do it. If you notice, I'm doing a combination of both really. So I'm moving my hand, but I'm also moving the base. Mm -hmm. So all my hand's doing is going from one side to the other but the base is where you're doing the, the patterning with it. I'm putting my finger on top because otherwise you'll pull it off. If you put it all the way to the bottom every time, what happens is you're elongating mm. the amount of wire. So it, it, it's on a slope. So if you keep it near the top, just put your finger on just to make sure it goes underneath. Okay, now this isn't going to be long enough Oh, no, what was the point of that? I hear you say. OK, so we're going to just pull... I have faith in you, Alison. OK, we're going to pull all this off. So you can make this as long... I've made necklaces using this technique. So you just take it off, take it off your spare one. You come back down to here. You fit it over those end two. And you're good to go again. So you can just keep going and make it as long as you want. It's, it's great. The, the, there's the light, the, there's different ones there's, that we've got, um, different shaped jigs. They, they come with different orientations of the, the, the mm. holes. These are the Olympus and the Olympus light have a thicker peg. Um, some of the others have a, a finer peg. Some of them have a circular pattern for holes. So, so there's a lot of different, different ways you can do. Now, I, I've lost count. I think... Um, I did them usually at about 19, I think it was 19 loops I needed, but I've got too many, so it doesn't matter. Better to have too many than too little. Absolutely. So we're going to take that back off there. And you might find sometimes, because I'm doing it quite tight, you'll see some of the pegs are pulling out, but if you slide it up to the top first, you can stop that. So that's your, that's your jig. I mean, they, like I say, these are fab. This sits by me on my workbench. This is one of the tools that I always have by me. I have certain, certain tools that just are always to hand. You know, if you want to make little motifs, you can. Brilliant. OK, so we've now got our, our um, piece. And I'm going to use it with this. I've used a slightly different one to, on, on the first one. But you can see how you can turn that round. Mm. This is the point eight. if you do it with the one mil, it's stronger. So what my aim is is to get the inside loops under the tiger and that will support it from the back. However, this is effectively a, a spring. So it's not, it's not brilliant for doing that. We're going to need some help. So I'm just going to snip that bit off because it's in the way. You see, you'd keep that. You can go away and make do an initial with it. Yeah. You can do your letter writing. You can do all sorts. So don't, don't get rid of away those bits because you can use them so i'm just going to grab another bit 
because what I'm going to do is do an inner frame. Okay, so by that I mean I'm going to create a frame that goes around here and then this will attach to this and then it stabilizes. So I just want to do roughly, you want it to sit three, four mil on the inside. You don't want to go too far because otherwise you lose your, your um, loop part. So we're just going to go around there. Sorry, I keep moving the, the, the table. Okay, now this is the 0.8, so I am able to bend it nicely with my fingers. If it was the one mil, I would, and I'm going to do that anyway. Turn there, and then I'm going to turn it out. So again, turn there and turn out. So I should now have, that's what I mean by a frame, okay? Depending on which one you use. So some of them I've just used a 0.4 and have just gone across over the ears or whatever to hold it in place. So this close, it's quite visible. However, further away, it's not. I've used the um, hole to secure it at the top. Now at the bottom, if you want to secure this in place, do a little loop. So a little loop, a little prong. So by that, I'm going to go up. So I'm going to go from there. I want to come up and create a little prong only to secure it. It will be secured by the loop here, but what I'm doing is actually just giving it, stopping it waggling it around. That's all you want the other pieces to do is actually stop it waggling. You could, if you wanted, just come up sideways. On this one, what I did, and I'm gonna turn it to the side there. You should be able to see. So I made, I actually did this slightly different. So I've got a top frame and a bottom frame, and then I've gone between the two with the 0.4 wire. To, to sandwich them together, but it also holds it in place. Okay, um, whereas uh, that one has got the frame behind it. So, and then to, to hold it in place, you've just got a couple of little prongs at the bottom, and then you've got the frame behind it. So it's nice and it's nice and sturdy. So once you've got this, we're just going to go round now and attach them in. So I'm going to grab my point four. If you want to work off the reel, you can. Oh, we've got 0.4 sterling. Oh, nice. Um, that's fab. So if you want to add some um, extra precious metal um, to it, I've made a right mess of this reel of wire. Sorry, I'm just going to... I've got knot gate. I'm just going to pull it. I'm going to do what I hate doing. I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to snip it there and there. Sorry, Dan. I've made a mess of a bit of your wire. Right. So snip off a length. That'll be in two bits now. I tend to go from the centre. So I'm going to... I've got about a metre and a half here. Cut it in half. Bend it in half. Then I'm going to start at the top centre. So roughly in the middle. Now, with some of them, you want to pull it right in. So, so the one with the turquoise, no, not the turquoise, the jadeite, sorry. The one with the jadeite, I've actually pulled all the bottoms in together and then opened up the, the um, tops to allow me to put that jadeite gemstone in there. Um, on, on the one over here, I left them narrower and just left the wire. I, I did a frame around, um, around her with the gemstones instead of putting them in each of the loops, okay? Uh -huh. So that you can play what well, you can play with this and do all sorts of different things. So I'm going to get my frame and I'm literally going to go around. So I'm, you want to keep them both the same if you can, uh, parallel to each other. Wrap three times around there. Then I'm going to go into the gap just so you don't have a, a long, um, line. Now, if I squidge those up a bit, we'll get a bit more around the corner. So sometimes you just have to reposition it a little bit. There we go. We'll go around the corner. So I'm going to add in another three loops. But what I'm going to do is squidge that up. See, see what I'm doing? I'm just making that a little bit tighter. It will give me more loops going around the corner than, than a gap. So then I'm going to fetch this one down. And just loop it around. Have you got, um, while I just go down the side here? We do. We're, near, we're nearly done anyway, but have you got something you can... Yes. Funnily enough, Laura was just um, um, telling us about some amazing faceted jadeite. 
Oh, what? That would go beautifully with this kit, actually. Oh, it would go lovely. Faceted. Faceted jadeite. Love it. Um, do you want... Yeah? Uh, 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 shall we? Just while I'm doing this bit, if you don't mind. OK. That's OK. We can do that. How Sorry. many do we have of these, then, Laura? Well, we were looking for something the perfect addition to your Kotan mutton fat, weren't we? To take that triple strand. Ooh. All nice. the way round. No, you'll have the difference in that colour. Yeah. But also you've got a different in the texture. texture. Um, that was obviously Kotan uh, um, nephrite jade, but this is your type A Burmese jade. Oh, I love it. We I could count on one hand, I think, the amount of times that we've actually brought faceted rounds. I've, I've had it once and I loved it. It's Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely adore it. And the, uh, the reality, the reason why, is quite simply because with one of the most valuable commodities that exists on this planet, they don't want to cut carrot weight away. Yeah. Which makes sense. But look at it when it does. It just dances with luster. Each yeah. and every single one of those facet, facets bringing you... I, I almost want to say paparazzi flash, but it's far more subtle and beautiful than that. Yeah. Um, now, there are 80 of these available within the vault. As you would expect here at Jewelry Maker, type A, genuine natural jadeite. The perfect addition to your kits, the perfect addition to your Kotan. Um, and at £29.99. Wow. wow. That's crazy. Wow. That is crazy. It, it, it genuinely is. I mean, that you can see how beautiful it is, can't you? You yeah. can see why the love affair of Jade has been throughout, not just centuries, thousands of years. It, thousands upon thousands. Joining you on this. I'm going to join you on this opportunity. It's absolutely stunning. Gabrielle, you and I were discussing about pearls, weren't we? You know, how beautiful would this be with pearls? <gasps> I just so happen to. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah. Just, just one. Ooh. One of those. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. Suspended from. Um, back to you, right. lovely, if you're okay. ready. Are you ready? So, yeah, okay. pretty much. When you're coming down the other side, so we've done one side, and, it, it, and it's quite secure there, you would pop your stone in there now when we add the gemstones if you wanted to you could catch it through there on the way round. and all i've literally done is gone through the drill hole but again because of the color of the wire you don't really see it so I've gone through the gem uh, through the gemstone and back down and carry on weaving so so you get a little bit you can just about see it there you get the little bit there but you don't tend to see it because you're seeing it like that so yeah, you you don't you don't see it so You'd attach that there and then either have your little prongs um, this side just to hold it in place. And then when you're, when you're adding your gemstone, so you're either going to, let's put you out of the way. So for the, for the one over the, the um, jadeite one on the end. Yeah. Um, so what I went, I, I took my pliers, popped them in and slid it right the way down to the bottom. See how much wider that is now. And that will be able to take it gives it, it gives it a little bit more shape. It, it, it gives you, you know, it, it just gives you a different texture. So they, they and I also you'll be able to, to go from one to the other because they'll go, I think I also got a little bit bigger one. But if you pop both in, you can make that bigger again. So oh, yeah. you're just popping it into where you're and doing a twist. It won't go flat because you've got that rounded side, but you can make them quite a big gap. So you can put quite a big gemstone in there. Mm. Um, the baling pliers don't work so well because they're not graduated. You need something that's got a graduation to do that. And then when you put the gemstone in, you're, 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 so you're fastening this together. You're going to wrap round, pop your gemstone on, wrap it around the next two, come up between them, pop your gemstone on, wrap around the next two. So you go all the way around there with your gemstones. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take her off because it's easier to show you from the back. So we've got our two layers. Come here. We've got our frame going around the, the inside. This is the frame gives you that, that structure, that stability. The two wires, let's see if I'm, the two wires from the top of the, the, the frame, I've then taken crossed round and gone round to the other side. So that's your frame, and you can see where I've made the little prongs. Mm -hmm. Just, they're literally just to hold it because it's, again, it's got the little wires at the end 
um, that you can see there. You don't notice them. And then the, the other wire, the outside wiggly wire, I've come straight up the middle. Again, it gives it more of a base, more of a support. And at the top, I've wrapped one round the other and then I've used a baling plier to come down and I've just wrapped it around, around itself where I've gone up through the middle. So I've wrapped it around twice, trimmed off the wire and it gives you a nice splayed so that it actually acts as a, as a, as a um, stabiliser. I was thinking exactly the same you, word. Yeah, yeah. because if it, if, and this, that's why I like, this one was concealed. One of the others, I've, I've actually done a woven, a woven um, bale, mm. but this is a concealed bale. So it's just, it's just, it's just floating on it. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities, but using the jig to do that main thing, that's what I kind of wanted to get across, um, just gives you such an incredible base. And like I say, this is then like a floating, oh, beautiful. A floating gemstone. So I'm looking forward to what, seeing what you do with this, whether you put a jump ring in, whether you're going to use all the wire with it, just have fun with it. Oh, they're they're beautiful, gorgeous. beautiful designs, Alison, as per usual she's just oh, she's right. you're an exception right <gasps> should we do one finale deal shall we bow out oh is that what they do yeah do you like that <laughs> should we bow out in style yeah go with some beautiful baroque pearls <gasps> massive ones um oh, i've been showing them all day i know i'm looking for a <laughs> A pearl one. Um, a little black board, because these are so oh. amazing. I tell you, or, or a white sheet. Oh, in fact, let's use that beading tray because I'm running out of board. time. Oh. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, 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 oh. Plethora oh. of boards. All of a sudden, there are boards thrown at me. Um, look back. Uh, look back at the 8 o'clock hour as wow. well, because we had the bales. Gabrielle, yes. you and I were talking about those. Oh, you well, got them, darling. Well done. I can't wait to see that piece. These are beautiful. Well, you're going to have some leftover now, aren't you? Because there was eight of those in that pack. Sorry, that was all, literally all we could find. Um, but, well, here's that, that, there's a few bales then for you to add these to. Genuine cultured pearls. I know they don't say it on the graphics, but they're naturally metallic. Yeah. Beautiful metallic colours. You can't they quite are. see the size of these times three we're not stopping there it's our finale deal we mentioned them all morning haven't we so simply had to bring them yeah. to air beautiful almost la peregrina-esque shapes i mean seriously that's I mean, 10 pounds each have a look on monica Ganeda. look at the prices yeah. of their baroque pearls and like you say putting it with the faceted uh jade, jade beautiful, beautiful beautiful the colors beautiful. from here Gabrielle, you are on it. Well done, my lovely. Well done. We're running out of time. No, I know the answer. When are you back? Friday. It's going to be wonderful. I'm back Friday as well. Um, wild, unruly, chaotic, magnificent. I'll see you soon. <laughs>